Hey, what's up? Hello, early squad. Welcome to stream. Hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Gonna be getting into some Crusader Kings 3 today, picking up where we left off. We started a new campaign like a week ago, and then other stuff got in the way. But you know what? We're coming back. Because honestly, it's not going to be that hard to figure out <laughs> where we were. We don't exactly have a sweeping empire. It's basically the equivalent of... We're, we're, still, we're still just a fresh baby. We're still just a wee baby. Greetings, garlic salt. Hello, Ionic. Nom nom, Maki's back. Hey. What's up, Snide? She's the worst people arriving. Howdy, Evanito. Slight inconvenience, welcome back. Biblical baby is here, pumping it. Hi, Kyoko. Auxilia. But new username. Hmm. Interesting. We have a mystery on our hands, chat. Babunu Buser name, who has 999 messages in this chat. Whose name I've never read before. Who's been following since March of 2018. And they also have a new PFP. They have been timed out by me personally um, on at least three occasions.
I think I would this remember. This is the sub sound. <laughs> Who could it be? <laughs> Playing CK3 right now! Good job, Karen. I'm sorry your best friend was murdered. Sir, can I speak to your supervisor about something? Midas is currently busy chewing his bone. He's not available at the moment. Okay, you guys are you guys really gonna go in there and change your entire identity from one stream to the next and now I have to cope with a, a new person's name who's not even new even though in my brain you guys forget that you're just uh, a, a text document and I have to like overwrite two years of backstory for that Even me? No, not you. <laughs> We're just a font. You guys are just a font and also whatever emote you choose to introduce yourself as. That That's a personality. It's like when a stream starts, there's multiple types of people. There's the alien please <laughs> by itself, which I think stands very strong. Uh, there's the people who wave with the Etau wave and they're, they're typically less of a wild card. I mean, there's a, those who combine the alien with the wave. And they're usually even measured memers. I think a... <laughs> I think alien please unsupported by anything else is the true wild cards. Those are the unpredictable ones. There's people who introduce themselves by pump it. I appreciate the level of hype and enthusiasm that they start the stream with. There's a case, there's the, the woe. Like, I can't believe the stream is live. Which is a venerable and traditional introduction. There's the psycho. I saw at least one sim psycho. I think it was Leisure Domain. <laughs> and then there's the rainbow please, of course who are just here. Rainbow Please, people who, who, first thing they say in the stream is Rainbow Please are the early birds. They're just along for the ride. They don't really have a direction that they want the stream to go. They've just already buckled in and are prepared for anything. Which you kind of have to be sometimes. <laughs> anyway, hi everybody. You can kind of see Mike's. He's chewing on his bone. Just behind the microphone. He's having a good time. Hey everybody, there's just people arriving. Shaq has a genie, what's up? Mostly Moisten, Winserin, Liuda Wang is here. Hello, Pinstar and Wild Omelet. Okay, so Vassal within Vassal is what we're doing. And hilariously, I could not put that in my going live message. Twitch was worried that I was putting something that was not appropriate. And I couldn't figure it out until I deleted the word Vassal. And I guess just the word ass in my go live notification was enough to prevent me from being able to send that as my notification. <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, God. Hot vassal and vassal action. That's a new title. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to be doing today. No exaggeration. <laughs> vassal to vassal. Oh boy. It is gonna be one of those days. 
Talots, why? I, I, I didn't say anything bad. Just vassals. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with the word vassal, Winsorin. <laughs> all right, you guys have too many puns. <laughs> I gotta stop reading all these. <laughs> Ugh. There's too many. It's unlimited. The meme ability here is off the charts. But yeah, I had to change it. I don't know what I ended up going with, but probably something more generic. So the plan is uh, Crusader Kings 3 today, picking up where we left off. And uh, then we're going to stream tomorrow, presumably the horror game sequel. I guess we're just going to jump in. Yes, this is our uh, Flight Around the World Cup. I need to get some more cups, chat, for the rest of the world. I'm just going to occasionally get a mug from different places that we visit. But yeah, we're going to do Remothered sequel action tomorrow, so that is unmissable. I think we can all agree. We, we should just jump right on that train. I don't know how long the game's going to be, though. I assume it'll be similarly length. I don't know if it'll be a... I hope it's a game I can beat in one stream. So, Remothered sequel tomorrow and then Wednesday probably nothing probably day off grabbing a haircut finally it's in the books it's scheduled so I I stopped looking like a two and a half month of hair growing guy so you guys will just have to go uh, back into the pit until I'm ready to see you again presumably on Thursday so we'll do Thursday, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, unless I feel like taking two days off. Which is unlikely, but possible. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. We got a bunch of, ooh, we got to the good part of the song. We just skipped to it. We're gonna do some more horror stuff. Um, we might hop into No Man's Sky again. We might peek into Divinity 2. Uh, we'll finish Raft. We might pop back into Around the World after the next patch. We got a lot of things we can do. And we got a lot more things that we can jump into as well that I've just been constantly pushing further and further on the back burner. Mm, I don't even want to start the game because I love this part of the song. I think this is just our Going to War song, but it's still good. <laughs> Sounds like a good potential lineup. It does indeed. We got a lot of fun games that we're playing right now. Defend Bavaria, then take it. Okay, instructions coming from past Etal are right here. Oh, I did uh, install three mods, which are very small. Very small mods. Uh, I installed Outliner Extended, so there's more information on Outliner. Uh, I installed a thing that puts a border around peoples who have good or higher uh, rankings. So now there's this silver border around dukes and this big purple and gold border around emperors. The only thing I don't like about it is it goes in front of the portrait so I can't see their cool helmet head. But um, I don't know if I want to keep it like this. I was I didn't have any trouble in distinguishing them before. I just thought that it's kind of neat to look at a glance. Um, when you can see their extended family and see, like, okay, well, you can clearly tell just by looking at the border what rank various people are. It's nice because not every character dons an appropriate hat or helmet. So, like, Count Zvind, maybe it's just because he's dead. No, he's not dead. He, he looks dead. Um, I couldn't tell that he was a count just by looking at his portrait, so it's kind of nice having... I know I'm covering it up partially. Hold on. 
There we go. But yeah, it, that's that's pretty neat. And then the third one is just uh, an outliner, which I think is just going to give us more information on NPCs, who we are talking to, with, and about. Um, whenever we are in like an event, so we'll see that whenever an event pops up, and that's it. That's all we got. So, uh, I added those to the exclamation CK3 command if you guys want to check that out. Um, people are going to probably ask throughout the course of the stream. Of course, you get debated into going to my Nexus GG link as well. So, which I do directly benefit from. We did, I did actually use full screen barbershop snide, um, to make the last thumbnail, which was pretty sweet. So, that one's cool too, but I don't have it included in the game right now. Alright, so, where were we? And where are we gonna go? Well, step one is just taking a look at our land. We began in Bavaria. So, Bavaria is a duchy that is inside the Kingdom of Bavaria, which is inside the Holy Roman Empire. However, I'm pretty sure that our Duke of Bavaria, who we owe allegiance to, goes direct to the Holy Roman Empire and does not even really... They don't, they don't notice that the Kingdom of Bavaria exists. In fact, I would wager that the someone in the Holy Roman Emperor's family... I, I bet nobody's actually got the King of Bavaria title yet. Let's look. No one has created this title. So that's probably our first goal in the game. Do we have a CK3 fam number two up yet? Uh, no, I don't expect that to be kept up with. <laughs> we can probably take down the uh, Suckberian one unless people want to hang on to it for a little while longer. The Suckberia fam was a pretty crazy one. But it, it doesn't really exist anymore. For all intents and purposes. That is so many de jure counties. Yeah, we have to have 22 out of 43. So more than 50%. I currently only have owned 5. So we're almost a quarter of the way there. Um, we got a lot of things that we can do besides, of course. My goal for the moment is just to simply become the Duke of Bavaria, right? And we're doing that, I think, already. I believe we're already working on that. Because I, for as long as I'll live, 48 years old, Count Dietrich of Geisenhausen. This is my first character in this particular campaign. I am generous with many acts of benevolence and charity, increasing my diplomatic prowess, but taking a little bit from my monthly income. I am wrathful, quick to anger and fury, giving us some natural dread and some propensity for martial skills. Gregarious, so generous, gregarious, and wrathful is a nice, interesting RP uh, combo. Seems like a, a classic archetype, archetype that uh, has been easy to play so far. Diplomacy bonuses, attraction bonuses, personal scheme power is nice when we're, you know, trying to sway other people. And, of course, other gregarious like us even more. I'm an intricate web weaver. This is my given education. I did not choose this. So we have been trying to follow through with the wishes of my character. And in doing so, we have pursued the web weaver lifestyle, which I'll show you momentarily. Uh, and to give us a little bit of extra character and flavor, I am a profligate individual. I waste money on unnecessary purchases, which is something a gregarious and generous person might do to relieve stress, but also to gain prestige, and that early game prestige is a, is a really important thing, because prestige is quite difficult to get uh, at this stage, and in fact, that's increasing our prestige by 25% by itself. And I'm a, I'm a bit grumpy, I'm a bit irritable, which is reasonable. Think about all the things that I have to deal with on a daily basis. Diplomacy and martial takes a hit, but... Um, Stress loss and dread gain go up. So the dread gain up is actually really neat there. 
It uh, works in tandem with Wrathful. And will help us create um, a little bit of a hold on any vassals that we might create in the interim period. In fact, we have three powerful vassals right now who are upset at not being on our council, but two of them are currently terrified. One of them is intimidated. Excuse me, I've actually never seen intimidated before. Uh, they do have a different icon. It's very hard to see, but one of them has a red one pixel outline. And the other one has a gray one-pixel outline. It's very tough to see that difference, but it's there. So this is just less likely to oppose you. Whereas this one is terrified. He trembles before you will never oppose you directly. So, um... One of the things there is I, I remember reading that there actually is a trait that is hidden that allows vassals to kind of, like... Not necessarily rise up against you, but start... What well, Somebody in chat probably knows what it's called. Uh, but it's like a check against dread. I don't know if it is a factor in the game right now to the point where you would need to be concerned about it. But it is like a... supposed to be a counter to dread where if there is a certain vassal that is, is brave enough, they will start to openly oppose you or something like that. In spite of the dread. But I don't, I don't think that that factors in very often. Maybe it'll be tweaked in the future to be a little bit more prickly. Because factions are still not really an issue. We'll see if they become one. Maybe I'll change my tune. Okay, let's see our family. So that's just me. And uh, where's my lifestyle? Ma we're in a majesty focus. I think we did as much as we wanted to do in Intrigue. So we can fabricate hooks, which we've been using extensively. And I can find secrets faster. Fertility is up because we do not have the benefit of concubines anymore. So having an heir is more challenging than it was in our last playthrough. Seduction scheme power. We tried to do some seduction, but we didn't. We haven't really used it that much. Do I have any lovers? Okay, I take it back. We have three lovers. Well, one of them is our own wife, so not much. Here's Hedwig von Fornbach. Content, lustful, honest. I don't remember how <laughs> we got into this relationship. <laughs> and then Uraka. Your soulmate. Ah. Chad, why did I... um? Why did I find my one true love in this bold empath? <laughs> I I don't remember. If I don't remember, you probably don't either, which is fair enough. So I think, yeah, we're in the majesty focus. We just got extra skill points for our kids. And we'd pick some stewardship perks as well. I can claim Throne against my liege. So stewardship and Intrigue actually go hand in hand in a lot of respects. Um, intrigue, of course, lets you fabricate hooks and dig for dirt faster. But I can demand payment for hooks with stewardship. So there is Intrigue Wombo there. Uh, monthly income while at war is up, which is going to maybe factor in later. But I really wanted that minute arms maintenance per dread down. So, that's a 0.5%. So, let's say I have 20 Dread. That is 10% discount on my men at arms maintenance. So, that factors in uh, pretty considerably. When right now they are... We're making, what, 4 bucks a month? And what is my actual discount? Is it Honored to Serve? No. Fearful Troops. I'm currently getting a 20% discount. Which is pretty nice. Kyra Toby people arriving. Hello, Kyra Toby. What's up, Kilroy Grin? Retrograde is here. Dictato, welcome. Hello, Great Lemon Wheel. Has the Pope been seduced yet? Working on it. We're getting there. Uh, also, thank you for beginning a stream sub. Y2B Shears, who's back for 21 months. Hello, Y2B. Welcome back. Thanks for that sub. And uh, welcome to beginning of stream time. So my spouse, Countess Adelheid, is my wife and lover, who is also grumpy, like myself, also wrathful, like myself, uh, ambitious, 
pushing me to succeed and driving me to take even more land. Uh, though temperate. So, nice balance there. Temperate and wrathful is an interesting combo. Quick to anger and fury, but uh, best to enjoy things in moderation. When I see a wrathful, temperate person, I think it takes a lot to push that person over the edge. But once you do push them over the edge, you better be prepared. Because it's coming for you. She's a skilled tactician with a uh, good martial skill. An aggressive attacker. I don't know where she learned how to fight, but uh, she can't really practice that right now, unfortunately. Eager reveler and a confider. She's been very stressed, this is <laughs> apparently. <the subject. laughs> Has uh, had to trust somebody. I don't know who, because it's not me. <laughs> with her innermost secrets. Speaking of, do I have any secrets? I do not. That's nice. Oh, wait. I do. Oh, yeah. I am, in fact, bisexual. And I do now remember one of my lovers was one of my knights uh, who died tragically in battle to take land. That was very sad. I'm trying to remember what the last piece of land I took was. Well, obviously, Geisenhausen is my default, my primary title. It was either for Rothenburg or Falkenstein. I forgot about that. So that is my secret. That is my secret. Uh, I also know that my steward is a witch, and I have a strong <laughs> hook on you. Um, Hedvig is my lover, and I have two illegitimate children with her, at least. Maybe more. I forget which ones. Chat, I forget who's my kids. Uh, I also know that another one of my vassals who is powerful is a witch. And I also have a strong hook on my lover, who's also my soulmate. I don't know why I have a strong hook, though. Is the secret that she's my lover? I don't think I would want to expose that. That would hurt me. Nick says, long live suck. Oh, wait. We're in suck Bavaria now. Which is not what we're going to call this, probably, but... Hello, Nick. Thank you for two months of sub. Appreciate the early stream support. We're just getting started. Um, who else? My current heir... Hork. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pump it, Hork. I forgot about this. Uh, Hork actually got a brilliant education as a strategist. The battlefield is the domain of Hork, and no martial matter is beyond his knowledge. So we have a 15 martial skill. We're trying to train up our son to get ready to go to war to increase our holdings and land. He's content, though, which is troublesome. Uh, troublesome indeed. Content, just, and gregarious. Content is very hard for me to RP. But we'll see if we can find a way. Um, it's probably my weakness. But it is like a, it's nice to have, because people love content characters. They think they're awesome. Holy warrior, and um, also not good at intrigue at all, even a little, but very smart. Double digits for a 17-year-old, uh, especially that high in martial. Very good start. Good education. Currently betrothed to... Who is this? <laughs> A vassal? Oh, we were trying to m form an alliance. Right, 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 with Mordgal to our north. Because they have 3,000 troops. And Bavaria only has five. Which is at least two. So that's a good start, Bavaria. I think if you keep going the way that you're going, you might have ten uh, in due time. But yes, to our north, uh, we're trying to make an alliance with our strongest neighbor. Augsburg only has 650. Salzburg has less than 1,000. Look at all these kids. Their parents are dying over and over again. Why is everyone editing Fira 30 2010? Hello, rural juror. Oh, because Sphere, Sphere is trying to start food chat already. Asparagus or bacon Brussels sprouts? 
That's cheating. Why not bacon asparagus versus bacon Brussels sprouts? That doesn't... You can't... You can't just be like, Hey, chat. What do you think is better? Um... A chicken thigh or a steak dinner with loaded mashed potatoes. It's not... It's not apples to apples. Cooked or raw? <laughs> hey chat, which one would you rather have? Uh, a fish fresh caught out of the ocean that's still alive? Or... Gordon Ramsay personally comes to your house and prepares you dinner? <laughs> Dude, cooking stream! This is the sub sound. <laughs> I eat my fish like Golem. <laughs> Dude, the Lord of the Rings, man! I had the tabs this is open, the but sub -sound. I. I couldn't pull the trigger. I had the tabs open for the super deluxe 4K versions. Somebody in Discord was like, look how sexy the cover art is. And I looked at it. Okay, and it was like seeing the ring itself. It started calling to me and whispering sweet nothings in my ear. It told me that I must have it and acquire it somehow. They knew. I mean, look at this. I don't know how big this picture is going to be. Look at it! Look at the art, dude! Don't you- I gotta have those steel books! They got, like, padding in between each of the steel books so they don't scratch themselves. Look at the ints in the two towers. How am I supposed to say no? It's like $90. It's like- actually, it's like $112. <laughs> Because each movie is, uh, 40 bucks. Here's the problem, though. Here's where they get you. This is, this is the debated. Uh, they actually, I, I researched it. And I found out that, uh, not only are they doing that Steelbook version and the Super Collector version, which is another $30, that has a, a collectible, like, replica of the one ring on, like, a small chain. Which, of course, I want that. Uh, they said in fine print, in little text at the bottom, By the way, the Ultimate Super Collector's version comes out summer of 2021. What? What? Hang on. There's another Ultra, like, Middle Earth, gotta have it, coming out summer of 2021? Which they haven't detailed, or described, or shown a picture of? It's just a mystery? Hang on, do you want to buy the, like, $112 version right now that's available for Christmas, or wait six more months for the even better one? How is it better, though? We don't know. On the one hand, at least they announced them at the same time, instead of, like, not doing that, and then you buy this one, and then they announce the next one, so you can at least make an educated decision. But that this one's not going to be available by the time that one is. So you do still have to do something if you want one of them, right? I do want one of them. Either this one or that one. I'm not going to get both, because I'm not that crazy. But I have to decide now without... It, it, I'm on a game show. I am literally um, choosing, do I want... Dude, what? I, what's the one with Wayne Brady? It should be called This or That. Like, that's the best name for a game show. That's not what it's called. What's the Wayne Brady game show? That's that everybody's parents watch. Let's make a deal. Thank you, Shaq. I feel like I'm on Let's Make a Deal, and I've got c cute, cool Lord of the Rings in one hand, but in the other hand, I could get whatever behind that curtain. Do I want what's behind the curtain that I can't even see, or do I want the thing that I know is cool right here, right now? I don't know. What's up, Xenophanes? How's it going? <laughs> they're really milking it. Oh, yeah, they are. You know they're milking it because the new Lord of the Rings Amazon show is getting ready to finally come out in a few years, whenever that is. Um, so they are absolutely going to try and keep the hype up because they want that $100 million show 
uh, to be successful. It's an expensive show. How expensive is Amazon Lord of the Rings show? Uh, Amazon paid $250 million in 2017 just for the rights. Um, March 2018. Okay, here you go. Elijah Wood commented in 2019 on the Amazon investment, which, um... This is according to IndieWire. The current project underway at Amazon Studios, where a new television series based on the novels is underway for a reported $1 billion. So, that's a billion dollars over many seasons. Not for one season, for the record. I don't know how much it will be per season, but they've already guaranteed, I think, five seasons. Something like that. So they want to drum up the hype. I don't know when the first season's coming out, but they've already been doing casting and such. Okay, anyways, sorry. I like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Uh, my other kids. Croflin is currently pregnant. I remember I got some of my children's husbands killed in the war. Wars. I think they fought as my knights. So she's got her first child on the way. My first grandbaby. Uh, Furful. It's a great name. Still married to her first spouse, Eckerd. We already saw a uh, Hork. Verda Winda. It's a great name, past detail. Is in need of a spouse soon. And. <laughs> Cookie Crisp! How could I forget about Cookie Crisp? Well, after a few uh, drinks tonight, I, you know what? Cookie Crisp just inspired me. This is what uh, two or three drinks in Etal came up with, so maybe we need to repeat that success. But yes, the Lord of the Rings series is going to be not concurrent with the movies. It'll, I think it's like a prequel. Like, kind of like how Game of Thrones is doing, well, we can't really do anything after. So let's go a thousand years before. I think that's what they're doing. So it's, it's going to be like a Game of Thrones super prequel series versus the Lord of the Rings super prequel series. Increase opinion, Mayor Popo's opinion of you. I don't know why I need his opinion. Low county control in Falkenstein. Yeah, I know that. Uh, powerful vassals expect council positions. I'll take a look. You can declare war. Because I have a claim. We fabricated a claim, I think. So, chat, it said defend Bavaria. That's what it said. That's what past Etal told me. So, do I defend... Duke Heinrich. I don't think I can. Wait, yes I can. Augsburger claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Yes. Okay. Right, 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 right. Because Augsburg is currently taking advantage of the fact that the Duke doesn't have any troops. And he's going to assimilate Bavaria and the title, which makes things muddy for us. So if I join the war, defend it, then usurp my own duke. Okay, you have joined the Augsburger claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. I only have 700 soldiers, so I don't know how well this is going to go. Uh, we're currently not super trained in terms of levies right now. Uh, my marshal is trying. Uh, we do have a good possible mayor who is at least as good as the current marshal, Eisenrich, who is not powerful at all, but is a good military engineer. He's going to be very upset with me if I fire him, but my mayor is considered powerful, and I think I'd like to just go ahead and stick with that. So let's 
change. Those guys look the exact same. I think they have the same <laughs> facial features. Maybe they're related. I don't think they are. Uh, my spy master Claudia is doing phenomenal. My steward is is good. My chancellor is not, but he's the best we've got, and that's pretty much it. So let's go, instead of assisting the ruler, could you help me with chivalry? So if she helps with chivalry, uh, that increases our levy reinforcement rate and our levy size, and we do need that reinforcement rate right now, so having her help boost is a great idea. This is the sub sound. Where do claims even come from? I guess theoretically it would be like... Since we started this in... We're in 1098 right now. It'd be like, well, hundreds of years ago, if you trace my bloodline back, uh, I am related to your great-great-great-grandfather on your mother's side type of situation. And as a result of that, my blood claim is stronger than yours. My people, you know, like that kind of a thing. They just dig up some document that they could trace someone's lineage to press someone's claim through a really abstracted forgotten issue and if you press that claim and succeed then it's kind of like i guess it, i'm just inferring a lot here obviously i would assume that like the fact that you won in combat like the gods decide type of situation well i don't know if that's true oh yeah we'll prove it in combat i'll fight you and if i win then it was true that kind of a thing you know what I mean? Like, literally a, a situation where the victors write the history. That's how people used to do duels and stuff as well. Like, I duel you and uh, let God decide who was right because whoever wins was right, obviously. So I assume it's like an extension of that. Anyway, Headless7, back for 35 months. Fluffy Panda, back for three years. Thanks, Headless and Fluffy Panda, for sticking around for about three straight years. It's a long time. Naruziko simply says sushi in the chat as well. <laughs> Indeed, sushi. Sushi's pretty good, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and form up, and I think we need to retake, uh, Falkenstein. Oh, I remember! We're in, like, four wars right now. But I don't think they're mine. I tried to help out my lead. My liege is in three wars. And the only thing I have to worry about is Augsburg, really. So I'd like to go check my knights. Ooh. Ooh, Conrad. Second auto. Married to my daughter. Oh, yeah, I did marry my daughters to some fabulous knights who can fight for us. Uh, Mayor Engelbert, not feeling so good, but has 14. Yeah, we got a decent uh, ranking here. The weakest ones are 8 and 7. Okay. And we've got three men-at-arms regiments, a size 2 horsemen, and footmen as well. All right, let's start with that then, yeah? So let's see who's commanding. I'm gonna have Eisenrich, who's pissed at me. <laughs> I can't even afford to send you a gift. 68 gold. All right, yeah, you lead the troops because you've got the military engineer perk. And we're gonna try and retake Falkenstein. So, should be about five months. Still dig the UI over here. I love all the moving pieces. We just, ooh, easy. This is what I was afraid of right here. So if we fight this, it says that we're probably going to win, but they do get the defensive trait. And if I try to move out, I think I will get there first. But I got them to move. So as long as we chill in friendly territory, I think we are getting reinforcements and such. So I'm just going to actually just go right back because they're trying to loop around me to get Rothenburg, I think. And we might just bait them. So if they go to Rothenburg, we'll just turn around and go try to lift the siege of Rothenburg. And 
Now, the real question is eight months versus four. I think we actually stay here and take advantage of our good progress because we got desertion already, uh, disease and outbreaks. We got sickness spreading. They're still fully stocked, but uh, I think our siege progress is just much greater, and we should be able... We just got a... Um, Another disease outbreak. Rampant disease. Daily progress plus 20%. They're not having a great time here. So I, I think we just chill. Oh, and we, they're running out of food too. This is going very well in our favor. And then we'll try and head up. Maybe grab some troops on the way through Geisenhausen. Get ready. Because they're not even halfway done. And... Falkenstein is back! In our control! That was our land anyways, so we had to go help our bros. Oh wow, we are cruising across the land. Now, before we actually get into this fight, I want my better... Uh, ooh, I could lead. That seems dangerous, though. I do have a better commander advantage. Oh, this guy's available. Yeah, just let him do it. Tempered. This is all you, buddy. You got aggressive attacker for enemy fatal casualties and minimum battle roll plus four. I like it. So we get uh, the defensive bonus because Rothenberg is still friendly. So we get the bonus of the, I guess, what do you call this? The city? It's not a city. It's a castle, I guess. The castle of Rothenberg. Uh, it's not really a castle, though. It's more like a fort. Technically, it's a barony, right? Technically, it's a barony. Um, but yeah, so even though we're the ones attacking, the game treats this as if we are the defense. And that's just going to happen no matter what. You should take it to your advantage if you are fighting somewhere that has been sieged. So like if we fought in the barony of Munchen, or Munchen, I guess it'd be Munchen, right? Like Munich? Munchen. How do you say this? Anyway, if we fought here, this since this is has already been sieged by the enemy, this is not friendly territory to us anymore. So they would get the defensive bonus, even though it's our territory. But since this is our territory and they haven't successfully sieged it yet, they're considered the attackers. Even when we're the ones moving across to fight. And we got more minute arms. So we're, we're fighting, um... They really only have these 229 spearmen to deal with. Which are a counter for my horses. But we've got some other specialty units who will help us, um, in spite of that. Because we've got the armored footmen countering their pikemen, and we got a hundred of those. We have our own pikemen countering their horses. Their pikemen are countering... Actually, we have a mirror match. We just have more troops than they do. And equal commander advantage, which is interesting. So far, the rolls have been good. Our knight secondado was wounded this by an enemy sunken. soldier. That's one of my best fighters. Eisenrich was maimed. That's my guy I just took off the council. Enemy ally joins the war as well. That's not good. Okay, well, um, right now we have equal advantage. The defensive building is the best thing in our favor. He's got a chivalry focus, and he's commanding his own troops. That's giving them some big perks there. But this might end up being a Pyrrhic victory. Our knight second auto killed Henrik. All right, we got a kill. So that's nice. We're in the third phase of combat, so once you see late battle phase chat, if you think you're gonna lose, it's not dishonorable to just retreat. Once you see the sword and you're in late battle phase, you can click on your army and right-click to another place and you will try and leave. It'll look like you're getting your ass beat, um, as you do, because you'll go down to zero and he'll just start spanking you with whatever weapon he's got, but you will cut your losses that way instead of just staying in the fight and getting, you know, basically it's just like you're covering your retreat at that point. So you'll still lose some people, but not nearly as many. Our knight, Mayor Engelbert, killed Adolf. I think we've gotten some sick knight kills. Our knight, Conrad, wounded Mayor Arnold. Okay, we're getting, they're, they're coming back. My named characters. 
There we go. Victory. They're currently retreating. And we're trying to take as many of them with us as we... Wait, someone else just joined the fight? Who's this? Uh-oh. We only got 200 men versus 600? Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, uh, here's the funny thing. We're still even, but we're gonna lose. Because it's just sheer numbers. Our knight Conrad killed Count Albrecht! Honestly, I say we just fight this all the way, because... Okay, Mayor Highwick got maimed. I, don't know, I, I say we just stick with this, because it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory. What does Second Dotto do? Did he kill, or was he killed? Dude, we are getting a lot of named character interactions in this. Alright, GG. GG, time to get out. Wow, that was fast. Who did I leave? Did I leave allies? <laughs> Why am I? Why did I, like, sneak out of there? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Hang on, I can go back in? What's happening? Where's the battle? How is this happening? Can I go back in and help or no? Wow, they have- okay, now they have a ton of troops. Chat, why is my number over here, but my guy's over here? I don't know what's actually going on. There's a lot of icons on the screen, as you can see. Uh, I also didn't get a battle report for that. Even though I retreated? It was like I wasn't even in the fight. Like I didn't get a summary. I've never seen that happen. So Conrad is fine. Second Dotto got wounded and healed. Mayor Engelbert is still wounded. Eckerd's fine. Tedbert was... He's my marshal, or he was my marshal. Is he not my marshal? Oh, I made Mayor Popo. Yeah. Mayor Heilwick uh, was maimed and lost an arm in the battle. Now has four prowess. He's still my knight, though? We will forbid him from being a knight. Hork just became a knight. That's not... Listen, Hork. Nothing personal, my son. Normally, I force my kids to fight, but five prowess is so bad. Normally, I force them to, to try their best. To try and toughen them up and let the gods decide. Hello, Maritanapa. What's up, Timbite? How's it going, guys? Welcome to stream. Five is especially bad. T and Leadfoot says, uh, I paid a crud ton of money to send you to you for some emotes. You have indeed. The old timers are coming back in. Howdy, T and Leadfoot. <laughs> Thanks for 59 months of sub. That is an unfathomable amount of time. I don't know what I was doing 59 months ago, but thank you for uh, an extremely long period of support there. 256 is oo-wooing in my chat right now for seven months as well. Howdy, 2-5. We gotta find some new knights. We gotta find some new knights. Indeed. I think this is our best bet. Twenty-one prowess. Kettle. Imagine being named Kettle. Brave, wrathful, and gregarious. 
a flamboyant trickster, and an aspiring blade master. With 21 prowess. City skylines? Probably. Yeah, five years ago? It was probably city skylines. That sounds reasonable. So, I'm sorry, Vertawinda, for your 100 prestige loss. Um, however, you at least get the benefit of a matrilineal marriage to continue our dynasty, great as it is. And we receive a new knight. I wonder if I should try catching these guys out, or maybe we can wait until he goes wherever it is he's going. I accept your betrothal. I will graciously take the hand of your daughter, Vertawinda, when the time comes. Excellent. Indeed. All right, once he's far enough away, we're just going to... Actually, let's just go now, because they're about to finish the siege. And we can kind of jump on him. <laughs> he's like, I'm getting out of here. This doesn't seem like a good idea anymore. <laughs> it's too late for you. I have found you sleeping on the job outside of Rothenburg. You're welcome, my leech. A rematch. Literally the same thing. I'm keeping an eye on this 460 over this here. Is the gifts up. Same matchup, even. This is how it was supposed to go, Chad. We only have four knights versus six. Your counselor, Heilwick, died from his internal injuries. Aww. He was 62, so it was probably harsh. That uh, was my best chancellor. My next best chancellor is, and I quote, an eight in diplomacy. <sighs> my daughters, I am sorry to use you in this way, but... Cookie Crisp, Von Catlinburg. You should probably just be matched up with someone who is a fabulous dude. 16 years old, Ludwig. <laughs> Generous, patient, and compassionate, a gray eminence. And also uh, is not lowborn. Now, the only problem with this is no alliances. Chat. <sighs> Cookie Crisp could be married to somebody for an alliance. I have to decide whether I want an awesome diplomat or if I want a potential alliance. Dude. Dub. Dub. <laughs> Lynn. Where's Dub. <laughs> Lynn? Is this the Mer Chad? One Merchad to rule them all? Oh, he's not doing so good. Yeah, I don't think we've got a lot of good options here, actually. We were looking at Friuli. I think Friuli's in trouble. We were looking at Bohemia. And Bohemia just won't accept because I am not good enough. I am just a lowly count. Okay, we have already got an alliance with Nordgau, presumably. We could double up on it. There's Hork, so we're marrying the sibling of the current uh, Duke Lutold of Nordgal. Hmm. Interesting. This is the subset. Is he taking land or the duchy? The guy I'm fighting is trying to take the duchy. He wants it all. And so do I. So who can get there first? I think let's just stick with what we've got. I think take what's available. The diplomat, Ludwig, matrilineal. Hook it up. Cookie Crisp, Cookie Crisp, is finally getting married. And we have got a battle victory on our hands and finally get um, 
something to show for it. We imprisoned a few, or imprisoned at least one person. I don't think any of our knights got injured. We got uh, some good kills. Conrad and Second Dotto cleaning up as they do. Okay, seems good. Lift the siege. We can go fight them, or we can just go... You know what? I think now's our opportunity to hop on over with what troops we have left and siege their capital. I will gladly accept your betrothal proposition and graciously take the hand of your daughter, Kuhuki Crisp, when the time comes. Excellent. <laughs> That's how everyone has to say it in the courts, too. If you were curious. Whenever they are addressing my daughter, that is what they must say. <laughs> Alright, we regained a few troops on the way through. So that's nice. Got some allies here who can't siege. Bless their hearts. They're trying their hardest, though. Bashing their shield. So, did, did every single sieging army bash the shield in the, before the last update? Or was that a last update thing? Because I don't know why I didn't notice that until now. I had a ruler once who killed his own mother, had an affair with his aunt, and laughed about his father's death when I started playing as him. Crusader Kings. I'm a million. Is a wild experience. Okay, so now we're getting to see this mod. So, basically what it does is it shows me relationships and who's who. So, now when I say... Oops. Oops. Stay there. Now when I say uh, and read, my lord, the malady is contagious, be wary. My court physician, Udo, so there he's labeled now. You can see who is talking about. Udo holds me back, the diseased body of a commoner. Skin marred by rashes and bumps rest upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection, and I was planning an outing that will take me close to Berghausen, the holding of my vassal, Mayor Arnold. So you can see this is Mayor Arnold, and I don't know where Wartrun... Wartrun is the corpse. What an interesting name for a diseased corpse. Launch it towards Berghausen. Someone at the court might contract the disease. Mayor Arnold becomes your rival. Mayor Arnold is... I thought he was on my council, is he not? He's currently ill. <laughs> He's already sick. Uh, the body might contain clues as to the disease's origin. You gain 60 critical stress because of your wrath. One of your courtiers may get the disease. She will have a dignified burial. Gain piety, but you're also very wrathful. Why <laughs> does my wrathful character want to launch a diseased corpse? Using what technology, might I ask, are we launching this? He loses 40 opinion of you, hatred, and becomes your rival. We don't have trebuchets, chat. There are zero trebuchets in our entire empire, which we don't have an empire, but our entire uh, domain. Not a single one. Launch it, I guess. County of Frontenhausen gains ravaged by disease for five years. Uh, that sounds bad. Minus 50% development growth and control growth minus 0.2 per month. That's one of my own counties, dude. Why did I just launch that at my own county? All right, what? Moving on. Let's put our consecutive, consecutive subscriptions. subscriptions. Oh wait, he died. My warrior that had um. Well, that's actually nice. It sucks because that the guy that died was a awesome sieger, but he was pissed because I fired him from the council. Speaking of firing him from the council, we do not have a diplomat. 
flammable cow gifting uh five more gift subs to the community. What's up, cow? Enjoy auditor, pseudo scuzzinator, shit wizard, and Danlo. Two of you are here for the first time. The rest of you, welcome back for another month. Appreciate you, flammable cow. Boy, I love CK3. Me too. It's a lot of fun. Oh! Speaking of Crusader Kings, hang on, I'm watching, um... I don't think they're gonna do anything. There's only a few of them. But I'm still watching, because they're maneuvering. The plan, um, is... The... For the for this week, as I mentioned already, we are going to probably stream the sequel to Remothered <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, day off on Wednesday. When we come back on Thursday, I don't know why Flammable Cow just reminded me. We're gonna check out Hearts of Iron, actually. This is the sub sound. We've got uh, the new expansion coming out on Thursday, I think. And I'm just gonna try Hearts of Iron. This is the sub sound. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm, I've played it before, but it was a long time ago. I haven't played with any of the DLCs. I figure why not jump in while the new expansion pack kicks off. So I'm going to have to teach myself Hearts of Iron again. I'm familiar with some of the more abstract concepts, um, but uh, not all of them, obviously. So I'm interested in that. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about all the games we had to play, and that's another one. <laughs> I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Verda Winda knows a lot of ways to get what she wants. Most importantly, she is highly aware of the political implications of those wants. Three-star intricate web weaver. Good job, Verda Winda. We have a lot of sneaky people in our family. I'll try Robot Mystic. There's a lot to learn. We're probably just gonna go very slow and uh, just kind of enjoy savoring like we do here. Going back to World War II. Uh, I'm not sure who we're gonna play as yet. I'm kind of just thinking playing Greece. I think Greece is one of the new or updated factions with um, the tweaked focuses that they've got. I know Turkey is one of the big ones. It's Turkey, Greece, and one more, right? Greece might be fun. Turkey is a big dog, though. Well, they're back. They keep reforming their army no matter how many times they beat them. I think they're coming to lift the siege. But I don't know if we have 50 days left. Will they get here in 50 days? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like they're going for us. This is going to be pretty big. Because we're at negative 40% right now. So let's see how this changes things. In our favor. We're taking the capital of Augsburg. <laughs> the streamer practically beat Neo Scavenger. Is that my claim to fame? Oh yeah, Bulgaria. Corgi coming in with the information. Greece, Turkey, and Bulgaria. So could you you could play as them before, but not with like the the trees are what make it interesting, right? Because without the trees, you're kind of just some guys with guns. The trees make it so that you can actually like diverge into very specific like uh, alt history where, you know, sides that normally would have allied, you now have the opportunity to maybe be independent or side with the enemy or work from within to choose, like, um, political affiliation. You can make, like, communist democratic or independent nations side with, like, fascists or whatever you want to do. You can just... I think you, the, the trees open up, like... A variety of weird and crazy alternate timelines. Everyone else has a generic tree, yeah. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to seeing how many people in chat... <laughs> uh, 
Um, I already know how to play. We're, we're definitely not going to play well, but we will have fun. So that brought us up to a negative three. That was 37% difference there. Uh, I would like to obviously take these guys down. And you will probably win. I'm tempted to just go ahead and fight this. Maybe go through Rothenburg and see if we get any more troops on the way. Because I think we'll have the opportunity to maybe scoop some up. I don't know if that number will change. Duchess Ragna of Upland has announced to the world she and her vassals have converted to Cath Cath Catharism. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of Catholic priests, the nobles of Upland no longer consider the clergy righteous and true and are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. They are instead professing themselves Cathars, whose doctrine they feel better align with God's will. Those vile heretics have led them astray. You know, they do have some good points. <laughs> no. Let's not um, go Cathar in the middle of the Holy Roman Empire just because... Um, some people from Norway decided to. Corgi with 500 bits says, Hi, Ital and Chad. Thanks for birthday stream. Only on Twitch will someone pay you on their own birthday. Hello, Corgi. Thank you for your 500 bits. Feels birthday, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> And uh, thank you for your generosity. <laughs> Thanks for sharing a little slice of cake. And hanging out with us. <laughs> Definitive Infinitive also sharing the tier one sub for two months. What's up, Definitive? Welcome to Corgi's birthday bash. And Steve at 45. Happy one year, Steve. I can't believe you guys all showed up for Corgi's uh, Crusader King's birthday. That's super nice. Ravensai says, what is your favorite emote with channel points? Uh, I can't pick one. I can pick a bunch that I like. Favorite emote. This is a default generic answer, but everything is funnier with a default Twitch smiley face. I like the D face as well. But the smiley face has a certain charm to it that the other websites and platforms don't have. If they ever change the Twitch smiley face, there will be blood. And it'll be because I'm crying tears of blood. Because I'll be so stressed out from it. All right, battle time. Wow, they got more special troops this time. They got bowmen, hor wow. They got five <laughs> regiments. It's very friendly and genuine, and not at all sarcastic, Liuda. Not even a little bit. All right, rolling sevens. As long as we roll higher than you, and keep our def the defensive advantages coming in hot, Wait, do we have... We don't have a defensive advantage here for some reason. Or at least it's not represented on that number. 400 kills versus 71. Horsemen are actually gods right now. Knights are doing fantastic considering we only have four of them. We're, we don't even have a fifth knight? We should have five knights. Are these not them? Conrad is five by himself. <laughs> there he is. Your betrothed can marry. Verdawinda! Maybe Kettle, Kettle hasn't come to town yet. All right, there he is. I will gladly accept your marriage proposal. I'll take the hand of your daughter, Verdawinda, in holy matrimony. And we still got empty chancellor position. Kettle does have an 11 diplomacy, which I guess is fine for now, but I don't want to have to fire him soon. 
when uh we got we do have like three years all right kettle for now you're the dude look studious look like you know what you're doing i know you're like 17 or 18 but um no you're 19 just pretend like you know what you're doing everyone else is doing the exact same thing uh, this dude just converted to Catharism. Interestingly. We're working on foreign affairs. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and their roots are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Alexander has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. Deus Volt. Christian faith has access to the Crusades. The Crusader Kings are here. <laughs> that dude is literally Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> who are we in game right now? We are a vassal of Bavaria, who themselves are a vassal of the Holy Roman Empire. We are playing as the... Geisenhausen, County of the Catlinburg House. So we are the Catlinburgs. We only have eight living members. So we're somewhat obscure. Kaiser Heinrich has, is being attacked by Duke Lost. I don't know how to say that at all. Um, our current emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Kaiser Heinrich IV, has been captured no fewer than four separate times by his enemies. So he's doing pretty good for himself. Um, he, I think, has lost almost every war that he has been in. And uh, you can see now... Ooh, we got some developments over here. The coast off of France and Normandy in particular. Was Brittany not part of England re till recently? Because I remember that um, Normandy splintered off from France. Then Normandy conquered England. So England did not conquer Normandy. And uh, did Brittany just... No, it's been inherited a few times. I don't know. I thought these were used to be together. But maybe I'm crazy. What is my plan? My plan right now is to defend my liege, my duke. And uh, once I have defeated Augsburg, who's currently trying to get the Duchy of Bavaria, I will take the Duchy of Bavaria for myself. So the goal from an RP perspective is show that I am the true hero of Bavaria by helping out my liege and then basically saying hey liege like remember how you didn't do shit and then i came in and kicked the augsburg's ass all by myself this is why the rest of you should swear fealty to me that that's my that's my opportunity to prove that i have what it takes to be a real ruler plus it's also going to be in an interesting backstab because coming to the aid of another character um endears them to you Uh-oh. We got a hostile army. Who's not technically at war with us. But will kill us if they get the opportunity. So we're just going to start moseying south. When I tried being emperor, I died after three years. Maybe that's a new record, Cassius. Um, obviously, from there, I would like to try forming the Kingdom of Bavaria. But that's going to be a longer, like, midterm... I would say medium-term goal. Short-term is just become a duke. Would be very nice. Become a simple duke and go from there. So we're going to help siege. We've got 10 months. That's a long siege. Oh, yeah, because we don't have the siege boy. Siege boy is dead. And it's very sad. The county of Rothenburg has given rise to some peasant rabble. That's the first time that's happened. Um... Prince Ulf. Dude. Dude. Catharism is, uh... Eh, okay. It sounded bigger than it was. <laughs> it's not that bad yet. 
There's also, uh, for those of you that are new or recent here, this is my first time playing as a feudal realm, and also my first time playing in Western Europe, and also my first time playing as a vassal, I think. So we got a lot of firsts for this particular run. To be fair, I've only had two campaigns of Crusader Kings. Uh, is this guy coming for me? I feel like he's coming for me, chat. I'm getting out of here. You will probably win, though. Defending a river crossing, better army commander, more traits, higher quality. But he has counters. But uh, I... Right, does that include my allies as well? Perhaps. Also, we're doing a pretty good job of paying our armies. To the point where I would be open to upgrading my minute arms. We got three bucks. These are pretty expensive. Uh, who's in this? 300 pikemen. I'm seeing a lot of pikemen. And that's why I tried to kind of roll armored footmen to counter spearmen particularly. So maybe just a third armored footman division would be nice, because I see a pikeman everywhere. Should we just fight this out, chat? I'm going to fight it out. I don't plan on saves coming, but... The war to defend Bavaria. Defend. That's not really specific enough. Babadook. Babadook. The Babadook. <laughs> Alright, can you allies just chill with me? No? Okay. That's fine. I'll roll with it. So chat, we're outnumbered by six hundo people. Uh, enemy commander is Duchess Adelheid of Thuringia on the scene with 14 commander advantage versus my character's 22. Are you a different religion by chance? Because that would be so fortunate. You are not. Okay. Because of my holy warrior boy. No, he's not a holy warrior. He's just aggressive. Okay, my bad. See, so yes, as we're countering the pikemen with the heavy footmen. Who counters armored footmen, though? Uh, light footmen. Maybe we should... Maybe we do need light footmen. How? Where did 600 of their troops go? Our knight Eckerd was maimed! Ah! Commander Tetbert was wounded! Commander Tetbert, uh, killed... T our knight Count Berthold killed the guy that wounded the other guy. Why are my knights getting such a raw deal on this? Also, we wiped the floor with them. <laughs> that was a fast turnaround. A papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Alexander has issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic count, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause, sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To all who will take the fight against the vile infidels desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem, the Holy See promises full absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place in heaven. They're going straight for Jerusalem, huh? Okay. My warriors will be ready to fight. Pope Alexander, let's take a look at you. 81 years old. Ooh-wee. He is compassionate, forgiving, and just... 38 learning skill, a mastermind philosopher, a scholar, athletic in his old age, and whole of body, buff pope. Buff smart pope. Hi, chat. How's Bavaria? What's up, Brimo? We just got summoned to war for the first time. My warriors will be ready. Pledge to join the crusade as soon as it starts. Gain 60 piety. Crusade for the kingdom of Jerusalem. The war chest receives 500 prestige and 150 piety automatically. Interesting. I haven't seen these mechanics, chat. This is new for me. I will gladly help this holy cause. Lose 107 gold. The war chest receives 107 gold. Perhaps I should consider joining. Crusade for Jerusalem in 1100. 
Successful Norman conquest in 1066. <laughs> was it one of the changes for the patch notes that knights get wounded more often but gain skills much faster? Uh, I don't know exactly. I remember reading about the skills. I don't know if they get wounded more. They were already getting wounded at a fairly steady clip. Chat, I believe this is going to sound like bad to you, but I am not only generous, but also profligate. Frequently wastes money and gives money to good causes, so I am going to donate 107 gold to the war chest for this. Out of the goodness of my character's heart. I would think that I would get more piety than this. For 100, 107 gold doesn't buy me even as much piety as just pledging my troops immediately. I will gladly help finance this holy cause. There you go. Meanwhile, uh, our knight's got 265 kills. Destroyed their levies, almost 600 of them. Rip almost 8 hundo troops. That was a 4 to 1 KDR. Armored Footman did great, our levies almost traded, and pikemen don't really do anything unless there's enemy um, mounted troops. Conrad, showing off, dude. Second auto, always in second place. <laughs> it's in the name. There are only three events. Uh, Eckerd is now wearing a mask. A disfigured face that does not affect his fighting ability now. So, there you go. Unlanded. How expensive do you think these masks were to custom make? Our Knight Count Berthold killed the... Dude, we killed a duke? In combat? The Duke, slain in battle by Count Berthold. Wow. Uh, who did you leave in charge? Was that... I don't know what you're the Duke, du Duke of Thuringia. I don't know. I guess these guys. Whatever. Anyway, we won. Get wrecked. I guess we just stay here and keep fighting, dude. I am the only person. This uh, crusade launches in 15 months, by the way. That's not very long. P.S. How many people are in my garrison here? <laughs> 50, uh, 40, 44 more troops than they currently have. <laughs> It's a pretty solid garrison because the log forts. Remember how we were building those up? We've been building up our counties slowly. That extra garrison is actually buying us a lot of time right here. The Duchess is the ruler. The Duke you killed was her consort. I see. I see. Your neighbor uh, has won against Duchess Oda in the Nordgau claim on the county of Vauklin. And your court physician became an actual physician. Good job, Udo. You're doing pretty good for yourself. We can go back to 3x now. <laughs> Sir Conrad and his retinue. That's the hard part to remember. It's more fun, though, to think that it's just one guy... Uh, running with, like, sword pointed out and just, like, killing every single person that he runs into. To kill 90 people. Okay, how long was the average battle? Then consider how fast you would have to be at murdering people. How long was the average medieval pitched battle? Okay. Um, I guess it varies wildly. It looks like anywhere from three to like nine. Like Battle of Hastings was apparently eight to nine hours. 
Battle of Agincourt lasted three hours. Roughly. So, like, if you do the math on that, let's say, let's say five hours. And you kill 90 people. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fast. 60 times 5 divided by 100. You have to kill... <laughs> um, three... You have to, hang on, yeah. If you kill 100 people over 300 minutes, you have to kill one person every three minutes to keep up with that. I've been corresponding with your Chancellor Kettle. It's been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. All right, you're 11 years old. Who did you think I was? Hmm? Tell me. Who did you assume that I would be? We have almost a thousand troops. They're just kind of uh, slowly rebuilding, I think, over time. <laughs> you get a queue of people waiting to be killed by him. <laughs> you just line them up, call the number, next person comes, and then slash their throat. Me. What's up, Dominations? Bonaparte? People arriving? Hey, guys. Uh, we just sieging right now. And then I guess we're gonna go kill these 420 men down here. Once we're done. New diplomatic lifestyle perk. Don't mind if I do. Close family opinion plus 15. You can befriend people. Monthly prestige per dread. That would be nice. Sway scheme power or gift money. Uh, prestige per dread's good. Prestige per night, not as good. Alright, let's I say we take firm hand and then bounce off of this tab. But we're gonna lose the one prestige per month we were gaining. We could do Marshall. I just... We could go Marshall and do Serve the Crown. Or we could bounce back to Intrigue and do some more Intrigue stuff. Or we could go bounce back to Stewardship. I just remember there not being anything else on Stewardship that I really wanted. Except maybe building costs down. Yeah, I say, um... I say let's go Marshall at this point. Uh, I'll take... Hmm, Dread Gain's nice. Control's nice for if we're taking new land. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna live. I also wouldn't mind a Chivalry Focus and just go reduce risk of commanding armies. Because if we've got these god-tier knights and we make them even more effective with Chivalric Dominance early game, that's probably extremely powerful. I don't really need Dread Gain up if I go ahead and get Serve the Crown as well. Okay, let's just do Chivalry Focus then. Start building some Marshall. We're already halfway to a perk anyway. So that'll be nice. I don't I don't think uh, there's one that I always do. I try to pick stuff that's useful at the time. And that, that works out pretty well for me. We haven't done Marshall skills in a while, though. The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Mayor Arnold. Is this the dude we launched a diseased corpse into his land and accidentally infected my entire county? I think so. But today the curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled and brought this vile knave to his grave. Not a day too soon. Minus 49 stress. Very good. Very good. I like how patient these guys are. They're not winning. <laughs> and now they're running away. So we're back to 22% war score, chat. Um, let's see. Right now, we're at 1% from held objectives. I think that'll start ticking up now. Minus 15% from battles. 37% from occupied enemy holdings. I think we just need to be patient. And obviously, if we beat them again, that would be nice. 
we could just ignore them in siege. A four year long war already. I don't think I've been in it for four years. I think, um, I think we joined late. So they got 500 people. And they'll probably try and siege now. These other wars are not my problem. I think. Duke Heinrich. All right, Duke Heinrich, here's the thing. Uh, we need to restart... Attempt to claim the throne. You already have a pressed claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Okay? I've already got it. I just need to actually use it. Correct? Do I start a claimant faction against Duke Heinrich? We've never done this before. This is new gameplay as well. So, I am the claimant. Wow. Start my own faction, chat. He's only got 491 troops. Perhaps... I don't think he can do anything yet. Even with 500 troops. We really just need some time to rebuild our army. We're also going to have the thing... Little thing called, a uh, Crusade. <laughs> to deal with. How old am I now? Uh, I don't know. 51. Fifty-one. So here's a question. How do I get an ally? How do I? You can't do any diplomacy with this little kid until he's 16, right? Which is unfortunate because I'm already betrothed to his sibling. My, my character is betrothed to his sibling. Maybe once they're actually married? She's allied to me. But I can't, uh, convince her bro to join me for a while, I think. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, let's hold off on the faction creation until this war is done. How about that? We gotta prove ourselves. My allies are trying to siege up here and apparently succeed. Why are there 600 troops down here all of a sudden? By the way, this is the expanded outliner, so you can see an army is currently sieging. You can see what they're composed of and how many troops. So it's got just a little bit more detail on the outliner with that uh, little outliner mod. They might just be going for like Passau or something. I don't know. I honestly think if, if this siege is successful and this siege is successful, then we probably got it on lock. Your counselor Popo died of old age. And a sinful bishop has been exposed. Catholicism is losing fervor left and right. All right, new martial time. Uh, no one powerful that it's actually good. So maybe we just rehire Tetbert. I say we just rehire Tetbert. Focus on organizing the levies. That's a reinforcement rate of 26%, which is very important right now. And, uh, I'm not really swaying anybody, so why don't we just look at my powerful vassals. <laughs> They've got 13 levies they're affording me. That's so nice. Thank you, guys. Because of Republic obligations. We have to negotiate some contracts. Uh, but it's kind of not worth me negotiating with just my mares right now. Kind of don't care. But I could. I mean, I, I could, um... Actually, I don't think you can renegotiate with mirrors. I think it has to be a count. Sorry, I'm new to feudalism. So we're just going to ignore those guys. And just focus on the tasks at hand. Once we get some actual vassals, then we'll start needing to focus on some contracts. There's an active election in the Holy Roman Empire right now. Vertawinda gained 20 opinion of you. Because of your spouse. 
pretty sweet. Okay, who's currently... Dude! Kaiser Heinrich is voting for the Duke of Bavaria right now to become the successor of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, he doesn't have enough votes, but that's kind of crazy. Total score of this candidate, three. Vote strength, three. Why does this dude have a five vote strength? Royal dignity and influential vassal, plus three. King Zvatabor of Bohemia. Bohemia big. So he gets five votes. And he's voting for Duke Magnus of Angria. King Gottfried is voting for Svadbor. He's got multiple votes, actually, for him. And then Duke Leopold of Steiermark has three voters as well. Interesting. I have no idea how to manipulate this. Why... King of Denmark? Why is King of Denmark... Why is the King of Denmark a potential Holy Roman Emperor? <laughs> Wouldn't that be bad? 4,000 IQ. Um, make the King of Denmark the new Holy Roman Emperor and integrate Denmark into the Holy Roman Empire. Peacefully. <laughs> you just have to let him be the leader. Would that work? Would that actually do that exact thing? That's how Sicily became part of the Holy Roman Empire in history, really. That's pretty cool. What's up? Mostly lost? But thanks, Calderash, for that uh, history lesson. Just scrolling up in chat. The Holy Roman Ocean. That is what we are currently swimming in. So it looks like we're extremely powerful, but we're really not. Holy Roman Empire is finally building some troops, though. They got more than France. Uh, Hungary is actually mean. 8,000? Uh, Byzantines are doing solid. 10,000 troops. They got a piece of Africa now. They're enjoying their time in Crete. Cumania, of course, starts big. Everything else looks uh, pretty normal. Pretty normal. Okay, let's finish this, shall we? Uh, we... I might need to abandon the siege, because I think I see what's going on here. We've got time. It's okay, it's okay, guys. It's okay, I'm here. Look, allies. Chill out. Come back! <laughs> Look, uh, there's over 1,200 of us, dude. I'll just beat them. Well, I didn't catch any of them, actually. See? If you guys had just started fighting, I would have helped you out. Now, both of us lost our siege progress. So, fantastic. Guys, what is your what's your plan here? Uh, my allies, I... Appear to be winning without my help, actually. Our knight was wounded? I'm not even there yet. Okay. Our nightmare, Engelbert, wounded Count Otto immediately. Reinforcements have arrived. Second Otto wounded Ulrich. Good job, second auto. And just like that, we've won. Okay, you guys... I'm just gonna come help you siege, so that we don't have this problem again. Oh my god! Run away! Everyone scattered to the wind! <laughs> uh, quickly, get out of there! Do we have anybody, any fast boys? <laughs> People run, dude. They're coming fast! And I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not coming back to help this. 
<laughs> All right, we're going home. I don't, they're not even in our war. It's just a different hostile army. Who's this? Are you really going to stop me right here to fight three dudes? Val- Oh my god, I captured Duke Otto, the, the Duke of our enemy, and won the war. Wow. They were just walking through the wilderness. We caught them at like a campsite. <laughs> Uh, well, you're welcome, Duke of Bavaria. <laughs> they were out just enjoying a nice marshmallow snack over the open flames, and me and 800 of my closest friends <laughs> just showed up with a ring around them. <laughs> they were just looking at the stars or something, I don't know. And we just asked if we could join the campsite. Augsburger claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Let us enforce... Only the war leader may offer peace. Okay, so it's not up to me. Uh, I have to trust the king. He is my captive, though. I don't think I can really do anything with that. But there's Duke Otto. Safely locked away. He's got great pox, so watch out. He's worth a hundo gold. We're just gonna chill. He's gonna be automatically released. Once the war is over. All I gotta do is steer clear of this nonsense. Okay, uh, you can make peace anytime now. Thank you. Your liege won their war with Duke Otto, thanks to you. Uh, allies share 115 prestige. My war score was literally 100%. Uh, Duke of Bavaria has no choice but to acknowledge my contributions. The war is over, chat. I'm disbanding, dude. We're gonna chill until we can build up some levies and also rebuild our men at arms. And also, we're back to four income. So I think it's a good idea to go ahead and decide what other men at arms we want. Either a fourth one. We can get some mangonels, but I really feel like we're struggling so much that sieging should not be our first priority. I think just an extra regiment of soldiers would be a huge help. And like when I look at this, let's just see what they've got. They've got pikemen and mangonels. They've got some heavy. They've got more pikemen. I just see pikemen everywhere. Pikemen and heavy. I never see any light infantry. So, um, a squad of light infantry would counter their heavy, their armored footmen, or I can just buff my heavy armored footmen to counter pikemen even better. Those are my two big choices. We don't have any bowmen. Bowmen counter skirmishers. Which we don't... We haven't really encountered... Um, so, skirmishers would be, in our case, what? Because I'm used to skirmishers being mounted, uh, horse archers, typically. Skirmishers are just light footmen. And we don't, I haven't seen any enemy light footmen where bowmen would, would come in handy. But yeah, when we were up in the step, it was all horse archers all the time. So, I feel like I can do without archers. Maybe just grab the light footmen... Or we could just go wild and double up on armored and just have two armored footman squads. Because armored infantry are still really good against levies, obviously. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Any faults? Anti-Pikeman Elite Special Forces. More armor. I'll eventually get a fifth Men at Arms and more. Um. So if I get Light Footman now, I'll still have more room later. 
Yeah, obviously I'll increase the size first. I'm just saying in general. Hmm, I don't know. I think right now I'm just using confirmation bias to say we are fighting a lot of pikemen. There are some occasional heavy infantry groups. We will probably have a light infantry. I might just get two because we have four monthly income. I'm trying to figure out how much extra. I might just go two. So we do size three. This is 0.22 per month unraised. It's affordable. Let's do size 3 heavy and a tier 1 light, which is only 0 .08 unraised. That's a very small investment. It just takes up that precious minute arm slot. But I do think having that versatility would be nice. Okay, that looks good. Let's just leave it at that and let them train for a little while. Why not both? How important are bowmen? Kind of depends on what you're fighting. Uh, bowmen are really nice for a couple of reasons. Namely that um, they just have really high damage and uh, will be kind of your initiators. So there's different stages of combat, right? I think the second stage, chat, correct me if I'm wrong, is the like range exchange, <laughs> if you want to call it that. So I think having a big amount of bowmen can front load your damage. But they specifically counter skirmishers, which are light infantry and mounted horse among or mounted horse archers among others. Um so I'm trying to avoid them because I just went all in on bowmen and uh, got some really specialized Metz and Vartia in my last playthrough, so I'm kinda trying to see like what does the total opposite of that playstyle look like? And whether or not I can still be effective with uh, without using them at all. So I'm kind of just testing that out. <laughs> hey, Chad, do you know how to fabricate claims? I do. Your forces captured Duke Otto. Okay, so we're just going to chill. We're going to relax. We're going to rebuild our levees while these scary 5,000 troops... Cookie Crisp comes of age. <laughs> Cookie Crisp has truly understood... Uh, her education, everything tasked of her is done by others before she gets to it. And she never tells petty lies the way that she used to. Perhaps she was not as clever as she seemed after all. What? She is trusting, ambitious, lazy, the laziest elusive shadow you've ever seen. Countess Adelheid's contributions cannot go unmentioned. Her lessons have given Cookie Crisp valuable knowledge for her future life. They grow up fast. Well, there you go, my kids. So when can you get married? Now. All right. Well, the years have gone by. I will graciously take the hand of your daughter, Cookie Crisp, in holy matrimony. May St. Bridget bless our union. Or Brigid, I don't know. Uh, but that was going to be our new chancellor. So we specifically married our daughter for an awesome counselor. Sorry to fire Kettle. I'm not trying to play favorites here amongst my children, my, my son-in-laws, but he is very clearly better than you. With a 19 diplomacy. So make friends with uh, everybody outside. Keep collecting taxes is fine. Supporting schemes, let's go back to disrupting for a little while, and organizing the levies is good while we uh, train new troops. And then once we've, once we're feeling confident in our soldiers, uh, then we'll go ahead and start the faction business. In fact, let's just see how many troops we have right now. 13 hundo versus two, oh, they're down to 200, huh? They're currently attacking Duchess Adelheid in the war against the tyranny of Duchess Adelheid. Interesting. Didn't we kill her husband? <laughs> yeah, we slew him in battle. By Count Berthold of Innsbruck it, on uh, August 1100. There you go. Okay, well in that case, our, our liege is so weak, I think I will go ahead and start the faction. 
We're going to create a claimant faction now to put myself as the Duke of Bavaria. We're going to see how that goes. I am already pretty strong. I can send an ultimatum in 20 months. I can also press demands. This is new gameplay for me, so I like to read all this. The faction sends an ultimatum to the target. If accepted, the faction's demands will be fulfilled. If the target does not accept, there will be civil war. Faction leader is a player, so demands can be sent in spite of discontent and faction military power threshold. So I get cheat codes. Add members. Cannot be forced to join. You don't have an available strong hook. Count Eckbert cannot join the faction to install Count Dietrich. Uh, can I invite people, or do they just join automatically if they like me? So I probably just need to appease my fellow vassals, one would assume. He's got six vassals. Why don't we just pick the next closest one? How old are you? Thirteen, dude! I can't sway anybody because these are all children! Count Berthold. Fellow vassal. Let's start swaying you. I want, ooh, a hundo gold? I don't like you that much. And uh, maybe discover secrets on somebody as well. Because I do have an offensive um, ability here. His opinion of liege is negative 64. That's good to know. He might just join me because he hates the other guy. And Count Eckbert is also 10 years old. <laughs> Happy birthday, you're married now. Exactly, Code Effects. You understand how this is supposed to work. It's a little cutthroat. All right, well, let's just see what happens when we unpause. I think uh, he's the only one that I even could ask. I can negotiate an alliance. We must have some relationship. Forced to join faction. Is that the only option? There's not like a, hey, would you like to support my claim? How do they get people in their factions? Why did my... Oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Discontent at 5%. I don't know how that affects me as a player. But I'm just going to chill because there's a lot of bad guys here. I'm a little worried about. We might need to bide our time anyways. The problem is Bavaria is so weak that other people are kind of trying to encroach on our turf. More or less. Hey, what's up, Ace Tech? How's it going? Welcome to stream. <laughs> it's Lord of the Flies in this empire. Uh, all their dads are dying in battle. While 5,000 strong doomstacks roam the countryside. Is the crusade happening right now? I have already donated gold. Did it just start? Crusade for the kingdom of Jerusalem! If you pledge yourself as an attacker, you choose a beneficiary that may gain a title in the kingdom. You may gain a share of the war chest. You may gain some gold when the crusade starts. Wars against other participants end when the crusade begins. Currently, they got 2,100 bucks, 12,000 prestige, and 3,000 piety. My contribution... Well, I mean, I gave gold. But not a lot. 21,000 troops versus 10,000. So far, it looks like uh, we're winning. <laughs> Join the crusade. Participants may get part of the war chest. Here's the thing, though. This is what sucks about joining the Crusade at this stage in history. I can do that, and I can volunteer my troops, right? But that doesn't stop all the other people from declaring war on me. If you send your whole army to Jerusalem, then you're just extremely vulnerable at home. You know? Because there's nothing preventing... Oops, sorry. There's nothing preventing them from all <laughs> just declaring on me as soon as I'm gone and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'd love to help to try to get some money, but I feel like it's a little risky. 
That being said, uh, 1,500 soldiers is pretty solid. Maybe we just wait until we finish our light footman? Natural dread plus 15, control growth up, I like. I say we try and use chivalric dominance while we have the opportunity. Who do I want to fabricate secrets and stuff on? I guess I could try doing this. Fabricate a hook. 90%, 95% secrecy. Takes 14 months. Why not? I mean, I've already got a faction against you. No one's joined my faction. Maybe they don't? I don't know how factions really work as a player. That happened to me the other day. <laughs> got my shit kicked in during a crusade. <laughs> uh, well... They're not technically at war with us yet. We could just run over there. Uh, I, the thing is, we're going to be alone. I don't see any... Maybe we don't see any troops until we join the crusade. There could be allies already on the way. Count Berthold of Innsbruck was taken prisoner. Don't know if that affects me. Innsbruck is right below us, though. County of Passau has an organized service for five years for some extra taxes. And we are almost at our maximum. We're still getting 56 troops per month. We'll see what our actual... Our potential total is 2,200. Uh, my light footman regimen, I think, is basically also full. In and out, just a little 20-minute war. Your steward found you 75 bucks between the couch cushions. Hey, nice job. All right, maybe we should focus on increasing control to 100%. This will take two months to top off. This will take three years. Okay, let's start on getting some control. Hmm, anything else? Disrupting schemes is good. We could support the schemes, but we have a great success chance already in the one that we're doing. Could fabricate some more claims. I just don't think I need any. I've got five out of five domain. I just need to be a duke now. Hi, streamer, chat, and VOD watchers. Shh, we don't talk to the VOD watchers. Thank you, antagonist. Hello, Teruler. And what's up, everybody else? Just arriving. Um, oh yeah, I can open my Domain Holdings tab, and we can see where our taxes are coming from, how many soldiers we're producing. Wow, I am a Vaughn Watcher, I am leaving. If you were a Vaughn Watcher, you wouldn't be here. Right? You'd be watching a VOD. Not live, typing in my stream. So, early on in our campaign, like, right at the beginning, the Holy Roman Empire splintered. Lombardy and Tuscany were like, I'm out, dude. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> and they left. And they never came back. My spy master comes to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting <laughs> to kill my spy master, Claudia. Is it you, Claudia? Are you the one? Are you plotting? Trust no one, not even yourself. My spy master is deceitful, shy, and zealous. We must stop the villain behind this. I just find out she got her own plot against herself. All right, we're up to... We're still training. As long as you see, like, plus 41 or plus something, that means you're still getting truce. Once this goes to plus zero per month, you've hit your, like, actual maximum. There might be an easier way to see what your actual max is. But uh, if you try and wait for it to get to this number, you'll often be disappointed. So that's how I can kind of tell when we've actually topped off. Because as long as this is still a number, then we're still going up. 
She is not a lunatic, at least. Not yet. Give her some time. But yeah, I would like to just try and uh, strengthen my forces, especially... We gotta focus on things at home. I really do want to help in the crusade, though. But how old am I? 53? We only got 107% military power against Bavaria now, which should be more than enough. I don't know why I only... I don't know how to get more people to join me without getting a strong hook. I don't think anyone in chat has actually responded to that either. There has to be a way... Because the AI always has, like, six people in, in a faction. I don't know if they automatically join. Yeah, I, maybe just nobody actually likes me. But I do see one guy who's at least a positive seven with a negative 62. But it says that I need a strong hook. Count Berthold cannot join the faction to install Count Dietrich on the Bavarian phone. They, they just can't join, but I don't know why. None of us play as vassals, so it would seem. The reason I've only got 107% is because if there is a civil war, his other vassals will help him, right? Yeah, this guy does dislike his leech. That's why I was saying that. You're just an egotistical streamer. Shut up, Shaston. Don't talk about me like this when I'm not sure of what I'm doing in the game. I know I'm supposed to know everything. But in this case, I don't. Cut me some slack. What'd you say, Shaston? Wow, two years of giving money to a stranger on the internet. That's a long time. Thanks for the streams. <laughs> that can... <laughs> wow. I am a dick. That can distract from reality, especially when times where tough keep up the amazing streams groovy. Thank you, Shasta. That was so nice. And I appreciate the big tier 3 sub as well. I just don't have all the answers in this particular in this particular scenario. Very much appreciated, Shaston. Welcome back. I think it's auto-join over some kind of threshold. Um, maybe he can't join because of a hook. That sounds actually very reasonable. The liege might have a hook. Maybe it should be... Where, where are my plots? Well, fabricated hook is almost done. I think we just chill and focus on things happening at home. Count Berthold is not swayed. Okay, why don't we... Fabricate Hook, foul words. I've started a series of vicious rumors against Duke Heinrich. None of them are true, and someone should decry them as the obvious lies they are. What better way for that someone to have Heinrich in their debt? So, 90% success chance to not get xcom I will stand up to my own injustice. Spend a hundo piety. Get a strong hook on Duke Heinrich and end your scheme. Can a strong hook help you press your faction claim? Or no? Against himself. I think I'm going to do this anyways and just find out. Let's just do it anyways and probably not. You have gained a loyalty hook on Duke Heinrich. Well, I can at least use it to modify my contract, but I don't think that'll actually do anything. Send an ultimatum in seven months. Demands can be sent in spite of discontent and faction military power thresholds. The faction to install Count Dietrich will send an ultimatum if he accepts, all the faction's demands will be met. If he does not, the faction will start a civil war against him. So I don't think I can. You already have the claim? Yeah, that's not what we're doing. 
the claim is what allowed me to make the faction in the first place. I kind of just want to do this for science and see what happens with a strong hook. Your claim on my title is no more real than the stories we tell children at night. No matter how many misguided fools you have gathered to help carry out your scheme, I will not bend such a, to such a collection of dung. I'd rather die than see my birthright fall to someone so low. War it is, I guess. God. War declared on leech. So it's me versus everybody, I think. Uh, or maybe not. Why did- I think it's just him, dude. He's got like 300 troops. <laughs> Let's just raise everybody here. And then once they've formed up, we just go to the Duchy of Bavaria. He might- he might not even be home right now. In fact, here he is. <laughs> I think that's him. Well... I'm gonna command my own troops, chat. What could go wrong? I do have stalwart leader. Reduce risk of commanding armies and plus four prowess. My prowess is 13. But I am the most qualified. He's gonna just suicide into my army. A classic maneuver here. Se they wounded second Dotto with only 200 troops. Captured the enemy commander right off the bat. Okay, second auto was healed by our court physician after the battle, so not a problem anymore. Siege of Regensburg. This is their capital, just go for the throat. War for Count Dietrich's claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. To be fair, as we have pointed out, the Duke was incapable of defending his own duchy against our neighbors, the Augsburgs. So I have to step up to take on the mantle. Oh, Tasselo. If you were still with me, I know you'd tell me to be strong, that things would get better. Who took you from this world? Oh, old age, 72 years old. You will never be forgotten, old friend. One of my only friends. I have one more friend left. Ethelind, who I think has helped us out uh, a few times. Was that, hang on, did I see a picture of muffins? Yes, comfort eater. Dude, a chocolate chip muffin sounds amazing right now. I need some muffins. Oh, that was my counselor. He was my steward as well. Well, Knight Second Auto we could put in, or we can just put this dumb mayor in just so he shuts up. But I'm going to put the uh, Second Auto because he deserves it. There you go, Second Auto, my boy. And uh, Betrothed Camary, Hork, 23 years old, uh, is ready to get married. There's actually no loss. He's marrying up in Prestige. This is for an alliance chat. They're not as good <laughs> as they used to be. Uh, Nordgal had 3,000 troops when I was getting ready to ally, and they're down to 1,000. Nonetheless, I think we will take this. We need some friends. Alliance formed with Duke Lutold of Nordgal. Your son and heir, Hork, and my sister, Richardus, will be joined in holy matrimony. And they're in the middle of a war. Well, so am I, to be fair. Prisoners can be ransomed. How about... Actually, who? Five years, Lutbert! Duke Otto would not accept this ransom. Work for me, then, I guess. I don't know why I left you in here for five years, but come on out. Where do these 14 hundo troops come from? Milano? Are those allies? Oh, he's got allies. Lombardi? You're, you're allied to Lombardi, dude. Well, coming for you next, Lombardi. 
Are you going to be fast enough? I've already got a siege. Well, four months is a long time, to be fair. In our recent communication, my prisoner Count Berthold expressed a want to focus on his ambitions. I could make sure that our coming letters... Wait, did I just... Was this the guy I'm trying to sway? <laughs> He's in my prison now? Uh, okay. Well. Fair enough, I guess. He must have been the one that took the soldiers against... Uh, crashed against the waves of my 2,000 troops. Moments ago. Hey, what's up, Syntax Squid? How's it going? I have heard he appreciates feats of war. Uh, the ruling of a realm surely interests him. What do you say to that, my prisoner, Bertolt? Do you like me more now? In his response to my letter, Count Bertolt encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. He's just happy to talk to someone in there. He gained ten opinion of me. Alright, so they're going to siege Fal Falkenstein. Um, we are going to finish sieging Regensburg first, and then maybe go lift the siege down here. Because this is going to be pretty big for moving the needle. This is our Duke's capital. We are at war from within. We started our own civil war, chat. Wow, they're going fast. Oh, they've got siege weapons! Lucky? Well, that's going to be your downfall when we fight on the field. They're going real fast. All right, 60% war score we took. Um, this prisoner is almost dead. Not feeling so good. Probably will die <laughs> in prison. You now control Regensburg. Yep, we're under siege. Hork is married. Let's see if we can get down here fast enough. Potential battle in 30 days. They got a siege in 50 days. Gotta go fast, chat! Oh, we're booking it, dude. They're <laughs> hopping out of there. <laughs> oh, you barely got to it. Barely. I'm not coming to get you. No, no, no. Are they counter-sieging? Well, I'm gonna be bounced around. We gotta, we gotta bounce around here. To the hysterical Count Dietrich, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for too long! We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you wish you treated us more fairly. Uh, could you guys not right now? Like, not cool, dude. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Rally the troops! The peasant revolt is nigh! In fact, we accidentally stumbled directly on top of them and will kill them on the way to our next battle as it happens. Thank you for revolting in a convenient fashion. Your forces took your foe Ulrich hostage after capturing him in the siege. And also, we're still swaying you. Mention Bertold's. Just be professional. To the blathering Dietrich, may your years be short and miserable. I know when I'm defeated. I sense I have no choice left. Stupid peasant leader. With only 12 prowess, compassionate, greedy, brave. I am also wrathful, chat, if nothing else. So, um, that is a lot of piety. That is a lot of piety right there. It's also a hundred piety. Gain 35 stress because you're generous. I'm not sadistic enough for torture. I, recruiting him, he's just not even that good. He's just not even that good, dude. Well, come on out. I could use a, a lackey, I guess. Bye, guys. Why is this a potentially even battle? Why do they have defending bonuses? I already sieged this. It's mine.
I guess that only applies on top of the barony, maybe? I don't know. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Now get out. Where are your friends? Let's go siege this. Oh, wait. They might group up. That's bad. Could just go fight in Passau. We get the defensive bonus. We also have a better commander. Your culture discovered Chronicle Writing. Oh, I'm the culture head. I forgot about that. Chronicle Writing is... Can use individual de jure duchy Cass's belly. Ooh, that's pretty nice. And Cass's belly prestige costs 10% less to the Bavarians. So we can go to war for a duchy. That's pretty cool. We're currently focusing on hereditary rule, which will give us different partition laws for succession, which is pretty important. These guys are running away. These guys are staying put. Nope, nope. Now they're trying to group up. I don't know what to expect here, to be honest. See, why are we not getting the uh, the defensive perk here? Potential battle, you will probably lose. We're only outnumbered by 400 troops, though. And I have higher quality troops and more counters. I don't... And I, I should get the defensive perks of attacking here, right? I believe so, yeah. You're the culture hat? I am. What of it? Howdy, Simcopter, what's up? Welcome to stream. Welcome to our, um, civil war against the Duke of Bavaria. It says I will probably lose, but, like, do I believe that, Trap? I think this is, should be a win. I just don't trust it. Let's see. We'll slow it down. Uh, so I have a higher commander advantage. Didn't it say that he did? 24 versus 19. I'm leading my own troops. So that gives us a plus 5 advantage bonus, and I have chivalry focus, which is another plus 5, so that's really in our favor. Uh, my martial skill, what? Oh, martial skill is 14 versus his 19. I see. So, what's our first roll? 5 versus 2. I like it. Keep the advantage up. Our knight Conrad wounded the Mayor Eisenrich. We, Mayor Engelbert has wounded another one of their knights. They got 9 knights. There's going to be a lot of knight-on-knight -knight combat here. We wounded another one of their knights. It's right down the middle, chat. We're down to 900 troops. They're down to 1,100 who haven't been routed yet. Uh, pikemen are absolutely getting crushed by their armored footmen, which they got 244 left. Uh, my light footmen are countering them, but the they've got counters for my counters, basically. We're rolling terribly as well. Like, really bad. I have been wounded! Oh, no! <laughs> Mayor Alderico has wounded me! That's not good. Well, we turned it around at the bitter end. 200 versus 100 troops left. Uh, I may have been wounded. Maybe I inspired the troops. Fight and protect your liege! I am but a count, but I inspire confidence in many people. That was a pretty big victory, chat. We killed a thousand of them versus losing 643 of us. Uh, many more were routed besides. But uh, our knights, nobody died. Racked up 400 kills with their retinues. Our armored footmen also were doing really good. Still a lot of them died. Uh, levies, of course, got destroyed. As you expect, they are the cannon fodder. Light horsemen did all right. Pikemen didn't do anything. And light footmen got shredded by 200 bowmen. 
But that's where the Light Horseman probably killed 125 of them. So all in all, pretty action-packed. Conrad murdered a guy. Second Otto got wounded by a random soldier, but he's been healed after the battle. Uh, Kettle wounded an enemy commander, who is still wounded. Good. Eckerd severely injured another guy. So they came out, I think, much worse than we did, except me, myself, I am wounded, chat. Severe health penalty. I'm apparently still feeling fine because of my attentive care. We also do have a good um, court physician right now. Udo, who I will go ahead and pin just so we can keep track of him still being alive. I feel good. This is fine, guys. No problem. So now that we won that, we're at 75% war score. That single battle was worth 20, well, 15%, the Battle of Regensburg 2, the sequel. So really, if we just get one more successful siege, we're doing fine. What I'd like to do is try and scare these guys off of their siege so I can siege it. Or we can just duke it out, I guess, because they're not moving. This is my land to siege, not yours. <laughs> Scrolling up in chat real quick. That dude killed a hundred on his own, didn't get a single kill. Did we have a, a, a 100 kill count knight and retinue? That's amazing. I feel good. Chat, you feeling good tonight? That is a smiley face hiding the pain, Sim. I can relent. <laughs> Put on your happy face. I hope you're doing well, Sim. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Hope the stream's been going well for you lately. Apparently, the way I'm talking to you has alerted my dog. Does my dog know that I am getting ready to take a BRB just by my cadence? That's so weird. Like, all I said was, Sim, I hope you're feeling good, and that was enough. And he's right. That's what sucks. He knows. Like, I am actually thinking about uh, stepping away from the computer for a while. How do you know? Just from the way that I sound. This is what I mean by- oh, sorry, I just hit the entire desk. That's what I mean by you're so smart, but also, uh, not smart at the same time. I don't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you gonna help me win this war real quick? My prisoner died in my dungeons! You're good. I see through your facade, Cuba. I know. I know. Better than you do what you're about to do. He does. He is extremely smart in that way. Alright, here they come. 2,000 enemy troops. We have three months left, which is a long time. I think they're going to stay in siege, which works for me. They might siege faster than me, though, because I think they're the ones with onagers. Yeah, they have on. They have... Ten... whatever. I don't know if those are mangonels or onagers. But I'd say we just stick it out. Falkenstein is not our most precious territory. Are you getting antsy, Midas? You're always... that's my secret! I'm always antsy! I've been corresponding with your Chancellor. I must say, I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps I may one day call you my friend. A vassal of the Holy Roman Empire. He's only got 300 troops, though. Can you guys still hear me? He's about to <laughs> roll off of me. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, balance. To keep him from falling off the chair. Because I'm only holding him with one arm. 97! Am I a joke to you? Give me three extra percent, dude.
Why do I have 0%? No objectives help? Now I'm gonna lose Falkenstein. Alright, we're gonna figure out what to do after I BRB. I need to BRB chat, okay? The slaughter at Ingolstadt. Three pris- ooh, three prisoners can be ransomed. But I think if I ransom them, it would count against my war score if I ransomed the wrong one. Yeah? Okay. We'll come back to this in just a moment. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for waiting, everybody. I'll be back momentarily. I think I'm going to grab a drink, actually. And uh, we can uh, sip on some more cookie crisp names. <laughs> See you in about five minutes.
We're back. Did some gamer stretches. Ooh, feeling good. Finish the rest of this coffee real quick. Was not particularly good today. I don't know why. Portions, maybe. <laughs> too much or too little. I don't know. Tastes like too much. Not enough gnats for flavoring. <laughs> Chat, how's the start to your week so far? I got another flavor disc for sustenance. My gamer fuel. School is hard. That's true. Ups and downs, awful. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Okay, then good, got a day off. <laughs> Not a stroop waffle. It is cocoa almond butter. The regular almond butter is in fact better. Why do so many of you guys think school's hard? Like, come on. I went to school like 10 years ago. It's easy. Like, I, I don't even have to go anymore. That's how easy it is. I don't even have to show up. I don't do tests anymore. I don't do homework anymore. I'm still passing. All I have to do is play like a Dark Souls game once a year to re-up my, my gamer credits. Maybe finish a full campaign of a really difficult strategy game. Play RimWorld once a year. Easy to get good grades. Sometimes I even get a plus two. That's right. <laughs> Occasionally. I'm failing in RimWorld and in school. No, that's when you've that's when you've crossed the line. You're going too far. I don't know what to do here. They outnumber me by a lot. And they're also probably gonna finish this siege before I get down there anyway. This is the benefit of having siege weapons. Defensive buildings, better army commander, more soldiers, higher quality. But the other guys are going to turn around. <sighs> yeah. But... Nordgal, I see that you are no longer in war, and you have 1,500 troops. Would you answer my call to arms for 150 prestige? It said we would probably lose last time, and we did not. Maybe, well, I'm, it's too late. I'm already locked in, so I can try and leave, but it's not going to do anything. Of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes will learn to fear the men of Nordgau. Excellent. This is when Alliance can uh, come in and save you. Also, cheers, chat. 
I got my unmarked cup here. I've decided that I do not like uh, Wild Turkey 101, so I've tried to disguise it with some coke. I don't know how successful it is. Pikemen, light footmen, horsemen, and armored ver- well, the other guys are coming in. Still just armored and pikemen. Ooh, my counters are much better than theirs. Light footmen, we only have a few. But, uh, they will counter armored. The armored will counter their pikemen, and then everyone else can just do what they want. So, significant disadvantage numerically. But we're getting some fantastic roll advantage. I'm still wounded, but I'm leading my own troops anyway, which is quite daring. We've brought it back to even now. Allies are on the way. I don't know if they'll get here before this fight is over. I thought I just heard a sound effect. I did not. I'll check on the uh, crusade here in a moment, too. They'll show up just in time to claim glory. <laughs> I don't know who these guys are. Well, wow. I guess 13 commander advantage turns out not great. <laughs> they came up just in time for the thrashing. No, they didn't even make it for that. All right, we lost another 359 brave souls, but we killed three to one. Excellent. Our knights are absolutely carrying right now. And they're not even- they're not even fighting at full operational capacity yet. No one got wounded. We did kill, uh, Mayor Ambrosio. Wound another. Mayor Rodolfo is my prisoner and is wounded now. I'm really happy with the performance of our horses and, uh, our armor. Big- that was a big win. Not big enough, I have to un undo the Siege of Falkenstein, and then I think we win. Because our combat score should be good now. So I'm curious what our- maybe our allies are just gonna hang out with us? Oh, my allies have siege weapons! <laughs> How convenient! <laughs> Isn't that nice, Chad? Now, I really could use some siege weapons now. But, you know what? If we had siege weapons instead of that extra division of special troops, we might not be winning these. The field battles. Because we're winning some pretty key field battles. Alright, come on! We're racing against these unknown armies who are undoing this siege. We got 44 days left. They've got... They're at peace now. Never mind. Race no longer. Duchess Oda left the war for Count Dietrich's claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Wait, Duchess Oda left her own husband's war? Okay. Because she got uh, captured by Thuringia. I like that I am persuading uh, one of my prisoners to like me better. <laughs> Alright, chat. So, just to refresh your memory on what we're actually going to war for, let me show you. Okay, so here's zoomed out, the Holy Roman Empire. This is our ultimate leech. Uh, which just actually changed. I think they had the election. This is Kaiser Otbert of the Holy Roman Empire. He's only got 900 soldiers, so he's not doing great. Um, we can see the history here. He actually inherited it because Kaiser Heinrich died of his wounds at age 53. Kaiser Heinrich, of course, will be remembered for um, getting captured four separate times by enemies and imprisoned by them, losing each successive, successive war in turn. Inside the Holy Roman Empire, we have a bunch of other realms that make it up. I am inside of one of them. So we are in Bavaria, right here. And the flashing territory is mine. So the highlighted white that's us. We're in Bavaria. 
So we owe Bavaria our allegiance. And Bavaria is made up of counts. So we are the largest count. We've been taking other people's lands and adding them to our collection. And now we're going for the big cheese. So the war is against our own liege. It's a civil war to take the title for the, the Duchy of Bavaria so that we can become a duke instead of a count. So it's a war from within. But to be fair, our liege did kind of deserve it. Your wound heals! Dude, do I have a badass, like, scar across my face now? You gained the trait scarred. Plus a little prestige per month and attraction opinion. Visibly wearing the memories of battles and accidents, Dietrich is noticeably scarred. Um... So anyway, the, our, our duke kind of did deserve it. He lost a bunch of wars. He only had a standing army of like 300 troops at any given time. He was not playing very well diplomatically with our neighbors, and he was about to lose his title to the Augsburgs. Well, we can't call them that. They're the Nordheims. The Nordheims of Augsburg. Um, so he was about to lose the whole duchy title. I rose to the challenge, defended the duchy of Bavaria from our neighboring Augsburg friends, of House Nordheim, succeeded in beating them back, basically single-handedly, showed the rest of Bavaria that we mean business, and now I'm like, yo, Duke, did you see what I did? And he's like, nah, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. I should be the Duke, is what I said, and he's like, nah, Civil War it is. And he called his allies in, so that's what we're currently doing. And then boom, perk is unrelated. But now that we've lifted the siege in our own territory, I may enforce my demands. Greetings, Duke Dietrich of Bavaria. Live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. To put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. I have gained not only the Duchy of Bavaria, but I didn't even know I was at war for this. I also took his counties? I just thought I was going only for the Duke title, and I thought he would just become my vassal. Oh, he's still a Duke of Tyrol, and has the County of Innsbruck. Oh, fancy. Okay, so I actually came out um, really above where I thought I was going to. Not only did I get the title of Duchy, which makes me a Duke, but I got three of his counties, which themselves have two churches and a city. And a new vassal in Count Walrum, who is considered powerful with 500 troops. So that's a big haul. So now I have eight domain holdings. So we gotta do a little bit of dispersion. So now I get to wear the Duke crown. I got some sick Duke clothes on apparently. He just changed clothes. And Bavaria is us. We're also in, I think we inherited, no, this is a liege war. Okay, so we're gonna just ban troops, rebuild, and we need to divvy up the domain holdings. So, what I'd like to do is keep focusing on chivalry, but um, if I manage my domain, I can hold six instead of five. I don't have to have six. So we're going to stick on chivalry for now just to continue to... Um, dude, and I did that while leading my troops as well. That's nice. That That's a good way to remember me by. I am the Duke. We rose... Okay, by the way, our start was a single county count, Duke Dietrich, inside of Bavaria. And we are now the Duke of Bavaria from within. And this is why playing as a vassal is actually not only viable, but its own kind of fun way to rise up to greatness. Because look how big Holy Roman Empire is. It's fun being a little fish, but now we're a little bigger fish. So I need to decide where in Bavaria I actually want to keep keep. And what do I want to get rid of? Because I need to get rid of at least two. Maybe three. So Regensburg has a duchy building because it is a capital. And we got some awesome things to look at here. So I really think we should keep Regensburg. Here's the thing. The duchy of Bavaria is just kind of big. Like, it's, it's a pretty large place. 
How do I see how many counties it consists of without, like, counting them by hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine counties that make up Bavaria. It's, it's quite large. So we're going to hold five of those, which is a majority. So Regensburg should absolutely be one. I did not expect to usurp him from Regensburg, so that's awesome. Um, also has an extra holding spot here. Ingolstadt kind of sucks. Two holdings and four. Rothensburg, kind of the same. Geisenhausen is even worse. <laughs> that's where we began. Wow. We really have come up. Okay, Frontenhausen is better. It's got four total spots. Passau is great. So I'd say one, two, three. Oof, these are both not great. Probably give up Falkenstein. Okay, I say one, two, three. Four, so one, two, three, four, and then Frontenhausen, okay? Try to keep our holdings together and just give up uh, Geisenhausen to one of our family members. Sound good? Who is my current chancellor? My son-in-law, Ludwig. So how about we land Ludwig? Married, of course, to Cookie Crisp. Uh, here's another trick you can do. Well, no, we don't need to do that trick yet. We really don't have that many options of who to land right now. I'd like to land someone militarily and somebody for their smarts. So we'll, we'll give up to keep six for now. So when you click, here's here's something that a lot of people do struggle with. I've seen new players struggle with this. They're like, I don't, I have too much stuff. I don't, first of all, I don't know how to tell what I've got. And second of all, I don't know how to tell what the easiest way to give it up is. Because this is what usually happens. They think, okay, let's say I want to give up. Um, first of all, how do I tell what titles I actually own? Well, one way to look is, of course, to click on your titles. And you can see them listed here. This menu is not super intuitive. Um, it is kind of difficult, especially once this gets much larger with more duchies and kingdoms and empires. It's not really viable to just highlight. But in the early game, if you want to highlight them, then you can see specifically, right? That's one way. Uh, another way is to go to your realm tab and then click on, you've got a domain button here. And this is another way to do it. So this is your direct domain holdings. And this will also work for the same purposes. When you highlight one, it'll highlight it in the game. And if you double click on them, it'll actually take you. So I find double clicking on either of those two menus to be the easiest. And it'll take you directly to your holding. And then once you've discovered one that you don't want, so like let's say we don't want um, Geisenhausen, even though this is our primary title. So if we probably, first of all, we should probably change the realm capital to Regensburg. I don't know how often we can do this, but here's the move realm capital button. So you click on uh, wherever you want it to go. It is the de jure capital of Bavaria making this move allowed even if the capital has previously moved. So I think there's a timer on how often you can move stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and move that. That's the new capital and should be our primary holding is the Duchy of Bavaria, of course, anyways. So let's say we wanna give up um, our old hotspot of Geisenhausen. So from here, uh, you can do two things. You can either click grant to from the title page. You can just click on the realm and cl click grant to. Or if you have really someone specific in mind, that's another great way to do it. Because in this case, I know who I wanna land. So I would just go, okay, well, in this case, it's Ludwig. So I can right-click him, grant a title. And I've seen a lot of people struggle with, like, all right, which one is it? Uh, all these names sound the same. I don't know, remember which one it is, but I know it's around here. Oh, it's this one. Click it. You can literally just left-click what you want them to have. You don't have to, like, find it on your list of titles. 
and I see a lot of new players like hunting, like a hunting and pecking keyboard keys, trying to figure out what it is when you can just click on it. And if you want to give them multiple, you can left click all of them. So you can kind of like paint the map. So once you've done the one you want, to who you want it to give it to, my Chancellor and Knight will become my vassal. And it's important not to have too many domain holdings because uh, for every one above your threshold, you have a negative 10 opinion modifier for all of your vassals. So if we just check our vassals from either this tab or by going to realm vassals, whichever, both of them are convenient for different reasons. You can see that uh, some of these, actually, no, we get a one year um, grace period. So we have to get rid of these before a year is up. Otherwise we get a negative 10 per that we are over. As well as other debuffs that uh, you can, you'll be able to see on this menu where you can see taxes and levies paid by your vassals will be affected by how many domains you have above that threshold. There's a lot of penalties. It's not good to have that many. Okay, so we gotta get rid of one more. So uh, why don't we just look? I like oh, I like rewarding my best knights. Like Conrad has killed so many people despite being a craven, which is hilarious to me. That I think Conrad deserves um, to be landed. Sometimes you don't want to land your fighters. In this case, it does not matter because he's still going to be my direct vassal. But there are some instances where you might accidentally unknight him by sending him to be someone else's vassal. So just be careful landing important people in your court. In this case, that's not going to be an issue until long after I and Conrad are dead, probably. So for now, it does not matter. So I think I'm either going to give him, I think I'm going to give him Falkenstein was the one that I wanted to give. So Conrad is now also my vassal. And uh, I think he stays my knight. If you really want to be sure that he's fighting for you, you can force him as I have. Sometimes they will optionally choose not to. Um, but guess what? That's part of the contract for you getting land. <laughs> I it, It's very rare, usually if they're craven or things of that nature. So I'm going to try and keep the sixth extra holding for now. Let's go ahead and choose our lifestyle perk. I want knight effectiveness up another 75%, which is going to be insane. So you can see your knight effectiveness at the top of this screen. So they were 100% effective before, and now they're 175% for as long as I continue to live. And since we've concluded the war, even though I am wrathful, I'll probably just release these guys on a ransom. Just a weak hook. I don't like to just recruit everybody, but if you're a Waldensian heretic as well, I'll demand your conversion. Bye-bye. Better told. Not particularly good at anything. Also a Catholic Kinslayer. He's worth a hundred gold. Definitely taking that money. And then Count Arnulf is a melancholic drunk. Worth 50. That's a pretty good chunk of change. I could use that to start building up my new territories. Because we just gave up Geisenhausen, which we had been building up. Uh, at least level 1 buildings. And we do need to start building some construction in Regensburg. Preferably. So even though we're collecting taxes right now, I might go for building construction time in Regensburg so we can try and get this up to par with everything else. We only lose 0.3 gold per month. And that'll go down as well once everything kind of balances. Speaking of balancing, I think we're going to need to increase county control there because it is probably tanked. Yep, down to zero. So as long as we have zero county control, we're not getting any taxes and we're getting half as many levies as we should. So establishing control, especially in a place you want to use as a capital, is of the utmost importance. So focus on uh, control over new territories. 
And I haven't been able to figure out uh, like a science for why some of them go straight to zero and why some of them balance out at like 26. Because we did siege both of these places, but one of them's all the way to, to nothing. But yeah, it's good to check control over your new uh, acquired counties after you war as well. This is the sub sound. Gamer Death Bot, I'm already one step ahead of you. So what I like to do as well, uh, what do we have? Regimental clearings, levy reinforcement rate and levies up, and mansions, good for taxes. What I like to do is focus on buildings that build control, if any exist. Uh, I don't think any exist by default in feudalism, but in tribalism there is a control building that I like to build in zero control areas, because it takes a long time for this to balance, like many years. And then if you don't need the control building after it's done, then you can, you know, delete it to make way. But it's usually a good investment. Some of these will build control after being upgraded. Maybe. Maybe not. Do any feudal buildings build control? Maybe not. This one's building construction time, but it's only 2%. Is that across the realm, though? Because if it's across the realm, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, there's control growth plus 5%. Only in this county. That seems really harsh. You have to get it to tier 4 before you get any control growth just in this county. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. Temples have control buildings? Are you sure they're not just the same buildings? I was just look. Oh, there you go. So we do have a monastery, I guess. But yeah, at, w at what point would you ever get to tier four on that last building we looked at and have zero control? I guess in the future, if it gets sieged, you could rebuild control faster. I don't know. That's too. That looks too far ahead for me. Hi, Tox. What's up, reanimated bit? With your little tomato. Bear told is an account anymore. You took his county while he was in your prison. Oh, I see. <laughs> Only Kayo, thank you for five months of sub. Who says a button? Thank you for button. Much appreciated. Alliance formed with Ludwig Ludo Winger because he is now a ruler. Well, that's fine. I got a I got an alliance that that's kind of a downside to landing your son-in-laws, but eh. It's not going to last forever. All right, faction success chat GG, good job. You can demand payment of Duke Heinrich, my fellow vassal. The Oh, he's got Innsbruck down here, too? Why not, dude? Do we have a strong hook on you? Gain 35 stress because you're generous. 50 gold, though. Cannot be used again for five years. So, I need to build a building. We got a uh, duchy build spot. I haven't looked at the duchy buildings. Let's peek at them. Big 300 gold. Number of knights plus six. Knight effectiveness plus 75%. Wow. That's crazy. Marcher lords protect the border with fortifications and garrisons. This goes up to defender advantage, fort level plus three, double garrison size, double levy reinforcement rate. Huh. Siege works. Is siege weapon effectiveness for the whole realm? Whoa. All holdings in the duchy? Oh, this, yeah, these are all holdings in the whole duchy. Get this, not just one county. That's insane. Royal armories go up to just levy size 40% for just, just numbers. Jousting grounds is light cav and heavy cav damage and toughness. And then men-at-arms maintenance goes down. I am kind of tempted to do 
just significant. I feel like there's so many pikemen, though. That's not a good investment for us. Blacksmiths are heavy infantry and spear toughness. Archery is probably what you expect. Same thing. Tax offices, just mow money. Bil I did say I wanted to try building tall. I did say that. But you can build tall with armies, too, just to deter people. Uh, monthly prestige. Stress loss, scheme success chance. Dude, how much? All holdings in the duchy get control growth? I don't know how to choose. I can't build any of these anyway, but it's just fun to look at. Actually, I can build the ones at the bottom. I can build tax, leisure palace, or royal reserve. I don't know how much 20% tax this is ultimately going to become. Because it doesn't sound like much. Uh, we can just chill on the duchy buildings for now. Of the other regular default buildings that exist, I don't think walls and towers are a bad pick. It just has a little bit of everything, makes the capital much harder to siege. Um, archer damage doesn't help, but it doesn't matter. The garrison goes way up. Fort level goes up. Defender advantage goes up. And it produces some taxes. I think farms and fields is a little greedy because we've already got mansions, which are going to be big tax money. Pastoral lands is some cav bonus, levy bonus, garrison bonus, and tax bonus. It's kind of it seems like jack of all trades. Barracks is just massive levies. And then military camps is probably the least helpful to us because of skirmisher and archer damage bonuses. Okay. Ah, uh, you can't go wrong with walls and towers, I don't think, in this situation. So let's just build walls and towers first. Kaiser Otbert is being attacked by Duke Andre. Okay, now we're going to get paid. 50 gold, 100 gold. Nice ransoms right there. How is the crusade going? Looks like there are sieges happening in Acre right now. Not surprising. Can you build bigger dungeons? I, I don't think so, unless there's a mod. I think the dungeons are pretty big on their own. Many treaties have been written on honorable conduct in war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. Should I want to maximize my chances of winning in battle, it may be worthwhile for me to consider employing some more unorthodox strategies. I'll trick my enemies into overextending. Hit and run tactics will wear my foe down. I will not stoop to fighting dirty. 53% chance you gain martial lifestyle XP and become practiced at ma manipulative tactics for five years. Or you may gain the nickname The Foolish. <laughs> uh, practice hit and run tactics. Or lose some stress. Listen, I will not stoop to fighting dirty. This is this an intrigue challenge? I thought we had a pretty good intrigue. 53% doesn't seem like much. I feel like my intricate web weaver would try this, though. I'll pick the RP one! I gather my retinue for some war games, eager to try out my idea of faking a route to lure my opponents into overextending. Once we split up into teams, I took care to show everyone how to yield just enough ground to trick the other side into moving out of position without giving so much that our line would break. My new tactic worked flawlessly, allowing us to encircle the enemy team and force them to surrender. I await the day I can use this trick in battle. Sick. So at this stage, we just want to rebuild. We're just going to chill... Uh, get our men in arms back to full strength. Stabilize. Uh, we're still at war. But they're both my lieges war. 
not me. So as long as they're not in my territory, we're going to hang out. I once again, the people arrive after my game. What's up, Seamus? How's it going? Big brain commander. I'm doing my best. Dude, I'm loving this campaign so far. We should probably save again because we just became the Duke. I am Duke Bavaria. We can have seven knights. Ooh, speaking of knights. We gotta wait one more year. Sweaty, tired, in need of food, a long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old abandoned castle in the distance. Laughing, I declare, that is where we will make our camp tonight. <laughs> Why am I laughing about it? The sun is setting in with every step toward the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Let us venture inside, I am sure there's treasure to be found. <laughs> Let us raise the tents outside. Yes, let's go see what's in. I want to see what's in the treasure box. Dark, damp, desolate. Rain inside the castle. All traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiraling steps, I see only darkness reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. Seeing a lot of new events. I think this is a martial event. Search the upper floors. What might be hidden in the darkness underneath? 82% chance you face your fears. Or 17% chance... I swear that shadow just moved. Is that blood? What was that sound? It must be a October horror game special here. Lose 20 dread, gain 40 stress. Face your fears. For 10 years. Boom. Prowess plus one. Not going to help us too much, but the stress gain down is awesome. All right. I say we host a feast in honor of all. I am Gregarious in honor of becoming a duke. And uh, we moved the capital to Regensburg, so we need to break it in a little bit. You know, get the stink and the smell, the musk of the old liege out. The new duke is in. And also, we do have um, some vassals who may need some good opinion of us, and we may need to redo some council members, actually. Like, Count Walram only has 500 troops. He's currently terrified of me, understandably. Who's pissed at not being on the council? Mayor Ulrich. Really, you guys just don't have the skills necessary. You're all bad. So we're just gonna treat you to some wine and good food, yeah? The guests are gathered, lords and ladies from near and far. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. A toast to the new Duke of Bavaria. I did everything I could, ensuring Berthold and Count Walrum will be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough. And now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close and looks to me to intervene. How old are we? Ruve, we are 56. Just became the Duke of Bavaria. So we're gonna leave our son with something good. Good old Hork. Hork von Katlenberg. Who has a grand baby who they named Dietrich after me? Dietrich von Katlenberg, zero years old, balanced. How nice. We also have three grandbabies from our firstborn, Croflin, and second, Otto, who we have not landed yet. Ernst, Ermengard, 
and Croflin, who they named after her. <laughs> All right, anyways. Throw Walram out to cool off. Restrain Berthold until things calm down. Whose side are we on here, chat? I guess we're on uh, Walram's side. Strictly speaking, we need to manipulate Walram to like us more, because Walram is a vassal that has some military might. He's got 500 good men. We're going to hang on to this domain limit. Uh, we're we're going to be able to increase our holdings to six soon. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one, thanks to the presence of Duchess Edelheid. We spoke all evening on all manner of subjects. I had such a good time with her. Grow close to forming a friendship with your wife and lover. Maybe one day, our friend. With everyone headed home, I am proud to say the feast was a success. I have my wife, Edelheid, to thank for much of it. I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Gain 150 prestige, we're up to 1,000 now. And every guest gains a bunch of opinion of you. Speaking of, who are the guests? Bear told, uh, your wife and lover, Mayor Werigand. Conrad is in the house. We're recounting our good war stories. Everyone thinks I'm pretty sick, except for Walrum. But now they, now even he thinks I'm sick. Oh, Snuggles, you good? I legit never knew you could check that. You can also see, I think, hunting when that happens. I don't remember. Chad, is that correct? But yeah, you zoom into your capital and you can see the uh, the feast menu, so you can see. Who was at your feast? How we doing? Um, it looks as though, chat, the... Crusade seems to be... There. Should we join the Crusade after we get enough soldiers now? Or actually, here's what we need to do. Since I'm a duke, I need to start thinking about my neighbors. Well, Augsburg is... The Nordheims are imprisoned by who? Mazovia. Here's what we're looking to do. We're looking to go for the Kingdom of Bavaria eventually. So we need to go... We got allies to the north. In Nordgal. Augsburg did try to take our title. He's down to a thousand troops. But I cannot declare war because I do not have a Cassus Belly against you. In fact... The only person I can declare war on is Duchess Edelheid. And I don't even know why. Count Ludwig's claim. Ooh, we do need to start thinking about claims. I kind of need to decide if I want to go for Salzburg or Augsburg first. I say we take Augsburg to the west. Not only is he in prison... But he recently tried to take the Duchy of Bavaria for himself. So for that, we will use our Bishop Gerald. This is their capital? Okay. We'll go to the capital and start fabricating some claims. So I feel like if we get the corner first, then we can just bank from there. So we're not surrounded on all sides. We're still going to have to make nice with neighbors like Friuli if they... Rise back to power. We've already got an alliance with Nordgal, who's decent. Um, Bohemia is... They exist, but we got a mountain range separating us. I do need to start swaying someone else. Who cares about Beartold right now? Let's start swaying... Maybe we do sway Bohemia. They have a lot of potential. And now that we're dukes, they might look at me more favorably. Bohemia is a good one to have. One child. How does your succession work? They have house seniority. 
How do you even make an alliance with house seniority, dude? You might need to modify your contract with your liege depending on if he allows dukes to fight. Yeah, we'll, uh... I'm pretty sure that at this era, 1100, that they do. But I should probably look into that anyways. Uh, because they do have a hostile scheme. And if I wanted to get cra- Dude, wait a second. Is the capital of the Holy Roman Empire right next to me? Under Salzburg? How much actual land does he have? He has, has the Duchy of Steiermark. That's actually kind of not good, because I need to, like, go around him to get enough land for the kingdom. Okay, well, um, my spy master will not have to go far then, yeah? Claim throne. Not yet. <laughs> we will be fabricating hooks for 71% and an 81% secrecy. This is the we can augment that though. We do have a good spy master while she still lives. So we will support our own schemes, giving us an extra 17% chance of success. The power is the thing I'm actually most excited about. 35 extra power. Power is how fast the scheme goes through. So you can see it's only going to take 16 months to try. Wait, excuse me. Two years to fabricate a hook. Make that 14 months. Shortened it up by 10 months. Pretty significant. HP Hero back for 44 months. Howdy, HP Hero. What's up? Thank you for your tier 1 sub and for sticking around for so long. Hope you're having a good evening. And a good start to your week. I know for certain we're going to see the end of Duke Dietrich today. He's currently feeling fine. We'll see how long that lasts. Maybe 64? I'm going to guess like 64. For now, we just consolidate. We need to build control in our new capital of Regensburg, which will give us more soldiers and more levies. We're also building some buildings, which we can go ahead and build more in if we want. We have some options. We can construct straight up new holdings in some cases. If we save up 84 more gold, uh, I would prefer probably just building some county buildings inside the baronies because they are lacking somewhat. Ingolstadt in particular has decided to go with a barracks and a crop field. And we can tack onto that whatever we want. I kind of have to make a decision. I said originally that I wanted to build tall instead of wide. What does that mean for the purposes of our game? I would say I don't want more than a single empire if I can. I want to try to make it as good as it possibly can. So, maybe Holy Roman Empire by itself. Uh, I don't want to spread from literally the edge of Siberia all the way to Scandinavia. <laughs> that is wide. I would say two empires tops, but I will let, you know, the succession just split that into two if it, if it comes to that. <laughs> Because it might be fun to hold the Holy Roman Empire and France, or Holy Roman Empire and Italy. Like, that That probably makes the most logistical sense as HRE take Italy, right? Just one empire. What's wrong with that? But, um, one kingdom... Because here's the thing with building tall. We're still going to have a leech. I guess we could try that, but it, there might not be much gameplay. Once we become king of Bavaria inside the Holy Roman Empire... I don't know. I don't know how much longevity there is, but there doesn't have there doesn't have to be an infinite campaign. It could be a short campaign where we say, "All right, I am the most powerful guy." The end. You could do that. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be an infinity, um, no end in sight campaign. But yes, I would like to build tall. So when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking, what's more conducive to building tall? Is it lots of levies? Is it like numbers? Like we really are going to be. Um, hard-pressed to have, like, numerical advantages? Is it just taxes so we can continue to build? Is it choosing to specialize in one particular type of troop right now and just being extremely good at that? Because pastoral lands tend to have a little bit of... 
Well, it's like heavy cav, light and heavy cav. Hunting ground is also light and heavy cav. Or do we just build defensively turtles, like walls and towers everywhere? I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure really what what is the best way for me to build tall. Get the Holy Roman and the Byzantine Empire. Easy. Hey everyone, what's up? Who's your hails? Welcome. I did some troop specialization and got my crossbowman up to 131 damage so far. Yeah, I had to... Uh, that's a lot. That sounds like... <laughs> that's very much. Uh, we had Metz and Vartia last time. So I've kind of done the super specialized... Um, of a single unit. But... The problem is we didn't really specialize on a single unit yet. I feel like the horsemen have been doing really good. And I'm tempted to try not turtling. I really don't want to turtle in places that don't need it. Like, the capital needs the walls and towers. The other places I think we get greedy, because if you have a big enough army, no one's going to siege you anyway, right? I think that's reasonable. So I'm going to say let's actually go for a combo pastoral land hunting ground if possible and try to make our cav awesome. We don't get the calf bonuses in Pastoral till the very end. But what we do get are good levies and a bonus to a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I like that. Am I supposed to specialize the unit? You're not really supposed to do anything. You can just play how you want. If you want. Alright, let's go. I say what first? Kind of like this light cav, damage, toughness, pursuit, and screen bonuses. Let's do hunting ground first here. This is going to cost a hundo. Okay, and then... In Rothenburg, we've already got three buildings. Including the Hunter Lodge. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't really like the wooden barracks. But we may grow to like it in time. Because military camps have those insane levy bonuses. And do a little bit for a lot of different things. But we really just don't have archers. And we don't have a lot of skirmishers. So, I'm going to say, let's just go mass pastoral lands. And they've already got the hunter lodge, like I said. Okay. Then here, we've got pasture and hunting lodge. Good. They went ahead and built the Bastion, so that's the defensive one. Uh, taxes are obviously very important for building tall, so we're probably going to build farms and fields next. But let's just show with what money we got. But the, bet the further we can get on, like, taxes and income, the more specialized we can continue to upgrade these buildings. Do their maximum and eventually, of course, get the duchy buildings as well. Hey, looking good here? Um, 2,400 troops without even having control of our capital established yet? Your liege lost the war with Duke Jacek. I don't know what the war was for, though. Maybe in the future it'll, like, give you the full rundown of what the war was. Or let you click on it or something. But yeah, we can just kind of chill on pause for a little bit. Pilgrimage might be a little expensive right now. Don't need to lose any stress. Inviting knights is never a bad thing. Three able-bodied men will come for the low, low price of 150 prestige. We don't have a ton of money to hire them with. Faction created against Kaiser Odbert, your acquaintance, Princess Ingohildis, fellow vassal, has created the faction to install Duchess Ingohildis of East Franconia on the Holy Roman throne against Kaiser Odbert. Interesting. She is cynical, arbitrary, and callous, and a drunk. 
and I can uh, I can join voluntarily. But I'm not going to. So, the Hunter's Lodges will be effective as long as we can continue to counter their pikemen. So we might need some focus on heavy infantry as well. A daring rescue! Would it not be wonderful if Kaiser Otbert owed me? Not out of fear, but gratitude. If I, for example, were to save him from vicious bandits while he was out traveling. Indeed, uh, vicious bandits... Like the men currently waiting outside his castle gate? I would charge in with my guards at the last moment, driving them off and leaving Otbert in a life debt to me. So simple, yet so convincing. 50 gold, a weak hook on Kaiser Otbert. End your scheme to fabricate a hook. That's kind of expensive, but I'll take it. Got it. I rescued you, Kaiser Otbert. Now you need to stay so I can modify my feudal contract. I've already apparently modified it to low taxes. How'd that already happen? I don't know if I did that. I think it defaulted that. So I want to take a look at a little bit more of this feudal contract so we can learn about it. So on the one hand, we've got, uh, obviously, taxes and levies, and that's how much we actively contribute. So instead of 25%, I can give 10%, which I think will free up more for me to use. Am I understanding that correctly? And then we got specialty contracts. I can only select March right now. While well, subject to a March contract, the Vassal receives a bonus to their levies and defensive capabilities, but provides 50% less tax than what their feudal tax obligation dictates. Pretty cool. Currently none. We're only at a 2.7% tax, which seems generous. Uh, levies are 25%. So it looks like March doesn't have any levy debuffs. And in fact, we get army gold maintenance. So the army's cheaper, we get a controlled territory defender advantage, levy size up, garrison size up, and reinforcement rate up, which all seem conducive to building tall. We don't owe them any levies. So I guess the downside of this is you do weaken, I guess, your liege by doing this if you want them to stay in power. But if you don't care, then go for it. But if we had some innovations, we could get the other two. We can also get uh, various rights. The Vassal is granted the right to mint and use new coins, bolstering their development at the expense of their leech. Pretty cool. Succession rights forced partition. The Vassal cannot have any succession law beyond partition. So this is bad for me. Well, I have partition anyway. Sanctioned war declaration. The vassal can declare war regardless of the liege's crown authority, which I think for now is chill. They're only at tier 2 feudal. Once they go to high crown authority, we cannot declare wars. So that'll be irrelevant at that point. Council rights guaranteed. The demand council position interaction can be used at will. <laughs> Your obligations have already been changed. So I don't think I can even change anything right now, chat. How do you... So how can I change it again? You must propose a change for a new feudal contract. You must propose an equal exchange in obligations and hooks. Current changes in favor of Kaiser Otbert 1. What? So I have to make, like, an even trade? Oh! Nobody knows! But I can demand payment from my <laughs> own liege with my hook. Or I can just keep the hook. I can demand a council position with it. What? Oh, I do get some perks from that. 
I feel like that's going to be better than the payment. What would the payment even be? 50 gold. Let's go ahead and demand a council position. All right. I want to be... Let's see who you've got. This guy's got a four, dude. And only 800. You should put me on the council just because of how strong I am. This guy sucks. Okay, you've got a steward who's actually good. You have the worst marshal alive currently. King Godfrey is actually a pretty good diplomat. All right, uh, I want to become the spy master then. Even though I only have a skill of 11. This 14 is deceiving. It's going to go down in a moment. Natural Dread plus 40, Scheme Power up, Scheme Success Chance up, Monthly Intrigue Lifestyle Experience also not a factor, but... You cannot be fired for 25 years. Now that I'm my Legia Spy Master, if I tried to... if Just, just hypothetically, if I tried to murder him, it would be almost guaranteed. But murdering him really doesn't accomplish much. Uh, the only thing I could really do with that is if there was, like, an election going on. That I could get votes. Dude, I've got a vote! Don't I have a vote now? Because I'm a duke? How goes the Empire? What's up, Tobias? The Empire is not me. <laughs> But I just became a duke, so it's pretty hot. We're we're in the current like we're in the Duke of Bavaria, inside the Holy Roman Empire, and we're trying to figure out what our new powers are. See, I am a potential candidate, but I am not a voter, which is fine. I could be elected though. How do I convince people to vote for me? What if I start at, who am I swaying right now? Oh, I'm swaying the King of Bohemia. So, what I could do is perhaps... I guess they have to actually like me. I don't know if you can force people to vote for you with hooks. <laughs> I'm not really sure. This is beyond my, my ability uh, to process. Dauphine has been excommunicated by the Pope. Chad, I'm going to excommunicate you soon. If you keep repeating the things that I just said as comments and pretending like it was your idea after I already said it out loud. Keep it up. Okay, see where it gets you. Don't worry, I think the Pope is going to choose me to become the new leader of Ireland. It's my idea to tell chat to stop repeating my ideas. How dare you. A new knight has arrived! 19 prowess. How, um, how much are we talking here? 45 gold. Okay, but listen, what if, I'm just saying, instead of paying you, what if I seduced you instead? <clears throat> Would you fight for me then, Badwin? King Boleslav gained 25 opinion and thinks you're okay now. All right, I'm going to start a scheme to seduce... Uh, and make you my new knight via not having to pay you. I don't even think that'll work. <laughs> um, I don't think that'll work. But I'm going to seduce you anyway, you evil absolver, you. How are you evil? You're zealous. Religious conviction burns bright at the center of Badawin. Forgiving but callous. Also quick. Master Hunter. 19 prestige. 
Good evening, italics and chat. Hello, Wolf. What can I do for you? As Iraka's belly grows, there's no doubt she is with child. She said nothing, but could this be the result of our carnal relations? Don't tell Robert. Of course it's yours, Dietrich. I worry someone heard her, but we remain alone in silence. Good it is too, for I suddenly have a lot to think about. The secret stays hidden. We've got bastions and curtain walls in our capital. Hey, so that's a little bit of extra garrison. The fort level will make it harder to siege. We could fill in the final slot, but we don't have any money. So we're just gonna hang tight with what we got. Let the game progress. How old am I? 58! Well, my son, Hork. Hork von Katlenberg. I hope you rule well in my absence. I prowled through documents ancient and of less certain provenance, and I have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Augsburg. Indeed, I could even argue, you are the rightful lord of the duchy of Augsburg! We got a critical role! This is Augsburg is four counties. I need 189 gold. I'm going into debt, chat. But how am I gonna pay it off, dude? I don't have any prisoners. If I die before I can press the claim, it's gonna be bad news. And if I raise my soldiers while I'm 100 gold in debt, that's also bad news. But I need this. This is why we're here. You did, you did good, Bishop Gerald. You did good. All right, we are super in debt. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get, we're gonna get fancy. Uh, Hedvig, you are, um, my baby mama right now. Uraka also is. I need hooks on other people, chat. Okay, we are gonna get a hook on... Can't do hook on you. I don't want to piss off the actual emperor. Let's get a hook on... You're 16. You're old enough for me to extort <laughs> for money. Uh, and you're gonna be an easy mark neighboring fellow vassal, Duke Isidore. So I'm gonna start fabricating some hooks and extorting them for money. The county of Lubsko has given rise to a populist faction. Ekbert heed my summons and has arrived. Ooh, another potential warrior. 16 prowess isn't great. And I don't even have 20 gold to recruit anybody. I can just marry them. Uh... I can just marry them off to my kids if I wanted to bring some warriors. A gift is certain to catch Badawan's attention, and surely anyone would appreciate a fine, clearly expense. Dude, I don't have any cash. Do I have to spend any money on this? I think Badawan is loyal to friends and... What are you? Callous, forgiving, and zealous. He'd probably like a horse. I am unsure why you sent it, but I did take note of it. You got bad impressions? Dude. I got you a horse, dude. Aren't you a warrior? Don't you need a war horse or something? All right, we probably don't need to increase development in the county. It's at 81, that's pretty good. We can go back to collecting taxes. And probably go up to 4x for just a minute whilst we are scheming and plotting. The raucous court celebrates the birth of her child, seemingly unaware of the truth. The child is mine. <laughs> Wait, this is Duke? 
That's me. Uh, who's your husband? I don't even care. I don't care about your stupid husband, okay? Steven is my child. <laughs> Steve! Baby Steve! You are known for the dedication to your faith. Indeed I am. Well. We're only down to negative 107 gold. We're getting that money back pretty fast. I watched the troops in the courtyard practice the drill I instructed them to over and over. I pay such close attention, I don't notice Badawin come up beside me. They move well, but that man is constantly a half step behind. Gain smoldering chemistry or seductive ideas. Listen, Badawin, you and I, we have a future together. Okay, we built Hunter's Lodges. A little bit of extra tax money. And the pastures, which are not here. Yeah, the pastures are also a little bit of extra tax money. The sting of rejection. Dude, 80%? You are a sensible man, Dietrich, but I do not like you that way, says Badawin, and quietly invokes God. Only God knows what the future might hold for us. Wow, 80% and he rejected me. So be it. I will go back to swaying the king of Bohemia. All right, we are maxed on troops, chat. Actually, it does go to max now. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's just because of our uh, vassal situation. We could probably get some more men-at-arms regiments, but I'm not gonna do that until we're stable. The simplest solution is often the best. Why worry with all this intrigue when I can simply coerce Duke Isidore to do my bidding? Scribe, we have a letter to compose. This is an act of tyranny. Ah, uh, who cares? Gain 22 dread, a weak hook on Isidore, and he doesn't like you. Well, Isidore, guess what? That's not all! <laughs> I'm gonna need 50 bucks. Right away. We're down to only negative 38. Yes, we... <laughs> You're just mugging him. Yes, Kanaga, I did just use some strong-armed men uh, to go to his home, knock on his door, demand 50 gold to leave him alone instead of actually doing any kind of scheme whatsoever. Likewise... Can I go right back? No. But we have another potential target in Salzburg is a child. Okay, as I was saying, we have another potential target in Augsburg. Who we're gonna go to war with anyway? Wheels within wheels. <laughs> knock, knock, sad otter. I heard it was your 16th birthday. Well, me and the boys are here to take your birthday present. I'm sorry, did you not get the memo? Yes, when you turn 16, you now owe me 50 bucks for protection. That's how it works around here. Every five years, in fact, I'm going to need 50 mint gold coins in order to ensure your protection. Under, of course, my banner. Friendly fatal casualties down, advantage up. I don't see that as a downside at all. Natural dread and control growth is fine. Cass's belly cost is fine. Uh, never back down is pretty solid and leads to Kingsguard. Don't know how long we're going to get to use it for. All right, I need to get uh, into Augsburg. But, let's say we do this plot first. It's only 12 months. More factions against King Otbert? Not great. Not a good look. My good friend Ethelind was captured! And she's dying! Who is this? K 
kill this kid. I can't. How dare you take my friend captive and then she's gonna die. I don't think the Kaiser is very popular. Probably not, no. Okay. I understand you were interested in deepening your grasp of warfare. Mayor Ware... Ware again takes a couple of deep breaths as he approaches. I may be able to help you see the battlefield in many new ways. He's known for his mastery of all manner of varied tactics. If there was one who could help me understand, it would be him. He becomes your mentor. We'll try to teach you flexible leader skill. Okay, go for it. By God, this party is boring! Furful has got to be the worst host. I'm sorry, are you talking about your own daughter? <laughs> Furful has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen! How can mortal man be expected to endure this snoring celebration of mediocrity? All right, Chad, calm down. Stop writing about my stream. Any time now, please. It's 8 o'clock p.m. I just need a little, a little bit of patience. My eyes cast about the room looking for a diversion. Any diversion. I check gaming news. I look on my social media feed for topics. Adelheid gives me a friendly way from a nearby balcony. I've got to do something to stop this evening from dragging. Let's have a dance, Chad. Ooh, you ruined Furful's party 92% <laughs> chance. <laughs> oh, it's not a good challenge. That's not a good XCOM. I'll make the best of things inured to boredom. Perhaps I could get to know my wife better. Let's talk to our honey. You know what? If you're at a bad party, that's a, that's a normal thing to do. Dude, my wife, lover, and friend. My companion. Also, boo who my friend Ethelin did die in the dungeons of that other guy. So my friend died. I went to a party. I'm at 99 stress. And the only other thing I can do is either lash out, insult a <laughs> random vassal, or a game that lash out for a year. <laughs> Those are my options. We'll do that in a minute. All right, we're actually almost back to positive income, and then I'm going to go to war. We could probably go to war right now, actually. Today I'm observing Count Conrad as he trains some new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. It's never easy to train new soldiers, but he's got to do better than this. Teach him what I know. Gain a hundred lifestyle, but you're wrathful. Cheer him up. Also wrathful. Chastise him for his failure. Gain some dread and make him dislike you. I could increase his martial, increase his opinion. Chad, I am wrathful. You've done so well for me, though. Sorry about this, bud. But I gotta, I gotta do what my character would do. Chew him out! And we're back. I got one single gold. A great thing to hear before declaring war. What, that your new recruits suck, Universalis? And that they're not learning the way that they're supposed to? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm second in line to inherit the Holy Roman Empire. What? Where's the voting? Huh? That's me. King of Bohemia likes me and thinks I'm pretty legit. I've been swaying him. <gasps> He's voting for me. All right, well, we can stop swaying you after this next one, then. Who else has got three votes? Lotharingia. Or just King Otbird himself. Your gracious leech. Or we could go for the Duke of Angria. I'm gonna die before I get to become... Okay, so if I die as Holy Roman Emperor, then the next... I don't... I don't pass that on to my kid, though. Kill the person in front of you. Uh, why does this nine-year-old have seven votes? 
Dude sucks. Son of the ruling Kaiser. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Convert him to Bavarian culture. Alright, chat. Before we go to war for the whole Duchy of Augsburg, this is actually going to cause some problems in the future. Two duchies, but they have it has to be done eventually. If we want the kingdom, I may as well do it now. So we're going to try and take Augsburg. Shh. They got four alliances, though, so we need to double check that this is even doable. Similar strength. Uh-oh. They've got alliances. Before we do that... Soupmaster just got here, which means I definitely have to BRB to get away from them. Get as much distance as I can. I need to take a, a gamer piss break. So I'll be back in just a moment. It'll be a short BRB. This is the sub sound.
I want you guys to see what I have to deal with when Midas knows that I have a treat, but I haven't given him to him yet. This is... This is what he does when he knows I've got a treat. Just look how little this is. It's just a... It's just a little milk bone. You can't even see it. What's wrong? Tell them. Tell them. Tell them what's wrong. Why? Is that the pitiful sound you make if there's a treat and you don't have it immediately? got the treat. Now let me get my treat. I also get, have a treat. treats actually okay. sometimes it's convenient having a microwave for a stream series that's been delayed for two weeks directly next to your uh, gamer headquarters Yeah, that would have been a shorter break, but I actually had to take Midas outside. Okay. I don't know if I really want to fight this if we're going to be even. It uh, is going to be difficult. Ideally, what I would do is just try to get an advantage on Minute Arms, but that would require me to get even more money first. And I'm scared for my 59-year-old self that if I really want to act, I need to act kind of fast. while I still have the claim. This dude's got four separate alliances. One of them's got three hundo, one's got eight hundo, one's got five hundo, and one's got eight hundo. It adds up. But our army by itself is 27. So if we can just get to them before they really, like, get themselves put together, then we'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? I say we go for it. A save might be nice, though. We got the- we got the potential, he's terrified of us, we don't like him anyways. Augsburg already tried to take my other duke- when- before I was the duke, he tried to take the duchy. So why not just bring it right back to him? It's just cost prestige, we've got the claim that we fabricated, we got a crit on the whole duchy instead of just the county. You gotta- you gotta push that. Play the song! All right, we got troops at full capacity. I say we're gonna launch out of Munchen. You guys hear the beeping sound? And what we're gonna do is just try and rush them. Okay, the troops are here. Ideally, I would like to fight them like victory in detail type of situation. They get to defend a river crossing and have defensive buildings, but we outnumber them have better army commander and higher quality troops. They're sitting on some pikemen. So they, got, they do have archers. 
But if we can beat them before they call in allies, that would be ideal. Okay, so we're starting off with a pretty clear advantage, just on the tug of war. In the maneuvering phase. Um, my armored footmen are countering their pikemen, and I don't think they have any counter for that, so our horses should uh, be not only fighting in favorable terrain, but helping stem the tide of the bowmen. So let's just go ahead and roll the... What? It's been too long since I held my lover Uraka in my arms. She has been distant lately. She gives me excuse after excuse for why we cannot meet. Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she simply busy or could she be warming someone else's bed? Well, I mean, what would I, I guess I am wrathful. You do have a husband, so you might be just warming his bed, right? Do you have another Uraka? I didn't know Italics could grab a snack and play at the same time. Oh yeah? Then what's this? Huh? I just grabbed a snack and I'm playing at the same time. She seems genuinely upset as she denies my accusations. Our knight has maimed Wickard. It was an easy win. We got there before anybody else. Our knight, Eckerd, killed one of their knights. Your glory is widely known. Easy victory. We killed 747 of them, lost 286. Our knights cleaned up. We got more and better knights now. 228 kills between them. And now we're going to go back and try and siege Augsburg itself. So, uh, on the back of the box, I got like one of these. Uh, it's like a hash brown pocket. I don't know if you guys... There you go. Now you can see it. It said on the back of the box, after you, it says, I'll, I'll quote, microwave on high for one minute, 50 seconds, to two minute, 10 seconds. I, did, I went for the middle, two minutes. Uh, or until thoroughly cooked, how would you know? Leave in crisping sleeve, which is this, for two to five minutes until hash brown reaches, quote, desired crispiness. I don't know how crispy I want it. Hello, Mary Skipper. Hello, Kairotoba, whose people arrived like three times in this stream. Not a hot pocket. It's a Jimmy Dean cash brown pocket. Comboed, of course. Another cheers, chat. I got a refill. Is this a teaser to in-stream microwave reviews? We've already done that. Have you been to our plane streams, cutie cutie? So, Bohemia, I'm going to stop convincing. Mods, people, leave. Get out. All of you. We're actually somehow a candidate to the Holy Roman Empire. So what if I just convince... Who do I have the best chance of swaying here? 37 for the actual Kaiser. 27 for this dude. This person's got two votes. Here's what I need. I need to take a vote... I need to take votes away from the kid. Duke Popo, am I not at war with you right now? Yes, I am in fact at war with you. Um, well, swaying is tough. As it turns out. I would like to take votes away while adding to myself. I say... We try and sway the Kaiser and just go for the XCOM of only 30-something percent. Simultaneously, chat... We ditch martial perks and go back to diplomacy. Nah, Marshall's fine for now. Am I not leading my own troops? We are not, but we could be. I am now. Alright, leading your own troops. My prowess is average.
Um, what way... How could I sway more effectively? It really would be like changing focus, but I think I think becoming the Holy Roman Emperor is a little too biting off more than you can chew, you know, for now. So let's just chill. Let's just relax. He's Duke of Bavaria. I am now. I am now. Talks what difficulty is this? Normal, I guess? Which is the highest difficulty, if I'm not mistaken, Boomer? As I slid between the sheets to join Hedwig, I was horrified to find oozing blisters on her most private parts. How could she bring such a disgusting affliction to our bed? Alright, I know we've got kids together, but, um, I cannot stand the thought of even touching you. I am breaking up with you, actually. Goodbye. You can continue to raise our children. This may actually cause a problem. Maybe she will, um, announce or expose me now. I can call in my ally. Duke Leotold. I'll call you into war. I'll, I'll come help you in your wars. Chat, what's under siege? Oh, they're sieging me back here. Of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes will learn to fear the men of Nordgau. Indeed they shall. Indeed they shall. So, 1600, maybe if they're really smart, they'll go and relieve the siege down here. I am dead. Duke Dietrich of Bavaria has found peace in Christ embrace at 60 years of age. That was very sudden. Adanion came in and said, Dietrich still lives. Thank you, Adanion. Thank you. That was uh, fabulous. He died of old age. That was very sudden. A man of pleasant disposition, he'll be remembered for benevolent rule. Duke Hork ascends to the throne, content with his lot. Hork's vassals may ridicule him for his passive nature. Actually awesome because you still have the claim this way. Are you saying, Virius, that if I had not acted as quickly as I did, I would have lost the claim to the duchy that I'm currently fighting over? And that even though I am playing as my content son, Duke Hork, which is difficult to RP as an expansionist, he will fulfill the desires of his late father and become a double duke even though he is content because his father started the war and not him yeah absolutely i agree anyways hello at daniel how's it going thank you for killing my ruler by the way dude these things are good these little, um, hash brown pockets are actually really good. We died of old age out of nowhere at 60. I was the cultural head of the Bavarians, of course, dreaded, illustrious, and faithful before I died. In the martial lifestyle and fought in eight wars. Hork ascends to the throne. Duke Hork. The bishop does not endorse you. You joined a war. And we're still in the war for the Duchy of Augsburg. We have a son, Dietrich, named after our father. Dietrich Jr.'s grandpa. And uh, we come in as a brilliant strategist, super genius. With only five prowess, though. But really good martial skill. I am content. Which is going to be interesting. Just and Gregaria. So a good king, potentially. Or a good duke, in this case. My spouse is Duchess Richardus of Bavaria, who has blessed us with the alliance um, that we now have to Nordgau, to our north. She is lustful, patient, cynical, and content, which is an interesting combination. Lustful's not great. She's got, um, well, a lot of candidates. 
to be lustful with. So, we've already focused on martial lifestyle. He decided um, to go with serve the crown. Wants, some, wants to be feared like dear old dad. Interesting. Controlled territory defender advantage. Makes sense for a content person to pick that. Four level plus one. And army gold maintenance down. And reinforcement rate up. I like that. I actually like this. So we'll keep this. Might pick, um... One of these martial perks. I don't know which one. Strategy, authority, or chivalry. You guys have an opinion? Hello, Entangle. We're a duke now. You have much to catch up on. Danny on how goes the uh, Crusader Kings. How many campaigns have you done now? On the one hand, chivalry focus is nice if I wanted to lead, but I just don't think I have enough prowess. But you do gain prowess. He doesn't have stalwart leader yet. Here's the thing, though. Chivalry plus stalwart leader is seven prowess by itself. He's already at five. That put him at 12, which is reasonable. He might end up becoming a, a real leader. I might go chivalry focus for now. I don't need the attraction opinion, but I might end up making him... The control growth is decent, though. To rule is to make all aspects of a realm move in unison and work together. He's got zero dread, so that would instantly give him a 20% gain for his natural dread. I think it's between authority and chivalry right now. Because I do want him to lead. And get that knight super perk again. We might just go ultra martial. But it's, it's hard, like I said, because he's content. He seems like the chivalry guy, but his AI did choose serve the crown. 12 is still meh. Not in this timeline, Bamboozle. Early game 12 is absolutely normal. Maybe late game 12 is not good. Right now, uh, as a single duke, 12 is like, wow, a good knight. I can't believe they've decided to join me. How fortunate for me. Plus the plus five advantage, plus the advantage from leading your own troops. I gotta do it. It's in my heart, chat. It's in my heart. Chivalry focus. I'm defending it so much that I gotta do it. All right, who... Where'd my chancellor go? My brother-in-law, Ludwig. You're back. I don't know why you got fired in the first place. Uh-oh, my spy master doesn't like me yet, but is at least intimidated by me somewhat. Which is weird, because I have zero dread. How can I intimidate somebody with zero dread? The dread mechanic itself seems kind of odd. I'm on my fourth solo run playing as the head of the Muslim faith in 1066, trying to stay a vassal and protect my cousins. Very hard work to protect silly AI leaders. It can be difficult, yes. Uh, I am not really sure what I want my endgame to be here. I'm currently the vassal of the Holy Roman Empire. We just ascended to Duke of Bavaria. So we were a vassal of Bavaria up until very recently. So now we're kind of, I'm kind of figuring out how I want to sprawl out from here. Ooh, they're coming, dude. Like, big time. You will lose decisively. Well, I didn't mean to get caught out like this, but here we are, I guess. My allies are just hanging out. I have no commander. You're right, I have no commander. Well, I do now. 
But it'd be pretty funny if I died. I don't have protections from my marshal yet. Um... I might just put Tetbird in. But a 26 commander advantage could be... Could be a difference maker. We're only down by 400 troops. Chad, I might just leave it to chance, dude. Four commander advantage. But this cautious leader might be... Might be a game changer. Alright, I'll put Tetbird in. You know better than me. This is too big of a battle for me to screw up for only four commander advantage. Here they come one by one. And the matchups are pretty even. They've only got size one regiments. Why do we only have size one regiments? Where are my regiments? Dude, why is this guy the the commander? I was here first. The allies followed me. <laughs> I should be a commander. Our knight Count Depol was slain. Our knight Count Conrad wounded one of theirs. We might have to retreat just because of this commander. That sucks. We have 24 knights? Oh my god. Alright, uh, here I go retreating again. Time to leave. Sorry, allies. They could have retreated, too, to be fair. What happens if I just go back in? What? How, was, how am I already committed to this? Alright, we'll just duke it out here. Am I not the defender as well? down by numbers. I think we're gonna lose based on numbers, but we're doing fine. We got plus 30 advantage every single time. So if we lose, it's gonna be Pyrrhic. What? My steward's second Dotto has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear his body is not strong enough to fight on his own. Death lingers by... Dude, he got one-legged and severely injured at the same time? <laughs> I like how we're winning, but we're actually losing. One versus zero versus five! We... <laughs> Who's fighting right now? Are we using mind powers? It's six soldiers... Versus 18 soldiers, dude. What is going on? Victory! That's a screenshot if I've ever seen one. Wowee. We lost 430 men. The rest were just routed. 694 kills. Uh, knights, obviously, were extremely valuable. Count Conrad was awarded land for a reason, chat. Him and his retinue. 
second Dotto got uh, severely wounded. Which is a shame. He was my second best fighter. Still has a 20 prowess despite being one-legged and severely injured. Uh, not in great health. We st oh, my court physician died. No, he just left. No, I have to rehire him. I don't have 10 gold, chat! Wow, they had so many knights. A lot going on here. Uh, so, our knight Kettle, who is my son-in-law, literally was undefeatable. Chad, he's got 29 prowess. And maimed or wounded over f uh, at least five people. Second Dotto killed this guy. Got another maim before he was wounded. Any prisoners to ransom if I just captured them? I didn't have anybody up till now. Literally, oh, who's this? I don't know where I got you from, but you're not even worth any money. That guy's worth 30 gold. Which is unfortunate, because that's going to affect... Why are we losing? Oh, I guess my allies lost the battle, because I abandoned them. But then I came back and kicked some ass. Um, which reminds me, we need to go back to organizing the levees. Reinforcement rate and all that. I got 30 gold. Which is enough. To rehire my old physician. To hopefully help out my warriors in battle. Yeah, we just lost a bunch of troops, dude. Okay, one problem with the game that I have, I hope in the future they remedy this, if you retreat from a battle that's still ongoing, you don't get to see any details of how the battle actually went. So even though we lost a bunch of people, we don't really know how well we performed in the Battle of Augsburg because we retreated. Knights are literally demigods. Well, the devs have said that it's not just like an individual, it's them plus all their personal retinue. So they have their own group that they're fighting with. But yes, 400 is still a lot of kills for like six or seven people. So we only lost like 300 total in the in the last battle, but the battle before that, we lost uh, way more, like 700 or 800 or something due to that shitty commander. So my options right now are if I just chill for a minute. I think we are training more. We kind of need to siege Augsburg, but we got bad guys everywhere. We do have allies who are coming with us. Hork is throwing himself into the fray instantly to prove his mettle. I think that's what's happening. He is just in Gregarious. He'd probably be hanging out with the troops, showing them that he deserves to be the new Duke after his own father. I could invite knights, but I can't afford to pay them. Yeah, like if there's 10 to 15 knight homies and they each kill 10 to 20 peasants. Basically, yeah. So we're chilling here with 2,600 troops. I got here first, so I should be the commander. They're just gonna throw 500 men into me in desperation, I think. Because we're trying to take the capital. Which we will make quick work of them. They're just stalling. They killed 33, we killed 500, we wiped them out. Second Dotto is still severely injured. I don't know if I can treat him or if he's just gonna die. It seems like he's just gonna die at this point. Which is unfortunate. My uh, daughter will be left 
with no husband. You're still not the commander. I don't know. I don't know how to make that happen, Gitami. Faction to install Duchess Ingelhildis on the Holy Roman Throne. She's ill, a drunk, and currently bearing child. Not really sure what the plan is there. Uh, we've got absolute advantage here. Ten siege weapons from our allies. Really nice to have. We've got eight months. we got four. So we'll take the capital of Augsburg before they get here. Someone else is taking them down, too. Udo is now a renowned physician. Tier three with a huge health boost. Very nice. Ooh, I think these guys are at war, which is good for me. Very nice. You guys duke it out, I'll be over here. Tonzilli, what's up? How's it going? Speaking of children, Adanion. Uh, my child. We actually have two sons. So that's already an issue if I get a second duchy. Already skilled at Marshall. Only four years old. So we've got time before we need to educate them. Um, I don't think Marshall is a terrible idea for education. I mean, I could tutor him myself. 13 learning and 16 martial with a tier four education is a pretty good tutor. You're not gonna find much better than that. So generally speaking, when you're educating your children, you want someone that has a high skill in the thing that you want them to be good at and that has good learning. The learning does apply, but the skill is more important, I believe. And I have a pretty good combo. Uh, Tetbird is also pretty solid. More martial skill than me. With a great education. Brave, just, and wrathful. I could have Tetbert educate my son. I guess when you consider these battles happen over days, it makes more sense. That's true. They don't just take like an hour. They're like a multi-day affair. Better to keep your heir with you so you have control over their personality traits? Um, I don't think it matters. I'm not, I don't care. Don't really matter to me. You can, I've, I've made any type of personality combo work better for RP. I'd rather have a higher chance at uh, developing a good education because that lifestyle experience lasts for their whole life. So that 40% bonus is just speeds everything up. Makes everything faster. Plus, you do build um, good opinion with other people and maybe, maybe I'll give Tetbert some land, you know? You teach my son everything you know, I'll give you a hook you up with some of this land that I'm about to get. To the Bonnie Duke Hork, your innocence is the balm for my weary soul. I would be blessed if I could be by your side, that I may know the depth of your love. You and I belong together. These lines are a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I will do anything to prove my loyal affections. Chad, I broke up with Hedvig and she's writing me poems to try to get back together now. Wait, did I break up with her? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I don't have any lovers. No, that was my dad's lover. That's not who I broke up with. The other person had lover's pox. She's trying to hook up with her lover's son, dude. You flatter me, my lady. She will attempt to win my heart. 
abandon this foolish endeavor immediately. I am a content individual and not lustful. Abandon this immediately, please. How we doing here, dude? Can we take Augsburg or not? Before they regroup. Got it, and that was only a 38%. Uh, I really don't want to fight these guys. Let's just move up and just do some sieges. We're trying to take the land, so let's take the land. We could just go fight these guys. They're pretty weak. My spy master has grave news. Someone is planning to kill my friend Hedwig, who just hit on me. Speaking of, my spy master is not my best friend right now. Let's just say maybe we should hang out with our spy master until she dies. <laughs> That's a good idea. I say we just crush their walls. It's only 280, ooh, someone's fighting me. One guy. Ulrich by himself constituted a full battle, apparently. Uh, I guess you could rush the walls. I never do that. I don't think I, I don't think it's worth it because you just lose people casualties trying to rush things. I don't I haven't really tested the waters to see how debilitating that is. Duchess Agnes of Piedmont has announced to the world she and her vassals have converted to Waldensianism. They feel they better align with God's will. Interesting. Those vile heretics have led them astray. It's not really that many people. But in Crusader Kings 2, rushing was a generally good idea if you outnumber them 10 to 1. Uh, that was the typical difference you would want. So, like, I have 2400 versus uh, 250. So, in this case, it would be acceptable. I'm kind of just want to do it for science. So I can get a feel for how Crusader Kings 3 is different. Clicking it doesn't do anything. Or does it? I don't know. I just clicked it and I don't think anything happened. Uh, rulers are embracing Waldensianism. I don't know. I clicked it and nothing happened. I clicked it four times actually. First army of Munchen. Good to go. We got 65%. Let's go back over here and uh, hit up these 800 guys. The button doesn't work on the text. It is a bug. You have to click around the text. Interesting. Hi. Would you guys like to fight up here? I like how my allies got baited. Ooh, did we get a good captive? Count Ulrich! I think we did get a good captive. We're at 70% war score. We're holding our objective and we're doing good. Rusty uh, subscribed 40 minutes ago. Was I AFK, Rusty? Hello, Rusty. Thank you for your sub for six months with the cheese in chat. Uh, thanks for half a year of support. Much appreciated. My allies are doing work over here. Fighting on their own. Allies are doing... I, I like the AI so far. I think the allied AI has been representing. What's up, Rusty? I'll be over here, passively sieging. Hey. 
If you hover not on the text, it will tell you what it costs after activated. I see. Dude, I ate that hash brown thing and I just want more hash brown thing right now. How much could I possibly actually get? I want like a full hash brown platter. I think that's just um, the me talking that's been drinking from this mysterious cup. I don't think that's actually me. There's no plausible end to when you should stop eating hash browns. I like the way you think. How do I mod Tranquil Turnip? All right, my allies are double sieging. See what I'm talking about right here. Siege, siege. They're doing good, dude. I think after this, we just win. Uh, I've become a double duke, which would have been worse. It's still difficult. Dude, I named my son after myself and I didn't even do it. My character named my uh, son Hork Jr. We got Hork and Hork Jr. and Dietrich and Dietrich Jr. Fantastic. Kaiser is being attacked by Duchess Agnes. We were just talking about you, actually, fellow vassal. There's a lot of infighting here. Okay, we're in, chat. We've done it. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined, but to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. You are now the Duke of Augsburg. It's crazy how that, like, dominoes... You get one duchy, and then you go to war for a, I got a real good crit from uh, fabricating claims. I got another duchy claim. I got three new vassals as a result of this. And I am now the Duke of Augsburg. I don't know what happened to that guy. But Bavaria, chat. Bavaria grows to encompass Augsburg. I am, in fact, a double duke now. Still have six out of six domain. By the way, holding on to that sixth was actually 200 IQ because my heir has exactly 10 stewardship, which every five stewardship you can hold another domain. So 10, you know, five is one, 10 is the second one, the default being four from just being, um, having bailiffs and ledgers researched. Hash browns are like hummus. The service size is the container they are in. <laughs> Thomas sounds pretty good, too, actually. How many more titles do you need? It's not titles. It's uh, counties. And I believe we need half of the Kingdom of Bavaria. Which, if I remember, titles are counties over, like, 21, 22. Dude, I double duke dare you. <laughs> well, we are strong now. So we're going to disband the army. Which is weird that I don't have a disband button down here. Tyrol claim on the Dutch. Oh, because we inherited a war against uh, Tyrol. I see. In that case, we'll move on the capital of Innsbruck. I don't like how inherited wars work, but uh, we have no choice but to deal with it. Okay, available perk reduce the risk of commanding armies. And an extra four prowess is fantastic because I am currently commanding the army. So yes, we have to destroy Tyrol and we'll probably end up uh, taking them personally over in due time. So is my ally still in this war? I think so. We're also... Kaiser Otbert is being attacked by Duke Bella. We have 10 issues is the most we've ever had. Prisoners can be ransomed. I think that's a good idea, because we're not doing great on money. Oh, it's a little baby! One year old! Worth 50 gold. <sighs> this person is... not worth recruiting. So I guess I'll just take my weak hook and go... Wait a second. Yes, take my weak hook and go. And Count Ulrich is also worth 50 gold. Absolutely going to take that free hundo. You can ask the Head of Faith for gold. 
Now that I have 250 piety, but are we still, dude? What happened? What happened to the crusade? We didn't actually join it. We just supported it. Did they lose? Chai, I think they lost the crusade, dude. It's because I didn't help them fight, right? Sucks to be the Pope, I guess. I gave him a hundo gold to try. They couldn't even take Jerusalem. They they were outnumbered two to one. Okay, these are the guys leading our prison. I like how this one dude is coming to join up. Are they? Are you really sieging my land right now? Where are the? I thought that we had more allies in this. Hork may be the chosen leader. How old is Hork? 31. He's got a good life ahead of him. Holy warrior. He is a holy warrior and a brilliant strategist. That's possible. The only time crusades succeed is when they target the player. <laughs> True. Count Ludwig converted culture to Bavarian. Interesting. By the way, I have an outliner mod that if you're wondering where this extra information is coming from, I also have, I only have three mods. One of them is like a, a border around titled people. One of them is more info from the outliner. And one of them is kind of extra information on events, which we haven't had an event in a while. Once the wars are over, actually I might go ahead and invite some knights now because I have 250 gold. Hmm, maybe I'd rather build. Maybe I would rather build. Yeah, we do need to relieve this siege. Okay, we're at 87% war score after winning against Innsbruck. We got an even battle. They have two months until the siege is won. And they're like, uh-oh! <laughs> Oh, they figured out I was sieging. Oh my god. And they got caught. We caught 500 of them that escaped. And that's good for me because that means there's only 1,500 left. <laughs> I love when they like see me in panic. My footmen are absolutely invaluable. I think we need to upgrade our light footmen. Uh, I always see armored footmen on the other side. Why is Duke Popo? Why why does it always have the wrong commander? Even if I get there first, I don't understand how to get the correct commander me to lead the armies. It's fine because we're gonna win, but it's just really annoying. We'd win even better if it was me. Killed 600, lost 150. Knights, obviously, MVPs, levies break even is what you want to see. We're at 96%. Claudia has passed away, thus you can no longer sway her. Well, my god tier spy master is dead. Verdawinda has a 16 intrigue at 29 years old. It's enough. We'll have her break up schemes in case there are any. And since we are a fresh duke, I'm going to stop doing foreign affairs. Start domestic. Because if we start domestic, we got a few more vassals than we had before who are unhappy with us. Duchy of Augsburg goes to our second son. Who I'm going to avoid disinheriting. We should probably find some potential allies as well. She's in, the coffin dance song is in your mind. Also that meme is dead. So there's that. On the one hand, I could just... Eh, let's just hold the objective. 
If we just fast forward, I think we just win. We've got Innsbruck. This will just naturally tick up to 100% without us really having to do anything. Dead meme! Because we're at war with Innsbruck and we have the capital, that's why this is just going up by itself. And done. Duke Isidore! Not only did I beat the person that you were at war with before, but I took his war and beat you too! How embarrassing. Time to disband our troops, chat. Go back to rebuilding. Consolidation time. Bavaria is much stronger than it was before. So, let's take a look at our new land. So Augsburg has Count Otto, who we, uh, we used to be Duke Otto, who is now not only my vassal, but also my knight, hilariously. Thinks I suck because he's not on the council. In fact, this is fantastic. Each one of these has a different count. So power is evenly distributed, which is exactly what you hope for when you take over a new duchy. Each person has a single county, which is, of course, contributing to our vassal limit of 20, but not by much. We don't need to worry about that for a long time. So, no problem at all. What I'd like to do now is focus on infrastructure. Uh, building up the capital would be a super good idea. We got one open spot plus the actual duchy building itself. I'd say let's fill in the, the regular building first. So this is where I need to make a decision. On the one hand, we've got mansions, which are going to be big tax money. On the other, we could build farms and fields, which doubles up on taxes. Basically, if we want to build tall, super taxes is good. Um, we will need, of course, levies to defend our lands, so barracks are good for that. That's up to a thousand extra levy troops, which is not insignificant. And levy reinforcement rate's nice. Heavy infantry damage is good. Can't go wrong with, uh, barracks. Military camps aren't, I think, where... I think it's either between barracks for troops, farms and fields for money. Pastoral's okay, but I think it's really... Chad, what do you think? Money or troops for building tall? Because either one is good. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Farms and fields arguably help me build more stuff. So doubling up on taxes does seem greedy. Because we do need troops to defend our land. But money helps me build up other counties and duchies to build more troops. I mean, we're, how am I at plus nine income? Are you serious? Where does money come from? Vassal taxes, I guess, are significantly increased because we just took over a new duchy. Duke Hork is content, just, and gregarious. I don't think I have a propensity for RP one way or the other. In that case, chat says money, but duchy buildings asks a different question. There's so many duchy buildings here that we can possibly end up building once we get uh, the Burroughs Innovation. Which... Also unlocks the March Feudal Contract. We're cur currently focusing on Hereditary Rule, which I think is better. 12 years away, that's not very long. Do what you love, Vital. Do what you love! Alright. Well, why don't I go ahead and decide what duchy building I want, even if we can't build it yet. Number of knights plus 6 and knight effectiveness plus 75%. That's good for defensive. We've already looked at these, I know, but I forgot what they do. Uh, you can't go wrong with marches as well, building tall. Super turtle, fort level up, double the garrison size of your whole duchy. And you recruit more troops faster. Siege works is fantastic for if you're going wide, because you get to siege better. I think we're going to ignore that. Royal Armories is just troop numbers. 
I don't know. You need the thing is you need money and troop numbers. Money helps you early on to build those troop numbers, but then but then what? Then you need actually someone to back it up once you have too much. The point at which you have too much cash comes at you very suddenly in this game. At which point, I guess you could destroy the tax buildings, I guess, and then replace them. Development growth is good. All right, I guess we're building turtle in here. Fine, let's build taxes then, chat. Chat wants taxes, we'll do taxes. You do get some other benefits. I just don't like the supply limit. I don't like the other perks. 2.6 gold a month versus no gold. So the thing is, chat, in my heart, my heart says barracks. I got to go with my heart. I'm sorry. My heart does say barracks. I think money is correct. But I already have manor houses, and that's going to be almost four gold a month. Just getting manors. You got to have some muscle to back it up if you're building tall. Oh, we can have we can have a little bit of both. Anyway, the wars are over. We rebuild now. We let time pass. Maybe do some more scheming. I don't know. We got a new king, Duke Hork. Double Duke Hork. Looking pretty good. Got six counties, two duchy titles. Uh, next on the list is continue to increase Bavaria. Now, Friuli actually has a piece of Bavaria. Bavaria they've got 3,000 troops. We don't really want to piss them off. Salzburg and actually Tyrol is probably the next target. They've got some staunch allies, but we did just beat them. Faction targeting you has disbanded. Awesome. Mommy's dead! Oh, wow. They died really close. 1113. And she she couldn't take it anymore. They loved each other. They were friends and lovers, dude. Duke Dietrich and Adelheid. She didn't care that he cheated all the time. <laughs> but mommy is dead and I get 20 stress. Attentive care for five years is good disease resist. Thank you, honey. So I assume we are not cool enough to get votes, which is fine. And we have low control in counties. So number one goal is just to rebuild our armies. And then once we've rebuilt the armies, we're going to focus on getting control in our capital. Well, our capital's at 100, actually. Rothenburg's only 68. How did we get control to 100 here? We could build some more buildings. A papal envoy has reached my court bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Victor issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic Duke, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To all those who will take the fight against the vile infidels, desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem, the Holy See promises full absolution from all sins in a guaranteed place in heaven. Are they trying to crusade for Jerusalem again? Well, we're not in any wars and we got two duchies and we don't have any other claims. So I, my warriors will be ready to fight, Chan. Crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. The war chest is buffed. We're automatically known for our dedication to the faith as faithful for com contributing to the future crusade. You have no beneficiary. I don't know if this works like CK2. This is my first time really seeing this screen. If you've never picked a beneficiary in CK2, you were the beneficiary. 
Is that still is that still the same? Withdrawal military support. Choose another target for this war at the cost of piety. Five I don't have five hundred piety. The war chest represents the sum total of all donations made by supporters of the crusade. A portion of this goal will be shared among participants when the pre preparation phase is over, while the rest will be split among the winners depending on their contribution. 141 gold. Woo! Maybe not now. CK2, but you get less money. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a little OP before. All right, well, I have three options. Oh, all my sisters. Your sister and friend. Alright, I choose Croflin. I'll choose my friend. Croflin is my beneficiary. Okay, what was what's the historical context for beneficiaries? I'm trying to understand how everyone was like, are we going to Holy War? Yes. We're going for Jerusalem. Yes. Okay, uh, I want my sister to have that land, not me. Like, I, why is the crusade the only instance that is organized where you specifically pick someone else to receive your shit when you're the one that did it? Why does that not exist at all in the rest of the game's history? Was it, was it like a Christian, like, don't get too greedy type of situation? I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Falkenstein. It'll be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. Absolutely, Conrad. You're, you're a bro. Let's have, let's have a nice party. Conrad is welcome to all to the feast. Blow off some steam. We should probably do a feast of our own, to be honest. Because we did just take a duchy after my father died. We need to introduce all the new counts to me. What rights does Conrad think he has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas would break down the moment combat is met. What does he know, really? Didn't he see me just win my father's war? You gained discussion on strategy for five years, plus two martial skill. Conrad showed that you were able to defend your understanding of the martial lifestyle. Count Conrad loses 20 opinion due to your disagreement. I would love a chance to settle this on the battlefield. Well, I do. I have 18 martial skill. So think twice, buddy. We get a plus six to learning. <laughs> We could all tell Count Conrad had too much to drink. <laughs> Even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him, and now I am covered in stinking vomit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Conrad. Damn, Conrad, you are, like, all over the place tonight. High standards of courtesy for five years? And he loses another ten opinion of you. Yeah, that one. We're, we have terrible prestige gain anyway. Count Ludwig has helped me truly see the splendor of your realm. Count Otto gains 30 opinion of you for five years. Fantastic. So the Crusades were divided up via how the, the Pope usually wasn't given... What? And usually wasn't given to the oldest character, but the youngest son of a ruling king. The kingdom of Jerusalem was created from the youngest son of the French king who gave huge money to the war. What a feast! I'll remember the days spent in Count Conrad's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as a lord of the realm. 
You lose 61 stress because you're gregarious, and Count Conrad gains 15 opinion of you five for five years. Attended my feast. All right, but let me put it like this. I'm a duke. The war is for the kingdom of Jerusalem. Wouldn't it be a greater honor for any of these dukes if they were the ones chosen by the Pope to become the king of Jerusalem than just stay a dumb duke of the Holy Roman Empire? Why, why would they choose a beneficiary to go be king or queen of Jerusalem instead of just giving their beneficiary their old land and then going and ruling the honorable, like, holy lands as a, as a higher rank? Wouldn't that be more, way more respectable? Like, I'm kind of choosing a beneficiary for someone to be better than me at this point. Because travel can't be the problem, because you literally have to go there to fight for it before you can win. So, I don't think it has anything to do with travel, block sound. Because you literally can't even win unless you go there. So if you go there, you're already there. So travel's a non-issue. I think the beneficiaries are unlanded. I think you're right. I'm just, I just don't understand why. All right, I found the Wikipedia page. Um, when a landowner left England to fight in the Crusades, he conveyed ownership of his lands in his absence to manage the estate and pay and receive feudal dues on the understanding that the ownership would be conveyed back on his return. However, crusaders often encountered refusal to hand over the property upon their return. I think this is for a different thing, <laughs> but still interesting. Unfortunately for the crusader, English common law did not recognize his claim. As far as the king's courts were concerned, the land belonged to the trustee who was under no obligation to return it. The crusader had no legal claim. The cru disgruntled crusader would then petition the king, who would refer the matter to his lord chancellor. The lord chancellor could decide a case according to his conscience. At the time, the principle of equity was born. The lord chancellor would consider it unconscionable that the legal owner could go back on his word and deny the claims of the crusader, the true owner. Therefore, he would find in favor of the returning crusader. Over time, it became known that the Lord Chancellor's court would continually recognize the claim of a returning crusader. Okay, this is not at all related to what we were just looking at. Uh, however, it's hilarious to me that people would be like, Hey, bro, I'm going to crusade because the Pope told me to go crusade. When I come back, I want to have my land and all of my titles back, okay? But while I'm gone, you get to decide what goes on, okay? Deal. All right, bye. Five years go by. Hi, I've come back as a crusader. Uh, I don't know, we won, I guess. I'm here to go ahead and reclaim my rightful place as ruler of these lands. And the dude's like, uh, no. You're like, what? Dude, I told you before I left, if you could just hold my place in line, I'm gonna go crusade because the Pope told me to, and then I'm coming back to rule my lands. Yeah, you mentioned that, but I... I am the ruler now. Mmm, I don't think you are. Judge, what do you have to say about this? Judge goes, Mmm, yeah, trustee technically got a point here. He has been ruling in your absence just fine, and you weren't even here. I think it's his, due to common law. <laughs> uh, it's uh, definitely the dude who you specifically told to rule while you were gone. That, it's his land now. Okay. 
And then like years later, they were like, actually, remember when you agreed to only rule because the first guy was leaving? Yeah, we're gonna honor that and make that law. That's what's so unbelievable to me. Like what? There's nothing to disagree about. When you left, you specifically agreed, hey, I'm gonna be gone while I'm absent. You get to rule when I come back, I get to rule. The end? Okay, we agree. And then you do it and they're like, nah. And the judge and the course are like, actually, the dude who said nah is right. This doesn't, that doesn't make any common sense. And that's how we invented equity. This was also a precedent set up in the madness of the aftermath of the First Crusade's surprising victory at Jerusalem. And the surviving Crusaders were mostly second and third sons of minor nobles. Hence why it's called the Baron's Crusade. <laughs> Dude, history is insane. People are crazy all over the place. Let's do night effectiveness again, 75% for sure. Night effectiveness is way up. How are we doing on troops? 3,000 troops is the most we've ever seen under Bavaria. I'm feeling pretty good about it. As a result, I would go ahead, I would like to go ahead and ensure that we have maximum control over our lands, even if that is only a two-week job. That's fine with me. Good job. Bring Geisenhausen in. This is what, a plus... What does this even add? Increase control in the county is just... We don't, I don't really know how much it adds. Base value is only 0.1. Oh, it's 0.9. That's pretty good per month. Yeah, we're just going to hang tight and not really do anything because the war starts in two months. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Someone is plotting to kill Udo, my court physician. Um, I suppose Bishop Gerald can go back to fabricating claims. I say we go for Innsbruck, because they've been a thorn in my side. While you're doing that, we will actually assist in the war against Jerusalem, because we have 3,000 troops. Which is not an insignificant number. Uh-oh. House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in the very heartlands. In response, his magnificence, Caliph Daoud, has declared an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al-Islam must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Mu Mujahideen for the upcoming struggle. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. St. George, protect us. Muslim faiths have access to jihads. Yeah, I wonder what prompted that. Pope, do you have any idea? Do you have any indication of what might have stirred up uh, the Muslim cry of jihad against the rest of the world? Oh, no, you have no idea, but unrelated to that entirely, a crusade for Jerusalem has begun. The time has come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels of Jerusalem. Inflamed by righteous fury and unyielding resolve, the great army of crusaders assembled by Pope Victor set forth to deliver divine justice on the wicked to earn their place in heaven. <laughs> oh, dude, what's up with these super popes? Forgiving, compassionate, diligent, good thinker and scholar. I can't even be mad at these popes. They're pretty smart. Does anyone else want to rewatch um, Doctor Strange after seeing his like necklace? Because I do. When I see green gemstone, that's what I want. Mm. 
that's some music. We are at war. Like, I want to raise my armies, but I'm afraid I'm going to... Is, is anyone else afraid that I'm going to be the only guy over there? That's what I'm scared of. All right, well, here, here I go, chat. <laughs> here I go. I guess I'm Crusader now. Tetbert Bobbenberg. Dude, name's Bobbenberg and finish the increase county control task. Talk was your character's mother from Innsbruck? I I don't know. How do I know where, where my mom is from? <laughs> Dude, I thought we were going to the crusade in October. Why did none of you show up? <laughs> Dude, Byzantine Empire. Looking thick. Chat, we're going to try playing... I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but it's been five hours, so I'll talk about it again. We're going to play uh, Hearts of Iron for the first time on stream. I don't think I've ever streamed it. We're going to stream it for the new expansion on Thursday, I guess. We're going to check it out. So that's already in the cards. I gotta learn how to play. How much money is this gonna cost me? I don't know, I'm at 0.9 monthly income, which is not great. It's taking quite a long time to get in these boats. 27 gold. It's not, that's not bad. And then, then no money? What game? Hearts of Iron, probably Banana. Another Paradox game, but this one's World War II focused. Dude, we got some allies. I see friends on the way. They went, they turned around though. Dude, Dietrich's educator Tetbert died. Aww. Your teacher died. Count Albrecht? Wait a second. Yeah, count 15's the best I got. Whatever. Count Albrecht looking like a real crusader right now. Looking legit. Do a mega campaign. What does that even mean, Grande? What is a me <laughs> What is a mega campaign? I can tell he got close to the mic to say that one. Ham party, please. Omega campaign. Perhaps. Alright, I guess I'm... Wait, there's already people there, dude. I'm not even the first one. Rip Tetbird. Okay, well, if Tetbird's dead, then I need to educate my kid. I'll just educate you myself now. Because I'm actually a very smart boy. I'll educate both my kids. Because I do have good education, good martial skill, and a four-star strategist. Sheik Yusef. Enemy ally joins. A mega campaign is CK to EU4 to Victoria 2 to Hearts of Iron 4, all converted from one save. How do you convert it to one save, though? There was a commotion among the children today. Adelheid was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Dietrich intervened and did what he could to protect her. A lot of mods, I see. I'll pass. I don't even know how to play Victoria 2. Or EU4. Or Hearts of Iron, for that matter. <laughs> oh, I can't learn how to play four games just to play one game. Your son is currently brave, which hilariously is likelihood of dying in battle plus 100%, but 
Fantastic martial and prowess, so never back down from a challenge D trick, of course. Oh, Hedwig. I remember how you were flirting with me trying to get all up in my bed. If you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong, that things will get better, and you'd be right, as you always were. But first, I must curse and cry. How could I not, when you are gone from this world? Goodbye, my friend. All right, I'm here. Allies have arrived, chat. They're already sieging Jerusalem. I'm gonna help them out. This is gonna get crazy. There's a lot of blue numbers. I'll be the guy that sieges Jerusalem. While 5,000 enemy troops come on. Once you learn that four years from now. Mad Dog, that's a lot of pressure. Four years from now. May want to attach a commander. This is not my fault. The game keeps removing me from being commander. I even have stalwart leader to reduce the risk. Look at all these starving armies. They're fine. Just a teensy bit of attrition. Never hurt anybody. I forgot about Imperator. I have not played Imperator. Well, okay, I played it for five minutes. You can have a little attrition as a treat. <laughs> I love this D-Day style <laughs> crusade. You gotta love it. We're only at 1% attrition. Chat, I think uh, my liege is getting attacked by Peasant Rebellion. Virtuous bishop? Dude, it's the first time I've seen a bishop who's actually liked. Oops, I didn't mean to right-click that. I, did, I wanted to see what that said, actually. I'm one of the peasants. Pro casual, I already knew that. I've heard that Imperator is in a much better place than it was at launch, though. Was there a battle? To my vassal! As an influential duke, it's only fair you have a voice on the count. Am I not already on your council for 25 years? Oh, my father was. He offers me steward of the Holy Roman Empire. I accept. I only have 10 stewardship. You pick my weakest, one of my weakest traits. Chat, I need some ally help, dude. I'm duking it out. Do we want the claim on the county of Innsbruck? I guess so. Innsbruck is pretty good, dude. Camels! Pikemen are countering. They have heavy... Do we need to increase our light footmen? Everybody's got heavy infantry. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Before I forget. No, I'll do it after the war. <laughs> ah! It's 3,200 versus 1,600. I got 6,000 allies that can come help me, dude. Come on, don't get back in the water. Come fight. You bastards. I gotta, this is so typical, so typical. We lost 900 men for no reason. 300 enemy casualties inflicted. You guys, any of you could have come over to help. Not a single one did. You wanted me to lose so you could get all the pie. Our armies stand poised to take part in the crusade for Jerusalem. St. George willing, we will soon rise victorious. The blood of the heathens painting the soil red. May St. George lead us to victory. I am now a crusader. Plus two martial, plus one prowess. Same faith opinion up, clergy opinion up. Hork has done his Christian duty and participated in a crusade. Where are you? Where the hell are you guys? Dude, this is not where you want to retreat to. I promise. I am sitting around the map table with Count Otto. And Count Otto. Both of them. Discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Otto eagerly 
points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Otto, too, nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. <laughs> it is my right to decide the ultimate course of action. <laughs> <laughs> they're both named Otto, dude. And they're both my vassal. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm siding with here. Okay, I can look at them. Thank God they have portraits. <laughs> I'd go with Otto. <laughs> oh, I'm too drunk for this. Okay. I know how I can employ both strategies. Gain improved pillaging. Improved avoidance. Retreat losses down, that actually would help us in the last battle. <laughs> and improved pillaging, which is siege phase time down, which is also good. Both of them. Everyone gets a perk. Why are you guys retreating far into enemy territory? <laughs> we need Cookie Crisp to settle the dispute. It's the only way. All right, you guys better, like, not run away. Like babies. Good job winning that battle, by the way. Can I have control of my troops again? I lost 900 men, dude. Why? I, and to get back, I've got to take uh, attrition casualties. Devs, please. You're going to make me lose 200 more people for free unless I siege this. I have to siege this first. <laughs> I guess I'll just stay here where nobody wants to be. So that I don't take attrition. The way attrition works is if you go through um, a settlement that you haven't yet conquered, you take attrition penalties. Friendly fatal casualties down 20%, advantage plus 5. Absolutely. Alright, well I'll chill here while you guys... I don't know what you're doing, but it looks like you're doing fine. You spent 50 piety for no reason. No factions against me. Or my liege. We're participating in a crusade, for what that's worth. Dude, Bavaria looks pretty... pretty good up here, you know? Not as good as some of these other ones. We should probably make friends with Friuli. Let's try and sway Friuli. May as well spend our time wisely. Make good with a neighbor that we can't hope to beat. So he doesn't declare war on me. game's so much fun, dude. While I was in the castle town with Dietrich, his attention was caught by a criminal chained to the pillory. Dietrich lifted his head and made a show of ignoring the criminal begging for water. Good. Let him know his place. Opinion of liege, vassals, and humble characters down, but prestige up. Or make him compassion and natural dread down. What am I? Content Justin Gregarious. I might try to make my son a good boy. Spit on him. Beat him. He deserves nothing less. <laughs> oh. Mmm. We are gonna need someone who's good at diplomacy. What is arrogant? Nothing. It's just prestige. I'm gonna make my son compassionate. You guys having fun over here? You look like you're having fun. There are battles all over the place while I just siege this calmly. Ital is doing a back cap split push. I am doing my best. 
My lord, it has come to my attention there's a rare opportunity to invest in Regensburg. My wife, Richard, is, draws up the details, and it does indeed look as if the deal could benefit us greatly if successful. 75% chance that we get more taxes and growth. Leave the opportunity. The talk is beneath me. A risk worth taking. Successful business. Expediture. People arrive, why? Why indeed? The late night crew is online. We are crossing the 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific threshold, which is where the changing of the guard occurs. My wife, Duchess Richard, has made her way into my life with sweet word and sweeter touch. Late at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. The feeling smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames, this is the sub sound, or die out. I want to dwell forever in this inferno, my love. This is a romance that will burn bright but short. Why not? Why not become great lovers with my own wife? As I return to the chambers I share with Duchess Richardis, I am greeted by the unexpected but appreciated sight. A bed has been decorated with seashells. And Richardis knows I love collecting seashells. I go out to the beach every single day. Of course, Chad, you guys don't know about the beach that is right in the middle of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, it's the beach of whatever this lake is. With hands, mouth, and limbs, we have... <laughs> Ow! Sorry, I hit one of those spiky shells that you put on the bed. As we were united in marriage, we are now united in heart. Did you have to put, like, the big hurdy ones on there, too? Alright, while you guys dance, I'm gonna be up here sieging stuff. How do you know how much war score a crusade has, though? Why did you leave a crusade? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Honey, I thought you'd love it if I got this sand uh, mailed to our house and just dumped it all over the bed. Oh, she pregnant, too. We're about to have another child, finally. Oh, this is it? It's 76% right now. How much did I- I'm hel am I helping, chat? I contributed 4.2% war score. Good job. I did it. Now I'm sieging this one while my friends distract all the enemies. <laughs> Hork with the genius strategy of cutting off the supply lines. Indeed. We're doing what we can do. My allies seem like they're having a fun time as well. So succession is really the only issue. We should probably spend our gold. We have nine gold a month, which is really good. We only had four before, so we've more than doubled that in recent times because of my own domain. We're getting 3.3 from our new capital. We could afford a duchy building, but again, I'm not I'm not sold on that yet. Anywhere that we have an opening, we should focus on first. And I know that we need money. So I'm thinking of pastoral lands, but I do think uh military camps are decent. But we'll go we'll go money. We'll go cash. Or pastoral's kind of a combo. All right, Munchen. Munchen doesn't have anything. So perhaps we'll go farms and fields first for that cash money. Frontenhausen has one spot left. Farms and fields is also money. I don't know how much I want to focus on money. Pazal has already got everything going. We've only got 150 gold, so let's just chill with that. 
How much do you get from being the steward? I remember seeing this before, but now I don't remember how to do it. I think it's you go to Legion's Council and look at this. Uh, effects on you. Tax plus three gold per month. I think... Am I getting three gold per month for being my liege's steward? My domain taxes is up 20%. Building constructions down 20%. And we get stewardship XP. That's awesome. That seems very good. I'm glad that I remembered how to find that information out as well. So many armies here. I'm gonna let the AI handle that. This is what a crusade looks like. I'm back here, just back capping. As you do. There's no reason to be on two times speed either. My spy master says she's certain my vassal, Mayor Euphemia, is scheming against the court physician. My sister says so. Let the traitor be known to all. She's exposed as an agent. Throw her in jail. I am just. If I am just and she deserves, I have a fair reason. Toss her in jail. I feel like we're doing pretty good. We got two months left. They're already deserting. Rampant disease. We got more allies coming in. I don't know how many troops this is. It looks like roughly 20 grand. 20,000. Just hanging out here. So they can take care of that while I take care of this. We're at 85% war score. It's about to be 90. Imminently. Thanks to me. And also these guys. 89%. You're welcome. And then I'm curious when this Jerusalem fort gets taken. 98. With the babe cradled in her arms, my wife, Duchess Richardus, looks up at me, her face the picture of serenity. My love. Can we name her Edelheid after my impressive aunt? No, absolutely not. Her name shall be. V. U. N. T. A. L-O-V-L-I-N-D Vunta Loveland <laughs> It's like four people's names at the same time <laughs> That's not even one name Vunta Loveland Much better <laughs> Duke Kuno Suede. Nice. Tower at 98%. That should just go by itself because of held objectives, right? They held Jerusalem. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and siege this just because. We could just go fight these guys, but they're on a mountain. Sounds like a bad idea. Count Otto created a faction against you. Count Otto, I'm not even afraid of you. What do you even want? You're okay at martial skills. I can fire Albrecht. Albrecht has, he's not considered powerful. Here. You're on the you're on the council. You can disband your faction now. Eighteen thousand Doomstack Crusader troops are coming. 
coming back to protect Jerusalem. Hey, look, Count Otto's faction disbanded. Would you look at that? <laughs> I love watching my friendly Crusader Doom stack of 20,000 troops <laughs> chase these guys down while I just peacefully siege to try to end the war. They can't stop. You know, they see a potential target and they have to go for them. They can't catch any of them, but they're they're trying, damn it. Okay. Well, while you guys do that, I only got two months left. <laughs> Kuno was attending to preach among his fellow youngsters who became the target of a small fight. Hork intervened? Hork Jr. And did what he could to protect him. Why is Hork Jr. like literally wounded? Never back down from a challenge, Hork. All right, he's been healed by the court physician who has his three-star education. Chad, I'm literally winning the crusade for us, by the way. Oh, they are. Never mind. Yeah, they did it. They won. This is the sub -sound. Come on, let me finish my siege. I want to be helpful. Two, one. We did it. Technically, before the crusade is over, we did it. For whatever that's worth. Captured a prisoner. Got 24 gold from the siege. GG. Now if the Pope could just, I don't know, end the war. Saint George has granted your sister, Queen Croflin, victory in the crusade for Jerusalem after defeating Caliph Daoud and his heathen warriors on several occasions. Our warriors forced the enemies of the faith to admit their ignominious defeat. With the occupied lands firmly under the leadership of pious Catholic ruler, we can rest assured that the divine will of St. George has been enacted. This is a glorious day for all true followers of the cross. Your sister and friend, Queen Croflin. You're welcome. Twenty-eight hundred gold was divided among participants, earning you five hundred and seventy-three gold. I got five hundred piety. I got twenty-two hundred prestige. Catholicism's fer fervor decreased. I got twenty percent of the war chest. We're gonna spin that in two seconds. All right, I'm disbanding my troops. My sis has got Jerusalem now, chat. She is, quote, an insane zealot. Has the title Crusader Queen. Wow. That is definitely not historical. <laughs> she, not King Secondado, is the ruler. By the way, P.S., when I married her to Secondado when I was my dad, she got a matrilineal marriage. So all their children are of the Catlinburg house, not his. Crusader Queens is my favorite game. I don't know how long she can keep Jerusalem, but she's got 3,700 troops right off the bat, which is not bad. I don't know what makes her insane here. She's got 15 martial skill. You're welcome, Croflin. I hope you remember this. I also do get to keep the Warrior of the Faith title. Excellent. With the establishment of a proper Catholic queen in Jerusalem. I don't think that was the Pope's intention, but he did make the choice. The faithful can finally rest easy knowing St. George is smiling upon our good works. The fact that the new ruler of Jerusalem belongs to my dynasty is only further proof of our divine favor. I wonder what kind of ruler she will be. You will play as Queen Croflin of Jerusalem. What, I just changed characters? No, I'm not just gonna change characters, dude. That's a different person. 
I'm not gonna do it, chat. Jerusalem is, first of all, this is the hardest place in the whole game to be right now. Literally in the midst of every single enemy in the entire game. No. Time to focus back on my realm. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let chat persuade me to just change characters. Okay, she got it thanks to me fair and square. You forget who did the work, okay? Listen, you might be like, oh, play as your sister, the queen. She didn't do shit, chat. Queen Crofflin just got handed the crown, okay? Guess what? Me and the boys were down there fighting, tooth and nail, lost a battle in Jerusalem, ended up capturing this straight. I put in all the work. You just want to play as the person who got handed the queenship, okay? She got up jumped to Kingdom of Jerusalem. All she did was exist. Through my own generosity, I gifted her the title of Queen of Jerusalem via the Pope, okay? But listen, Bavaria is the one that put in 20% war score in work here. That's who we're gonna keep playing as. I got goals. I got things to accomplish. I can't just switch to be random Jerusalem person. <laughs> Angry stream. Watch your sis own all the area. I'll be happy for her, dude. I gave it to her because she's my character's friend. If she gets to keep it and hang on to it, good for you. I can probably... I can't interact. She's literally too far away for me to even talk to right now. <laughs> hey, that's your sister, Hork. Have some respect. <laughs> Our character is content. We are technically content right now. But we're having babies! Too far away to talk, but you had a kid with your wife while on a crusade. Shh. We don't talk about that. Who died on my council? Oh, dude, I my sis just became the queen, and she's not my spy master anymore. Udo's not good enough, man. 13 intrigue, that's it? Alright, just disrupt schemes and try your best. This who, Where's my steward? 12? Dude, 71, and you've only been able to figure out how to get 12 stewardship in your lifetime? This is the equivalent of, like, anytime I ask you a question, you just Google the answer, okay? You don't actually know. This just means you're competent at, like, search engine optimization. That's like jack-of-all-trades territory. A sudden shock. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back as the horse shakes. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down, girl. 45% chance you gain 100 martial experience and become a experienced writer for 10 years or die for stable ground better safe than sorry are you serious 45 percent chance or you become wounded die for stable ground did you not just teach your child to be brave okay oh my god i am thrown to the hard pack ground the pain of the impact pushing through every bone in my body the stable boy comes running just a little too late Damn animal. Bam! Udo healed me. But you know what? They're gonna remember how brave I was when I got thrown from my horse. Good job, Udo. Keep it up. Uh, Leroy- Oh, wait, we got two subs. Leroy hashtag says something about Prime Gaming. Etal Jeff sharing the Prime sub for five months. How's it going? Leroy. 
Azigao also says Ital not bad back for seven months. Howdy. Thank you both for subscribing. Welcome to my stream. Dietrich seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. He got a well got along with everyone. He spoke to even the adults. Keeps the trade dude Gregarious runs in the family right now. Alright, time to build. Could build a duchy building. But again, I think I'm saving. I do like the night one, but that does not constitute building tall. Fort level and garrison size would be nice to turtle. Levy size up four. I mean, 40% is a lot. I think it's either got to be 40% levy size or. I don't know. I just don't feel like 20% holding taxes is significant enough. I think I, I like the knight one. I mean, six knights and 75% knight effectiveness is crazy. I think it's either military academies turtle up with marches or super levies. But either way, we gotta wait till we get uh, the research unlock. And we're already building other stuff. We can upgrade these though for more taxes. I think we need to start continuing to like improve. Crop fields lead to more taxes. It is expensive. I told you I was going to burn that money immediately. And curtain walls are good. Turtling in the capital for that extra fort level and garrison also increases taxes. Takes three years. All right. Get everything upgrading at the same time. Why does Twitch now show me italics viewers also watch? I don't know, Eric. What do you also watch? There shouldn't be anything else, Eric. It should just be my channel only. Your counselor died of old age. Gerard, 71 years old. I literally just made you a steward. My next best <laughs> is 11. But at least it's a powerful vassal, so I don't feel like I'm wasting my time. 15 monthly income. Where is all this money coming from? Didn't I didn't we just look at this and it was like eight or nine? Didn't we just do this? How did I go from nine to 15? Church holdings are two vassals are three. It's all in my domain. But this doesn't even equal the stewards three. Oh, that was with raised levies. Oh, I put the troops down. I'm making bank. Number of knights plus four. I don't think I have enough knights for that to matter. My character did want dread. We should work towards either gallant or overseer. Both are good. Uh, marriage acceptance for close family could actually be useful. All right, I do have a son. I do have two sons. Let's go down this, even though I'm not romancing right now. I, you know what, though? I could romance my honey. 100% chance to romance my own honey. Let's wait until we finish swaying. Only a 54% success chance here. And it worked! Oh, my beautiful wife, you're so brave and strong. We've got a third son, who I'll of course name.
Um, Robot Mystic says L. Listen, I know I've had a few drinks. I have to go with the first name that comes to mind. I'm sorry. I don't choose. My brain chooses. Lobbykins. It's Lobbykins. Oh, look at cute little Lobbykins. My beautiful baby. He's so adorable. <laughs> All right, no need to sway you anymore. Let us romance. No, no, accidentally murder it would be bad. Break up with lover. No, 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 Rom romance. The time has come to let my feelings for my wife be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Secretly plant a letter in her chambers. Write a love poem. Impress her by winning a sparring match. I could do any of those. Impress her by winning a sparring match. I recruit one of my most senior soldiers and practice with him for three days straight. Once he deems me ready, we head together to the main courtyard. We begin to spar and a crowd gathers. Their cheers draw none other than the rowdy Duchess Richardus. The soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. I kneel before my wife and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, Duchess. Bringing you honor is my only desire. My songbird is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else would she be smiling thusly? <laughs> I'm not one for bullying, but I, <laughs> I would Bully? A kid named Lobbykins. <laughs> Why? You could just call them Lob. Lob is a great nickname. I was shocked when I caught Hork trying to steal from the travel chest of visiting Count Albrecht. He gave me an impressive speech on how he now understood why what he was doing was wrong. Keep humble, gain deceitful, or honest. Listen, stay humble. Looking down the perfectly shaped seashell, imagining Duchess Richardus' smile, I can barely contain myself. It is exquisite. Do you not agree, my lord? The old merchant gestures to the seashell with a wink. The perfect gift for a loved one. I'll take ten. This junk... Listen, spare me. I am sure I'll find another way of showing her how much I love her. Gamer Deathbot, I already took a BRB, but I wouldn't mind another one. It is 1120 after all. Chat, can I get people to vote? You guys vote for me so I can become the next Holy Roman em Emperor? The clanging of mail, the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my knights practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's strengths and weakness. There can be little rest, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors open. It's time to bring out the mounts. I might gain a martial lifestyle perk. Bring me my armor. I haven't ridden in ages. This character rides for hours in the courtyard, ensuring their grip stays strong and swings bear down with force. Prowess 2... Small health bonus. Let's go riding. Let's do that one. So what what does my content boy do? Do we go for more land? I don't know. Content is tough. I am attending a dance in Regensburg to spend some time with my wife. The mere thought of touching hands <gasps> makes my heart jump. But when I arrive, I find her in conversation with Count Ernst. The vile man drones on and on, totally oblivious to my wife's discomfort. I will take her place. Better that I suffer than her. Enough! You are boring the lady to death! 
Spend 35 prestige. Maybe form a rivalry. Yeah, that one. Headaches for 10 years. <laughs> Ideally, we need Salzburg. My brother-in-law. And my sister-in-law. What? Honey. How are you... What? How am I related to Salzburg? You can declare four wars. I can declare war on Friuli? That's a bad idea. Lotharingia. Bad idea. Tyrol. Oh, that's a good idea. I have a, I have a claim on Innsbruck. I forgot about that. But Count Otto has a claim on all of it. Hmm, indeed you do. Indeed you do. Listen, I am content. It's not for me, Chad. It's for one of my vassals. Which is, of course, a different thing entirely. And I am just. I know that Tyrol doesn't earn that land. That isn't yours. Maybe I'll press my Count's claim. But first, let's make a save. And maybe get one final refill, okay? One final drink. I'll probably go ahead and press his claims. I can I can RP that I am content the land is not for me. It's for my vassal, obviously. But I'll be back in just a couple minutes, and we'll do just that. Because Tyrol, as you can see, is part of the Kingdom of Bavaria which we are working towards. We have 13 out of 22 counties to be able to become that king. So we'll work on that next. BRB.
Hey. Gamer stretch time. Get the blood flowing. Monka S. What are you guys Monka Sing? What's up? No, what's up, you? <laughs> Did you guys see? <laughs> they announced one more content update for uh, Terraria, <laughs> and they called it Journey's Actual End. <laughs> Like, nobody believes you at this point. You called the last one Journey's End. And you lied. And that's why everyone, I went back and like, actually played the full game. And then you release another content update. I don't even know what's different in it. It's only a 16 second trailer. Includes the final NPC, new achievements, balance changes, bug fixes, new vanity, and I and the long requested game credits. Well, we we already did it. I'm not doing another playthrough. Too much work. I got some hummus. You guys want some? Hummus has become something I buy every grocery store trip. It didn't used to be that way. I only actually started eating hummus since I moved to Vegas, really. Now I understand. Like, I get it. It was just something that I knew of. But didn't really participate in. How's uh how's late night crew doing? It's ten twenty two local time. That means it's just after one on the east coast. How you guys feeling? I'm not sure how I feel because I'm I just realized that tomorrow is um I apparently have to play remothered the sequel game. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Woke up two hours ago? I'm sleepy. Hey, Andre. Be better if I had some hummus. That's understandable. What are you eating it with? Uh, wheat? Bread. <laughs> what, what is this bread called? <laughs> the pita. Wheat pita bread. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating it with wheat. <laughs> Just wheat. Just had some homemade quesadillas. Wow. Got caught up in Civ again. Um, I would like to play Civ again, but I need more motivation than, uh, I don't. I, w I want like an expansion, not DLC sips. That's just me, though. <clears throat> like the sips don't change the game enough. They offer like two or three different things. Scrolling up in chat. 
off topic, but I visited Bavaria and it's beautiful, especially in winter, fall, spring. Thank you, Emperor Doomsday. I'm glad that you like my nation. I don't remember what we're doing here. Do you guys remember what? Why do I have 650 gold? Didn't I just spin down to like 150? We built crop fields in München and Frontenhausen, which are going to be tax builders for us. And we could just keep upgrading our infrastructure, which I think is a solid idea. Or actually build some new buildings. If we've got the new building slots, I'd rather build new buildings than just upgrade. Uh, on the one hand, pastoral's good. We've talked about this. Levy reinforcement rate and garrison size and supply limit. But I don't know if I want to do that everywhere. Some barracks would be good. Because that's just heavy infantry. Let's do some barracks. For troops. And then Ingolstadt. I don't know how long we'll keep this, but it can't hurt to just upgrade the crops. Alright, now we're down to 187 gold. But we're at like 17 and a half a month. That's pretty good. Focusing on infrastructure right now. I said I was going to go to war with Tyrol. I guess we will. There's not really a rush. When does the new season of um, The Expanse come out? They just do the trailer. When's the new season start? Is it this year? You were going to get a claim? No, I already have a claim. I can just go to war for the county of Innsbruck whenever I want. Oh, I can press the claim of my, my vassal. Wait, what? This is the sub sound. This is the sub sound. December. All right. All right. I'm down. All right, Duke Isidore. You've got some pretty good allies, actually. We should... We are not... We are at actually max capacity on soldiers. Why are we only getting 10%? Low levy contribution count... Oh! I have counts now! I can modify contracts! That makes sense. This is an act of tyranny. You gain stress because you are just. Chat, I need some hooks on people, dude. I can't fabricate hooks without being intrigued, boy. Hey. What are you doing over there? Hmm? Midas is not to be trusted. It's what you call, um, good boys who are bad dogs. I'm already starting to rewatch the first four seasons. It probably would be a good rewatch, actually. I'm not gonna do it. Because I got too many other shows to watch. But yeah, I need some of these levies, dude. You're holding out on me. Uh, maybe it is time to go to... This is a direct vassal opinion plus 10. But I can change partition succession laws. Titles may be revoked. Vassals can be retracted. It's only 200 prestige and I've got 3,000. I'll pass it. All right, limited crown authority. I think that's reasonable. Uh, the reason is I am still the head of the Bavarian culture and we are still researching hereditary rule, which will be ready in four years. That will allow me to change partition laws for which we will have needed uh, that upgraded crown authority anyways. But yeah, he's got he's got some good allies. Do I still have allies? I do. How's Nordgal? Fifteen hundo. 
I attended Dan's in Regensburg to spend some time with Duchess Richardus. The mere thought of touching hands with my own wife makes my heart jump. <laughs> but when I arrive, I find her stuck in conversation with Mayor Valise. The solitary man drones on. A solitary man drones on, totally oblivious to her discomfort. It's the same one. So I gotta be enemies with all of my vassals? You are boring the lady to death. Like Castlevania? I finished Castlevania last night, actually. The final episode was really good. Uh, Castlevania Season 3 started bad and ended good. From a plot perspective... I know you guys are gonna meme, but... Real talk. It actually, the it did go better than I thought it was going to. There were a few things in the season that I thought, they're getting ready to... I don't know what the word is. Um, I was going to say jump the shark, but I thought they were going to lose sight of what made the show interesting, but they actually brought it back around. And I did, li I did like how it ended. I think season three is overall better than season two. Actually. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away from all others. He throws his head and stomps his hooves, displaying powerful hindquarters and a well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I have never seen such a warhorse, but the stable master insists he is impossible to train. I've never seen this. I've seen a lot of new events with uh, martial focus. I am not one to back down from a challenge. Such a fine steed will fetch a hefty price or my stable master will learn a lot. This is actually really good. Night effectiveness up 20% and light and heavy calf damage up, but I feel like I gotta choose. I don't have any basis one way or the other. I am not one to back down from a challenge. That's probably true. Let's try it. I don't know, I'm curious where this leads. Anyone for English breakfast? I've never had a uh, legit English breakfast. The horse pins his ears back as I approach, Dis his disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn trust and respect and I should decide how to go about it. Prowess, diplomacy, or intrigue. I think we'll go prowess. A steady hand to tame the beast. It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I've earned his trust, he seems almost fond of me. I will keep him as my personal war horse. That was rewarding. I'll do it again. <laughs> this character tames unruly horses in their spare time. Prowess and prestige bonus. Or prestige bonus alone for having a personal war horse. Why does the warhorse not give me any prowess? I feel like the warhorse is the one that should give me prowess. I had one it was good except the blood sausage. It was odd. <laughs> that is the thing that is probably the most odd looking. It would be so cool to do like a breakfast of the world type of situation. You know, like... Every different region's customary breakfast. That's what's so interesting. Like, breakfast is something that really is regional. More so than lunch or dinner. Because lunch and dinner can be anything. But breakfast is fairly narrow in scope. 
depending on the region. Like Southern United States has their own breakfast compared to maybe the rest of America. Um, I would say Midwestern as well. Obviously, English breakfast speaks for itself. Denver omelet. I don't know what a Denver omelet is. Chicken and waffles almost doesn't count as breakfast. Alright, I think... Gregarious, just, and content. It might be fun to just tame horses. But it's only 10 years. Let's just keep the war horse. Oh, Richardus, you've been so brave and strong. We have another son. What shall we call him? What shall we call him, indeed? Um... How about... All right, chat, give me two letters instead of one. Two letters. B-A, says Leuda. B-A. B A R R O B E R R Y Barrowberry My son's name is Barrowberry May you grow to be strong and wise Barrowberry <laughs> Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command I muse on what to call him AKA BB a name inspired by history. Mythology's full of awe-inspiring horse names. It is just a horse. Gregarious, just, content. I am a crusader. We'll say mythology. The mythological world is rich in grandeur and names for horses. Lamray, after the horse of King Arthur, Baileus. Xanthos, the name of Achilles' other horse would fit better. Boreas, the ancient Greek god of the North Wind. Hmm, another theme would fit better. Charger, Abbot, Prancer. Or, as King Charlemagne's horse, Alexander the Great's. I don't like any of these names, actually. How about Baileus? Let's just go Baileus. No one's chat, you guys aren't gonna remember this. Okay, are we declaring war or aren't we? That is a good question. Number of knights plus four. Do we even have Oh yes we will? Yes, we will. Okay, sure. We have 12 knights, dude. Count Conrad has 31 prowess. Uh, well, I think I know what to do with 384 gold. It's called invite more knights. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. As my treasure and I walk through the Regent's Park Gardens... I gesture at the greenery around us. For all their beauty, there isn't a single flower which rivals your own. There is one, she says with a mischievous smile. A rare orchid from Solanke, which is nearly impossible to cultivate. The monastery ruin in Munchmuster. 
is the only place where it thrives in these regions. Surely I can find a merchant to sell me one. I will brave the ruins. Count Conrad may be able to help a bro out, or perhaps we will get to see it one day. Count Conrad has a 88% chance of succeeding. I have an 82% chance of succeeding. I'll go with myself. I will brave the ruins for you, honey. You search all day, but find nothing. You told me there was a flower here, okay? Listen, I have been out all day. I have beaded sweat from my brow. I have been working extensively to find this mysterious flower that you told me exists. For sure. And uh, guess what? It's not here. You have unreasonable expectations for our marriage. Why have you guys been in prison for so many years? I will let you all go for money, among other things. Dude, we're making some sick bank. Another lifestyle perk? Did I just get one? Let's go. Hmm. Minute Arms counter efficiency is really good. But let's go promising prospects because we are getting ready to marry our sons. And getting that plus 25 perk would be very nice for that. Spouse opinion up isn't necessary. <sighs> Ferdinand has listened to my summons 20 prowess. Hello, Ferdinand. I got 40 gold for you. Come on in. I need some King's Guard. I do need King's Guard. We got buildings going in every single county. We got three going here and three going there simultaneously. All right, are we going to war? The forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a duke at this hour? My late night visitors, none other than Mirgan. I have to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I've discovered something very interesting. Mirgan has uncovered a secret of Gerald's. He's willing to share it, if I let him off the hook. After this, you will owe me no longer. You think you can make demands? Tell me, or else. Alright, what? You learned of Gerald's lover's secret. Strong hook? On Gerald's lover. Regular hook on regular Gerald. I'm not the intrigue master that my father was. So I don't really care. Is this bald the gate? Luda, you want to play Baldur's Gate? Okay. Chat, when are we going to play Divinity Original Sin? Also, when am I going to put this hummus up? It's just going to get, uh, I guess warm. Right now, people clap. Absolutely not. Fifteen. A Craven Knight. Twenty gold, that's a good discount. I say yes. When Duchess Richarda suggests a hunt, I did not hesitate. I would do anything for a glimpse of my treasure. I stalk through the underbrush, my page at my heel, my hound just ahead. It seems as though it has found the trail. Then suddenly, my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. Hmm, who could it be? I'm coming for you, my love. Perhaps it'd be wiser to send the page. I can defend you. Within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour. I reach a clearing. Richardus is on the ground before me, disheveled and weaponless. Opposite her, about to strike, stands a huge wolf. My arrow strikes true, and the beast falls to the ground. 
For a moment, all she can do is stare, but she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my love, right here, right now. She becomes your soulmate. Hello, honey. Would you like to be my soulmate? We just finished three constructions. A Bailey and two Hamlets. We're getting tier two up in here. All right, let's keep buffing our light cav and also taxes and also levies and also defender advantage. Can't hurt. Passau. Could use tier two pastures. That's just more taxes and levies. And Regensburg. I say tier two manors, but we can't afford it. So tax money should keep, keep, keep going up. We're almost at 20 a month, which is really good for just a double duchy. My tuition of my son Dietrich is at an end. He is an avid learner. And become quite... I forgot to tell him what to focus on. <laughs> I left it up to chance. He decided to go with learning. Which is fair enough. Terrible at intrigue. He's proven fully capable of structuring advanced theoretical and theological arguments. It's good for... It's actually better for role-playing this way, because then I don't have to, like, gamify it. And I can just let him do what he wants. So tier three astute intellectual. We should have another son who's following close in his footsteps. Hork Jr. seems to enjoy our latest feast immensely. He got along quite well with everyone he spoke to, even the adults. Which is good when you're 13. Keep the trait gregarious, my son. Kaiser Odbert has declared war on King Sigtrick of Denmark. Ooh, for what? The County of Dithmarschen. Going to war with Denmark. Your wife is pregnant again. Having more children. No one's gonna dispute our lineage at this point. Uh, how does the world look in 1122? Looks pretty... <gasps> Denmark took Norway! Okay, I was gonna say it looks pretty normal, but I didn't realize that Denmark had taken all of Norway. That's kind of significant. Sweden is just like, please don't hurt me. Normandy via England, still chilling in Britannia. My Marshal Count Otto looks my horse, Baileus, up and down, approvingly nodding. It is a mighty fine stallion you have here, my duke. If you would allow me to take him for a ride, I would be very grateful. Enjoy yourself. No one rides Baileus but me. Your marshal, vassal, and knight. Enjoy yourself. Have a ride on my horse. Your heir is unmarried and also 16 years old. True. I think we need an alliance with Friuli, chat. Even though they have a chunk of Bavaria. That's just a lot of troops. However, um, they have five sons. Okay, well. <sighs> Never mind. Um, Lombardy is already spoken for. Tuscany has no family. How about Burgundy is currently embroiled in war against tyranny. Also, no matches. Lotharingia. We should try going for one of the other big houses for sure. Ooh, got some candidates. Lotharingia would be a good match. Angria would be a better match.
Duchess Bertha's already spoken for. Wiltrude is eight. I would have to wait for eight years. But that is a good alliance. And they would accept. They are, how are they related, dude? No way, who were your grandparents? Duke Dietrich the second of Upper Lorraine? I don't recognize any of these names, it's only like two generations. It's a good alliance though. Uh, Kallenbergs get the, the better end of this deal. All right, definitely send that proposal. Allying with Angria sucks because they're far away and it's difficult to honor that alliance. Lotharingia's got more land, but Angria's got more troops. And I would bet on more troops. Um, Bohemia's not an option because there's just no children. And also they have an elect, they have like a weird succession as well. So there's not really a lot of options. But yeah, Angry would be a solid alliance. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. We benefit from that way more than they do, because they have 45 hundo. We have 33. We're still pretty strong. Don't underestimate us. All right, it's time to either declare war or not. So, Count Otto of Augsburg. Hilariously, I believe this is the same Count Otto who we took the duchy from. The Duchy of Augsburg, right? The no of the Nordheim family. Yeah, we t we left him with a single county. <laughs> we declared war on him, took his duchy, and now we're coming back and be like, you have claims on this duchy below us? Yes, I think we will go ahead and press your claim. I actually can't. Why can't I do this? Is it because of Kaiser Otbert is preventing us from declaring war? Is it my leech? What? Uh, did they change? They actually might have. Um, yes, they did. They went to high crown authority. Okay. So last time I looked, we were still at tier two. So because they switched to high crown authority, we cannot declare war unless we have a hook on the leech. So that's really tough that recently changed. I can modify my contract to get sanction war declaration. You must propose an equal exchange in obligations. So if I agree to increase my taxes, I think that's a fair trade. Increase my taxes from 3% to 9%. He will let me get Sanctioned war declaration, so I can declare war regardless. My levy obligation is already 32%, which is pretty high. Talix, I've played a few games of CK3, but I feel discouraged after my first ruler. How do I keep engaged? It's a tough question, I guess. Because I don't think you're alone in that. I think some people just have problems with feeling attached to the person that comes after their first ruler. I don't know how to tackle that problem. Um, I kind of look at it as a fresh start. An opportunity to play in a different play style. So for me, I like the variety. I like changing it up and going from one type of ruler to another. Um, but I think it, if you know that it's coming, it's kind of like, you, you gotta start thinking of your game as a, the family, the dynasty is the main character, not the person you start with. So I think it's just a diff a, a matter of perspective. Because the whole point of the game is to try to make something that is greater than yourself when you start. It's not possible for a single ruler in their one lifetime to achieve greatness. So 
So, if you have more details, I might be able to give a better response. But yeah, I do need sanctioned war declaration even at the expense of money. So we go from 3% taxes to 12% taxes. Why does it say levies 32% on here, but no levies on this one? I still think that's a good deal, even if we lose a little bit of our tax money. Not a, not too big of a, a problem in terms of like expensive. We only lost like two gold per month for the right to declare war on anyone that we want. So we're gonna press Count Otto's claims now. The cost is very affordable. I know that I'm content kind of bending the RP a little bit, but I'm doing it for someone else, it's not for me. This is their claim. Like, my father took Augsburg away from them. So now I'm pressing the Duke of Augsburg, former Duke of Augsburg's claim on Tyrol. I don't even know where they are right now. They're calling their allies, but that's about it. A knight has arrived. Deceitful, brave, greedy. 20 gold, that's a good deal. Let's check our knights. We have 12 knights right now. This guy decided he did not want to fight. We will force him to. You can kind of tell based on their clothing alone. All right, we got a decent number of knights and they're very strong. Hmm, this music is so good. We're gonna go straight for the capital. This should be a fairly easy war unless the their allies do much. Pump it, baby. I just had the problem that my successors suck. Your successors don't suck, you do. <laughs> okay, I don't mean that you actually suck. I just mean that everyone's a blank slate. You can make even someone that is poorly statted win and do well, is what I mean. You look at it as a challenge. They don't have to be, like, as awesome as the person you just played as. They can be, sometimes they're a stepping stone. Sometimes they're going to be awesome in different ways that you can't foresee yet. You kind of got to stick with it. I got another son, dude. What's my succession even look like right now? Okay, what do I, what do I want to name you after? I don't know, I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling particularly... I'm feeling like more inspired than usual. H. H O T. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Oh, I accidentally hit space. I didn't mean to hit space, but it's already there. Hot. R T. I didn't mean to hit T. Hot R T game crowd. No. Um. Gosh. Gosh up. Gashapo. Okay, I need something to work with here. 
Dude, co I, I peaked at Cookie Crisp. <laughs> I peaked at Cookie Crisp. I can't do anything beyond that. Ard? Z? A? F? Ardzaf. Ardzaf? Is that the name? Ardzaf and done. Okay, Ardzaf done. Fair enough. I can respect it. Chad, do you like streams where we do almost 30 years in like seven hours? That's pretty good, right? For me. Worst names so far. Really. That is a lot. Worst names so far. You can declare wars? I don't think I can. After my army sets up camp, I hear commotion coming from my knight's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Count Walram and Ferdinand in the middle of a heated argument. Deliver a speech is not going to work. Have them whipped for their delinquency. Your steward and vassal, and your knight. You wound both of them. That seems bad. Sod this. I'm just going to my tent and stuffing my ears. I kind of just want to deliver a, a shitty speech. Maybe gain some martial lifestyle experience, but 60% chance the fighting escalates as onlookers join in. My pleas for us to all put aside our differences fall on deaf ears. Why is there war music? Drinks and food go flying as people start throwing tankards and packs around. May as well join in! 50% you emerge as the sole victor of the brawl. Or you become wounded. Two in a row? I'm injured in the fighting, dude. Your sister, Queen Croflin, created the cadet branch Kallenberg, Jerusalem. That's a terrible name, dude. Queen Croflin replaced you as the dynastic head of the von Kallenberg dynasty. I made you. Do you understand? I literally made- You can't just replace me as my dynastic head. Remember our words are be loyal, chat. Be loyal. Oh, you can change the motto? Motto. Remember, chat, stretch to prevent gamer death. That's <laughs> the motto of my ancient house. The Von Catlinburgs. I don't know if I can get rid of the Von Catlinburg, though. That's, that's kind of got to stick. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, you guys won? Okay, well, let's go kill these guys then. Before they finish their siege. So you kind of just left. Would you guys even rename this? Von Catlinburg. Are they really gonna lift the siege? You can unlock a new perk for the martial lifestyle. Already? Didn't we just do this? Loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50. Skills from spouse counselor tasks up 25%. That's pretty good. Peace acceptance. I don't know. But Gallon is fine. <laughs> House Lucky Charms. Marshmallows only though. Not the not the regular cereal. Just the marshmallows. All marshmallow lucky charms. I might chat should I go get my box of lucky charms right now? I've been hosting your Chancellor for several weeks and he has helped me truly see the splendor of the realm under your rule. Thank you, Count Otto. I'm glad you like me more now. We're at 47%. We're about to kick some ass. Actually, they're going to retreat because they're scared. Alright, we're going to fight here. Opponent is starving, defending the mountains and a river crossing, and we're still going to win. It might take some sacrifice. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Kill as many of them as possible. So while they retreat, we continue to siege. There's only two places we could pos- actually there's only one place we could possibly siege. Does quick save exist? The Knights Templar has been established in Soana by Pope Victor. Good job, Pope. I don't know why these guys are fighting us. The slaughter at Bruneck killed 600 people. And we're going to finish this siege out. And I think we win. My tuition of Hork Jr. is at an end. Displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold and the wanderings of people, he even expresses a remarkable creativity in dealing with the matters. He's a fortune builder. Who's my heir, though? Dietrich Lucky Charms. What? Marshmallows. <laughs> oh. oh, that's his last name. Your culture has discovered the fascination of hereditary rule, a new fascination may be selected. <laughs> hey, dude. Good job. Let's go ahead and get Burrs so we can get that super one. I am still the culture head, if nothing else. So, succession-wise, we've un- wait. We have to have heraldry? We can change to regular partition. So the difference between these two is the font is bigger. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but look. Direct vassal size 8 or 10, partition size 12. So that's one thing, you change font size. The second thing is your, your titles will be divided equally between your children. 
New titles may be created for younger realm heirs. What's the difference in these? Besides the fact that player heir opinion is higher. The only thing that it says is younger titles, younger children will have titles created for them if enough land is held. So it won't create new titles. That's the only thing that's different. So we can at least change the partition and then we can change when we have heraldry to high partition. So I think this is better, even though it costs 500 prestige. And our player heir likes us more. I don't see any reason why not to go to regular partition. Heraldry, though, is not easy. It's tier 2 medieval. But yes, thank you, Chad, for reiterating the thing that I read. I did, I did pick up on that. We'll go five times speed for a minute because this is a long siege. Hey, and we're done. We siege every single territory. My daughter, Vunta Loveland, is more likely to receive a good education due to my wife's tutelage. And Catholicism's fervor increases as we succeed in enforcing our demands. You've gained a favor hook on Duke Otto II. May your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. To put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply. Um, Duke Isidore of Tyrol becomes a vassal of Count Otto. I get a favor hook on Count Otto. Gain some fame. More importantly, uh, I believe... Chat. Did I just create a split duchy? All right, well, clearly I need to be right back because uh, this is very embarrassing. I can't believe I just went to war uh, to press claims on losing my own land of Augsburg for literally no reason. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, thank you for waiting. And then we will fix all this. Get wrecked.
What does that sound like? So I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker. My library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've recently acquired a tome on the great battle of Tors, as well as a time-worn scroll written in an ancient language. <clears throat> Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds. Read the new tome. Translate the old one. Eighty-five percent chance I gain lifestyle, martial experience, a martial learning and commander bonus for twenty years. That one. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I press on. As night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. In the Battle of Red Cliffs, the warlord Tsautsalk chained his ships from stem to stern to combat seasickness. A commander of the opposing Sun Liu forces, Huang Gai, saw his chance and sent a feigned letter of surrender. Then he prepared a squadron of ships, filling them with kindling and oils, and let the wind carry them towards South South. As the crewless ships approached the enemy fleet, they were set ablaze, resulting in fiery deaths of countless men. Study the battle or focus on the translation process. Martial learning and max combat roll. Or just learning plus two. Let's go with the top one. It just seems so good. My dream is to one day see Italics eat something healthy. Bro, you're in Twitch chat, okay? You're inherently unhealthy. My dream is to see Twitch chat do something healthy, but yet here you are, sitting somewhere, watching video games be played remotely. Did you know, chat, that it's okay if you eat unhealthy things every single day? As long as you don't exceed the calorie count for your uh, weight and height recommendation? Kids don't listen to him. <laughs> do you listen? First of all, do you really doubt the nutritional value of Lucky Charms? Look at that. Look at look at look at all of those vitamins and minerals, dude. All right, count them. Twenty percent of my daily value of iron, calcium, thiamine, vitamin B six, folate, vitamin B twelve, and zinc, and then ten percent of other stuff. And that's without including milk. Well, the calcium includes milk, but nobody cares about milk the rest of the time. Are 
All right, how am I gonna get this back? I just made this dude a duke. Left, I, I gave him my own land. Now what? I can seize the county of Augsburg de jure. <laughs> what a strange turn of events. I literally went to war to fight for him. Now what? But they're weakened. Wait, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to give that to you. Oopsie. Two wars is better than one. Alliance expired. This dude died of complications related to obesity. What did you do? Is my own... No, I'm still allied to Nordgal. Chat, where's the rest of my soldiers, dude? Where's my marshal? What are you doing? My marshal's dead or gone. I don't know what happened. Epic luck charms eating montage. Monka. I'm a devoted servant, though. Two thousand versus thirty-four hundred is kind of a big difference. I could call allies in, but I don't know what good it would do right now. I do have 35 commander advantage though. I think we could probably win with defensive buffs. You will probably lose. Yeah, but what if I didn't? Well, we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my courtier. Eh. I don't think we care. Hey, Count, uh, what are you? Duke Otto, what if I, I don't know, tried to murder you? 5% chance, and I'm just. True. All right, 13 days left. Am I going to make it in 13 days, chat? How long until we get there? Seven days. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I get the defensive perk. I'm willing to fight this one out before they get the siege. We start break even. I need some good luck charms. We have 12 versus 15 knights. 35 versus 13 commander advantage. Absolutely massive advantage in my favor, dude. Oh, baby. I am a god. Unparalleled. Easy. The great Hork has killed a thousand of his foes while only losing 300 friendlies. We lost a knight, though. Who died? Count Walrum. 
slain in battle. Uh, Ludwig was injured. Richer was injured. Dietrich was injured. Your son and heir. Do we still have, uh, we do have court physician and a good one. A damn good one. I think who died was my, my vassal. Killed 625 with just knights alone. That is exactly why we went down chivalric dominance. All right, we shattered the enemy chat. Now we go for Innsbruck. Peace acceptance plus 10. Just in general? Like, what does that mean? Like for white peace or for enforcing demands? <coughs> Don't tell him Pepe laugh. Listen, Buster. You and your 80 messages following since November 30th, 2019. I see you. Okay? I know you're here. That's less than... That's like three messages per month. Buster. You still have BRB up. Because I'm only halfway here. I'm being lucky. I'm, this is a lucky charms BRB. Who told him? Uh, Big Bubaloo did. What is under siege? I mean, we've only got two months left. Your brother-in-law died? No! Cookie Crisp is a widow! Count Ludwig died of internal injuries. That was my, uh, counselor. He was my big chancellor. How many of my siblings? Oh. How many? That's a big boy. Listen, would anyone like to marry Cookie Crisp? <laughs> I need to find someone, chat. Marital status, none. John de Crusoe. They're 23. Uh, well, I can marry you to Sophia Lucky Charms Marshmallows only. I need you to come fight for me. That'll do, I guess. <laughs> hey, we did it! Modest Hork, peace be with you. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. I will comply. Here's the funny thing. I only thing I accomplished is just reuniting Bavaria. We still don't own Tyrol. So, we just helped that one dude become the Duke. Then went to war to take back the one piece of land in Bavaria. And then we're exactly where we started a moment ago. <laughs> Serial alliances. Hmm. Two duchy buildings is better than one, right, chat? Wow. 
this is a really powerful assist ruler. Plus four to learning, plus two minimum to everything else. Managed domain, of course. Will give us 15 stewardship. And allow us to hold that extra domain for now. But at the expense of everything else. For now, it's fine. We do need to rebuild troops and probably create more men at arms regiments. So let's go, um, light footmen, increase size. Time to increase the horses. It's time to increase the armored footmen. Actually, we're just going to do one to everything. Go ahead and pump them up. And then all of my holdings could use another building. We do have one that has an empty spot. And it's got defense, money, and levies. So it's got defense, money, and levies. Then I'll probably do even more cav focus and we'll try and just do like a cavalry focus. I am the new dynasty head of Von Kallenberg. Sorry, Von Kallenberg? I don't recognize that name. This is Lucky Charms. All right, we gotta, gotta change that name, chat. A renowned trainer has approached me after hear <gasps> hearing rumors of my mighty stallion, Balius, offering her services. Stronger? Move swiftly? Endurance? Fierceness? Chat? What do you want? I only have 13 prowess. I say he needs to be strong. Bailey is took to his training well and the results could be seen instantly. You lost Warhorse and gained strong Warhorse plus 10% levy size. Wow. That's pretty good. We can have 6,000 total troops now. Ooh, that's awesome. Claim on Lombardi. Your liege won a war, good for you. All right, we kinda need to just chill for a while. Maybe just do some decisions. Uh, claimants isn't a terrible idea. They, did they cheapen this? This is a lot cheaper than it used to be. Still worth it, though. A feast and a hunt is probably worth it, too. Okay, this is not a claim I'm gonna press. I can see that it's on the other side of the world. You go on a hunt in one of the baronies in your realm. Sure, let's sound the horn. My lord, a wolf! My wife gestures for me to join her in the chase. As soon as we're hidden in the farmland, she turns around and tugs my shirt over my head. Finally, some time alone, my treasure. But what about the wolf? <laughs> you gain fresh air and exercise for five years, huge health boost, and she likes you more. Or focus attention on stewardship and prowess. Hey, honey. Finally, some alone time. Who's this? Another single county claim on a county that I can't possibly hope to, uh, to gather. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave as the servants prepare the wolf for the journey back. The hunt went very well. Well, there you go, I guess. Are we swaying anybody? No. Uh, people we would like to sway include... Uh, 
Uh, Angria is currently... Do we have any allies? What happened to my Angria ally? Um, aren't you guys siblings? Can I not just make an alliance with these guys? Is that not how that works? Is it my wife, his sister? No, this is, um, of Nordgal. But my son... Yeah. Well, I guess they're not married yet. Maybe once they get married? Alright, I... My, it's really hard to RP as someone who's content. I've got a truce with you. I invited claimants, but nothing's really happened. This guy is 55, chat. I think... What if I just tried... I am... Heir is fifth in line to inherit Jerusalem. If I killed all of my family, I could become the heir of Jerusalem. <laughs> I have prisoners? I have four kid prisoners. Oh. Oops. Actually, I should have just ransomed you. Oops. Dungeon Daycare. <laughs> Hork. Family size. Lucky charms. Alright, I can't keep that, dude. My son and knight needs to be married. I may have bit off more than I could chew. I need to slow down, chat. The Lucky Charms will save me. As Baileyus trudges out of the stable, there's a lot more horse storyline than I thought there was going to be. Dragging his legs and hanging his head, there's no doubt. My horse is sick. The stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails him. But it comes as a hefty price. No price is too steep for Baileus. Keep him alive, chap. Sweaty, tired, in need of food, a long day of training with the troops comes to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old abandoned castle. That is where we will make camp for the night. The sun sets, and with every step towards the ruin, it seems more ominous. Let us venture inside. I'm sure there's treasure to be found. Find a great treasure. 74% chance we get 320 gold. Or face your fears. Look for the money, dude. Big money! Alright. Time to upgrade, dude. Not duchy building time yet. I say we go for mansion upgrade. Get our taxes up. It's a big investment now. But it'll be cheaper in the future. Uh, Rothenburg, likewise, is already kind of upgraded. Frontenhausen. Could get... Pasture upgrade. It's a small upgrade, but it, it, every bit helps at this point. Let's go barracks for those troops. 
extra hundred soldiers. And then Augsburg. We're gonna leave the duchy building untapped and build the crop fields for more taxes. Big taxes. Is your family slogan, we're magically delicious? Not yet, big bubble loop. It's stretched to prevent gamer death. There you go. Alright, enough cereal. How- your counselor Friedrich died from malnourishment. How do you guys keep dying? Alright, Mayor Wickard, 17, stewardship skill, you're in. I can be gallant now. Marshal up plus two, prowess plus four, good prestige and attraction bonus. I've only been gallant like on one other character. We have awesome martial skill at this point. It'd be a shame if we did not go to war with somebody, actually. Three of your children lack guardians. Wunta Lovend. Hmm. You are really good at intrigue. So I will have... People... Let's see, who's in my realm that would be good? Nobody. Top realm stretches really far. I would say if you stay to your own realm, we can build up reputation with our own vassals. Alright, let's do this. Let's, let's teach her an intrigue. How do you do this? Educate. Wunta Loveland. Then, Lobbykins. <laughs> Lobbykins, I want you to be a good diplomat when you grow up, okay? George. Hey, George. Will you teach my son, Lobbykins? Barrowberry, we're gonna go stewardship. Your steward, Mayor Wickard. Okay, then we're gonna do Marshall for my second to last son, Barrowberry. And then Ardzaf. Ardzaf will do learning. Udo. Get a, get a nice variety. Who knows if one of them will die. But I do want them all to be taught. Lobbykin's educator George died. That was exceedingly fast. Did he, did, <laughs> did Lobbykin's kill him? Wait, where's Lobbykin's? He's already got a guardian. I don't know what's going on. My sister and friend, Queen Croflin of Jerusalem, has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing her interest in matters of leadership, I can't help but feel the woman's waiting for me to impress her. I could probably engage her in conversation. On the other hand, it may be better for her to simply see me interacting with my men. 
There's something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Let us discuss methods of communication. We should uh, go greet some recruits. Let us discuss methods of communication with our good sister and friend. How's she doing down there? Uh, apparently fine with her 4,000 troops. We're at over 5,500, which is extremely impressive for just a single uh, duchy. My lord, it has come to my attention there's a rare opportunity to invest in the county of Regensburg. My wife draws up the details for the business. It does indeed look the de as if the deal could benefit Regensburg greatly if successful. A deal worth taking. Endeavors for ten years, good taxes. Leave it to them. Control level goes up. I think it's a risk worth taking. If it fails, we get control growth debuff, but I don't think it's a big deal. Seems nice. Alright, what should be our next kind of short-term goal? Obviously, we're doing good with building infrastructure. Today I observe Count Otto as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he needs to do better than this. Come on, Count Otto! Teach him what I know. His marshal is increased by one. He gains opinion of you. And you gain a hundred martial lifestyle. Sure. As I tap his shoulder, he throws up his hands and shouts, This is not my fault, Hork! These idiotic peasants don't know their right hand from their left. How can anyone be expected to turn this rabble into an army? I am disappointed in you, Count Otto. Oh, failed. Backfired. Your culture has discovered the fascination burrs. Ooh, we can do the big boy duchy buildings now. How long until we get to high medieval? Progress 34 out of 100. Seven years is in parentheses. Interesting. We go horseshoes for average development up. In, or just move speed up. I think move speed is highly important. Can recruit armored horsemen as men at arms. I would like that as well since we're doing so much with horses. Royal prerogative is just going to happen on its own. Naval speed. Vassals of your culture group are less likely to join independence factions. Hasn't been an issue yet. Yeah, let's go for armored horses. So if we focus on that, it's going to take 13 years, roughly. It's pretty good. My marshal looks Baileus. Dude, my horse is the main character now. He looks the horse up and down, nodding approvingly. It is a mighty fine stallion you have here, my duke. If you would allow me to ride him again, I would be very grateful. <laughs> you want to go to a feast, Count Conrad? Of course I do. Welcome to my feast. It is such a joy to see my friend Count Conrad. Once we eat, drink, and sing, it's as if no time has passed at all. We could have been dining in a barn, and this would still be the greatest feast I've ever been to. Reinvigorating friendship for five years. Huge health boost. Conrad thinks you're awesome and lose some stress. So money has really shaped up. What kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. What are these wonderful little desserts? This feast has some of the best food I've ever tasted. Your life is reaffirmed. Medium health boost. A chance encounter with a meal at feast has reignited my passion for life. Dude, I need some of that food in my life. That is some solid food. Kitchen Ninja subscribed an hour ago. Bro. Thank you for subscribing, Kitchen Ninja 84. For a second month, I appreciate your prime sub if you're still out there. Thank you. The feast dwindles down. I find myself deep in conversation with my sincere acquaintance, Harold. He inquires about my opinion on sword practice. It fascinates me as well, Harold. I am Gregarious. Let's chat. 
What a feast! I'll remember the day's been here for a long time to come. Goodbye, my old friend. We lost so much stress that I didn't even have. Go ahead and build our tax buildings up. Since we got a bunch of spare cash. These are all tier 2, except for the curtain walls. Teeny bit of extra taxes, one extra fort level, 150 extra garrison. So, big investment, but we're making big money, so we may as well just keep investing in ourselves, and the money keeps going up. My daughter's more likely to receive a good education due to my wife's learning. My lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. My spy master Udo holds me back. The diseased body of a commoner. Skin marred by rashes and bumps rests on the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection, and I was planning an outing that will take me close to Beshne, the holding of Mayor Velis in Bohemia. Why don't we study the corpse? We got good learning. That would combo nicely. Propose the children of this marriage will be born into house family size lucky. <laughs> lucky charms, of course. What's going on? Oh, they already married. Your son, player, heir, and knight has married indeed. Greetings, Duke Hork. I call on you to honor our... Oh. Join Liberty War as a... Def okay. Chat. It's war time, baby! He immediately called on you, yes, as soon as we got married. Should be easy peasy. I don't know what the AI is doing down here. Duke Gavril has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Nestoron Nestorianism. They no longer consider the clergy righteous and true. As Nestorians, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God. Interesting. I haven't seen that one before, I don't think. All right, we got 5,800 troops here. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I never do this. We're going to station besiegers, leaving just enough that is needed to siege and send the remaining troops on their own. A papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Victor issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic duke, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause. To all who participate in the fight against the infidels desecrating the holy grounds of Galicia, the Holy See promises full absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place in heaven. My warriors will be ready to fight. Just say the word, Pope. No beneficiary. I'm not gonna choose one this time. Well... <laughs> your niece, your sister... I'll choose... Uh, she kinda sucks. She is generous and compassionate, though. We'll see. Where's Galicia? Oh, in Hispania. Okay. Interesting. Who currently controls it? How, who are they warring though? Cause like, France owns a piece. Galicia owns a piece. I don't know, dude. Are 
right, we got a dual siege going on. I don't know what war I'm actually helping fight in right now. That's like three counties? Yeah, it looks like three counties to me. The siege is already done. Victory, we won the war. Uh, are we not at war at all? This is my lieges war. I think that was it. Okay, that was it, chat. That was an easy one. We got 6,000 troops right now. We can unlock a new perk for the martial lifestyle. This is going fast and furious. Uh, Overseer's not bad. It's just not necessary right now. I think we just go cast his belly cost down. <sighs> These are okay. We'll just stick with it. King o Kaiser Otbert has become your new liege. Kaiser Otbert 2. Uh, we got reassigned to Marshall. Instead of Steward. So money is down. But army gold maintenance is also a 20% discount. Levy size is way up. And martial experience is way up. And prowess is still up. Okay. Now, my boy. I would like to modify my contract. And pay less in taxes. But Chad, I need a hook. And I can't get a hook. And actually, I can. Here's how. Here's what I can do. Maybe. Find secrets. Go, my spy. Do your best, Udo. Because I don't have any way to fabricate hooks. Not yet. Let's ransom. Get that free 50 gold. Negotiate the release for Helene. Get my prisoners out. At first I thought the symbol footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Although Berthold seemed no threat, it became clear he'd be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. I could use more people like you. Joins your court, you gain 30 opinion. Strike him down. No, yeah, I could use him. You want to fight? He's my new knight, the insane adventurer. Didn't you already modify your contra for this character? Well, um, I once, I think. I could even argue you are actually the true Duke of Tyrol. <sighs> On the one hand, metagaming... By the way, the dude is tall. Um, I want to do it, but doing it is actually not good. Just because of how Succession's going down. I'm already losing a lot. Dude, I got five sons, dude! It's so hard to be a content ruler in this game. What are you supposed to do? What's the difference in these? Oh, one's for a county, one's for the whole duchy. Yes, all of Tyrol will be mine. Eh, not really. You're kind of doing it for your children, not really for you. You've already got enough land. Also, Duke Otto, 
Do you remember how I went to war, took your land, then went to war for you, gave you land, and how I'm about to go back to war? To take your land again? You remember that? Chad, how long, how do I see how long till the truce is over? Uh, truce is over 1132, that's next year. Alright, we just chill then. With our 6,000 troops. We're doing pretty good. We can create some more minute arms. As my eyes meet Countess Ginevra for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I've been staring. I know I am not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me. And I can feel my body responding, awakening. But Count Albrecht, <laughs> her husband, and my marshal is also here tonight. I will give her a good tumble. I will find Countess Ginevra once everyone's asleep. Just, diligent, generous. How old am I? 50? Everyone will know of her sinful thoughts. My heart remains pure. Chat, it's hard to it's hard to argue that a content and just person would be happy with their wife and soulmate, okay? My heart remains pure. I know it's not the fun option, but it is the right one. How is the rest of the world doing right now? Norway is back. Denmark does not own Norway anymore. Was Carpathia there a second ago, or did Carpathia literally just form? I don't remember Carpathia being there 10 seconds ago. Byzantine Empire has increased 50% military might since we last looked. They're pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I could look at their title history, I guess. <laughs> he just made it. <laughs> Created. Uh, now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was right. I thought, I was like, wait a second, was that there? I want to go. No, it was not. The world looks uh, pretty solid right now, actually. We have not uncovered any secrets at Kaiser Albert's court. We will find it if there is a secret. I invite you to a feast at my court, Countess Bertha. I'll come. I'll come, of course. Let's talk to everyone. Oh, it looks like we're kind of, like, blobbing out. It, the Holy Roman Empire looks pretty put together. Excuse me, the Catlinburg Dynasty? Is that my name? Sure it is. Is anyone voting for me? Actually, someone is voting for me. Uh-oh. The time has come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels of Galicia. We will bring divine justice upon them all. Deus, vote! Who are we actually at war with? Oh. These guys and these guys. Uh, 
that's a long walk, chat. Duke of Luxembourg has been excommunicated by the Pope. The burning flags are the enemies. Thank you for that fantastic piece of advice, Amelia. You know what? I have 166 hours in the game, but thanks to you, I now know how to identify who is a bad guy in this video game. Your acquaintance Udo died. Rip Udo. Udo was my physician. That's actually really bad. Hamlets have been constructed. That's good. Spy master's secret uncovered doesn't matter. Spy master potential is not great. Rothard, craven, vengeful, and paranoid. An interesting combination. <laughs> I like that he's in full crusader gear. Sure, let's search for a physician, like a real physician. Strong does not make you a physician, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, you both suck. These guys are not in my realm. Why are they showing up? Courtie of Mayor Wickard. Alright, well, just people in my court then. Bishop Gerald. I guess it's gonna be my court physician for now. Bishop Gerald! I hope you know what you're doing, dude. This is our f really our first time using boats in any significant uh, fashion. You just pay a one-time fee to get them in the water. And it seems like they can just go wherever. Kind of an interesting way to do it. Very simple. Ooh, we're helping, chat. I didn't realize there was a battle here, but there is. And I'm just jumping in. 35 commander skill. About to show Sheik Roth. What? Oh, they got 4,000 more troops! Ah. Kill as many of them as they as you can before they get here! Alright, once the battle line shifted, it's 45 hundo versus 72 hundo, dude. They have 48 uh, champions versus 12. They're rocking only a hundred pikemen, only a hundred bowmen, only a hundred horses, only a hundred camel riders. Wait, no. Why does it say size one? But then does it actually have six hundred camel riders? They do actually have six hundo camel riders. We have almost two hundred pikemen. Oof. Opponent is recently disembarked. Coming from the water is, as you might imagine, not good. Attacking from the water has a big debuff. All right, Chad, it's time to retreat. Tactical retreat. Uh, back to this, whatever. It doesn't matter, just get out of here. All right, we lost 18 hundo. I don't know how many of those are our troops specifically. 1,500 were just levies. Our knights still killed about 300 people by themselves, which is considerable. Consider that there are 12 versus 55 knights, and they were equivalent. You know what I mean? Like, that's reasonable.
And I think we just got hard countered in too many places. We were just a little too brave and stumbled upon 10,000 enemy troops. You can retreat mid-battle, Amamelia, if you're in the third phase of combat with the sword. It's the only time you can retreat, yeah. So we're just going to fast forward because I can't control my troops until they're finished their retreat. Heavy infantry. Boo. Uh, I guess we could use the screen is good on retreat, which we just did. And hit and run is nice anyway. I like the men-at-arms counter-efficiency better, though. So we'll work towards that. And as we work towards that, I would like to create more regiments. We did just do it, but apparently it wasn't good enough. They just had a big fight over there. Okay, so we only have 8%. Efficiency at the moment. Looks like allies are doing their thing. Maybe we can find somewhere that no one else is sieging and go there. I'm sitting around the map table with Count Eckerd and Count Albrecht discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Eckerd eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Albrecht explains how we need to watch what our foe does and react accordingly. I should decide the ultimate course of action. I know how we can employ both. Siege time faster, move speed up. Absolutely do both. That's just good stuff. Oh god, I just sacrificed 119 people for no reason. I'm a really good commander, by the way. And we're not even sieging anything, hilariously. What is going on up here? There's a lot of action, dude. <laughs> 8,000 Doomstack enemy troops versus like more 13,000, 17,000 allies. While performing his duties as spy master, Rothard's uncovered a secret held by Duchess Sophia of Lausitz. She schemed from the shadows to have Countess Sophia murdered. My fellow vassal, not only cruel and heartless, but dishonorable as well. All right, well, I'm just gonna be a dick. Ooh, actually, it's a strong hook. I don't have anything I can use that for, though. So I'm just gonna be annoying and exp <laughs> expose you as a murderer to everyone! I am just the world deserves to know! The guest of Kaiser Otbert is Frobert's lover. Frobert is a great name. I'm gonna expose that as well! Gerald's lover. Bishop Gerald of Bavaria. Hey, Gerald. You know how you're my bishop? Uh, well, you better do what I say. Beatrix's lover. Guest of Kaiser Otbert. Expose that one as well! Come on, Bishop Gerald. He's got like seven secrets. How do I even know all of them?
Alright, we're not really helping in this war. We did fight and lose in a big battle, so that might count for war contribution, whether we like it or not. I haven't chosen a beneficiary. Um, I'll choose somebody. I don't really want to govern this anyway, let's be honest. I'll choose... Do I have a... No daughters are capable. Nieces or sisters only. She's got a plus 96 opinion of me. Since she likes me so much, I'll choose her. Ulrike family size lucky charms is my beneficiary. I mean, we did siege a thing. It's not like we didn't siege anything. I'm gonna let them take care of all this, though. Like, look at that. 21,000. Good luck. The Crusaders are here, dude. That just boosted them up to 79%. My biggest problem is that we don't have a sink. We don't have a minute. Oh, I can do five minute arms now? From what? Oh, from becoming a Duke! Maybe it is time to go siege, boys. Chat. I don't... Uh, maybe it is time to go siege, boys. I do need some speed. Manganels! Come with me. And we're gonna go straight up to tier 2, at least. Right from the beginning. While performing my duties, Rothard has uncovered a secret held by my brother-in-law, Duke Leotold. He's secretly taken... Berthfried, daughter of Kaiser Odbert, as a lover. Oh, you've got the Kaiser's daughter as a lover. I don't know what to do with that information, but that seems very, very s scrupulous. Duke of Nordgau, my brother-in-law. Are we allied with him? Eh, blackmailing him seems fine. Only a 60% chance, though. Alright, I got the hook. But I don't have anything to do with it. Which is fine. Alright, allies, we got this one. We're at 87%. Vunta Loveland has become... The master elusive shadow we knew she could be. She never tells petty lies the way she used to. My wife's contributions cannot go unmentioned. Her lessons have given valuable knowledge for her future life. Elusive shadow, what a god. 18 intrigue, smirking. All right, chat, we're at 100% war score. Lisboa was 15%. We just siege... No, what do we siege? Didn't we siege Lisboa before we got here, though? I think we account for 30% of the war score, actually. St. George has granted King Ordonio victory in the Crusade after defeating Sultan Muhammad and his heathen warriors on several occasions. Our warriors forced the enemies of the faith to admit their igno... Ig Ignom ignominious defeat. Ignominious. <laughs> With the occupied lands firmly under the leadership of pious Catholic rulers, we can rest assured the divine will of St. George has been enacted. This is a glorious day for all the true followers of the cross. Good job, chat. GG. Uh, Border Gore in Hispania is at an all-time high right now. But Catholicism has stretched over to the holy site of Santiago. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To raise my hammer, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. You become a respected expert or 70% chance you learn another weapon and get some martial XP. Let's become an expert, maybe. Prowess up. I want to become renowned for that. 
My boy's already 53, dude. Ulrike was rewarded for her family's contribution to the recent crusade. <gasps> dude, my uh, beneficiary became a countess. She inherited uh, Coimbra. Who's your liege? Oh, the Duke of Galatia. Catholic? Galicia. Excuse me. So my beneficiary actually got some stuff. And we're doing pretty good. We got plus 19 gold a month. Um, I would suggest it's a good time to increase the size of our light foot. Increase the size of our horse. Increase the size of pike. And let those build up. It's 1134 AD. Galicia, great success. Chad, look at this succession mess. Titles lost on succession, bro. Six. All right, but what happens if we... Surprise! The crusade is over! Where do you think you're going? You 600 nerds. Men at Arms counter efficiency is 25% greater. That's awesome. Hi, this is mine. This is, uh, I was supposed to have a uh, tie roll before when I gave it to you on accident. Also, we actually have siege weapons now, chat. Who would have thought? Did you know that siege weapons make sieges go faster? Who could have foreseen this? And with siege weapons comes the Blitzkriegs that we're used to. We do throw rocks really good now. Bub, bub username. All right, big busty boy. What am I actually supposed to call you from now on? You can't change your username for like another three months. How am I supposed to refer to you in chat? Hmm? Because I'm not going to say bub new username every single time. B, B, B. Where are you guys going? It was like 3 a.m. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you can't even change that for like three full months or more. Killed 700 men in a slaughter. And another 600 men in a slaughter. We're at 88% war score in just one siege and two battles. <laughs> Liuda thinks that's hilarious. Omega oh, lolling that I don't know what to call the artist formerly known as Big Bussy Boy. The Bu Buser name. I think this all happened because in the last stream, I did mention. Your username is Big Bussy Boy, and then they changed it. So I have to I have to assume some responsibility because I did specifically say that's your username and call direct attention to it. I don't remember the context. I just remember saying that.
Alright, there's no way they're going to out-siege me when I have 15 mangonels. Not even... It's five months versus 45 days. Not even close. They're already deserting. There's a large breach in the wall. Sickness is spreading. Your hook on Duke Otto expired. It doesn't matter. We're literally sieging him right now. We have 900 gold from nowhere. I don't know where this money comes from sometimes. I'd love to see a log. Let's just finish this war. Bam. <laughs> Sorry, Duke Otto. <laughs> Your account again. I just li I live to embarrass you. If this was Crusader Kings 2, I would antagonize you to become your rival, because apparently I hate you. So he's my vassal. We took him down from a duchy to a single county, gave him a duchy again, back to a single county. Just like that. Bavaria's big. Bavaria's got three new counties. Uh, honestly, none of them are mine, so I don't even need to do anything. I think I just took his duchy title. So if I took his duchy title, then that probably gave it to another son. So Lobbykins gets the duke title. Chat, I can't, I'm, I'm gonna avoid, I could ask them to take the vows. But it's a 0% chance of success. Sinful and gluttonous. I don't, I don't think you can even do this unless you're feudal. Uh, Barrowberry has a 50% chance of doing it. What does taking the vowels do? Make them a monk? May not inherit titles or marry. Moves to stay at Prince Bishop Garavald's court. What happens if he says no, though? Dude, seven titles lost on successions. Pretty harsh. So my youngest just won't do it at all. Unless I legit disinherit, which 150 Brunown is not cheap. And also I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to metagame. I'm trying to figure out what my character would do RP wise. My family loves, like one monk in the family is fine. The Pope loves you for it. Oh yeah, I can see the on decline tab. He just loses 15 opinion of you. He's really not a bad dude, though. My character is fairly content. I think we'll just let it let it go. We're gonna have three different duchies as soon as I die, which will be very interesting. My heir is gregarious, compassionate, and brave. Very, very good boy. Oh, we have prisoners? We do, we have three. Money, money, money. And I have a thousand gold somehow. <laughs> okay, well, keep building, I guess. Oh, we can build whatever we want here. Duchy buildings. I was considering the knights slash knight effectiveness. I don't think that's best for building tall. I do like the fort level and garrison size, but it's also kind of boring. Levy size plus 40% for all your holdings in the duchy. 
It's hard to argue with that. Or I guess you could go 30% toughness and pursuit for all light and heavy cav, but we can just focus light and heavy cav. Chat, what do you think? There's a piece of me that just wants to go light and heavy cav, master gods. Then I'll have one light cav regiment, one heavy cav regiment, um, and then to counter any enemy spearmen, we'll have a super armored footman. Are these for all troops? They are for all of my troops, yeah. My options are 40% more default peasants. 30% stronger cavalry units and lower men arms maintenance. I think those are the ones I want. Marches is fine. It's really good for defensive turtling, but I don't think we need the turtle. I'm just gonna see what we can do with jousting grounds. Let's go. Five years to get 10% bonus. Then we'll upgrade some more of these. I guess we could spend our money on holdings, but I don't know if that's worth it, because I don't know what we're going to have when we die. I am proud to see my son Lobbykins no longer as a child. They kind of suck, actually. At least he knows how to hold his own in polite company. <laughs> I tried, Lobbykins. My trust is Stallion Ballius is getting old. His stride is not as swift as it once was. The fire in his eyes fades. If I want to keep his lineage alive, I should find a good match for him. Strong mare and agile mare. Endurance. Scour the lands for the fiercest mare. The most important aspect is endurance. 80 gold. Dude, being a vassal of the Holy Roman Empire is difficult because of succession laws. My beloved Stallion Bally has passed away, but he leaves a strong foul behind. I can already see his personality, the young one. My friend is still with me, in a sense. You lose strong warhorse, you gain strong and enduring warhorse. Well, that's a trade up. 25% less stress loss plus 10% levy size. So we lose the prestige, gain the stress loss. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. Well, the last one's name was Balius. How about red hair after Lu Bu? There you go. All right, I'm fifty five. Is one, two, three, four o'clock chat? And I don't know what I want my guy to do next. So we are gonna save right here and future Etal can figure it out. We got another stream coming later today. I should save my game though. Maybe take a screenshot of the world. And a screenshot of our homepage would be nice as well. You can see the future. 
Got a lot of armor going on. But I think the patch has been really good. The big content patch they just did. Really fun. Really enjoyed it. We'll probably play a Remothered sequel today. Assuming that things go well. And the game works and doesn't just have 70 negative reviews as soon as it releases. But yeah, I would play longer, but I'm getting a little tired, so I want to save my strength and be able to come back and stream later today. Not every stream needs to be a 12 to 14 hour marathon, you know what I'm saying? So we, chat, are going to raid, and we're going to hop on over to Go Hiss at Adanion, who is playing some more Crusader Kings, so if you crave more CK love and action, that is a good place to go. Check him out. Give him a follow if you haven't already. He's played four campaigns or so right now and has been hanging out here quite a bit. So tell him hi and uh, wish him good luck in the wars to come. We'll be back. We'll play some more Crusader Kings within the next week or so. And uh, I think we got... I, I would like to become at least an emperor on this run. That would be nice. And I think that's going to be the big challenge for future Etal is figuring out how to deal with succession... Because we got uh, three different duchies that are going to split after I die. We might have to do some war amongst our family. It's all good. I'm going to go make a pizza or something. That sounds good to me. I'll be back. I don't know exactly what time. It'll probably be three, like 4 p.m. Kind of like what we were on today. Uh, maybe later. We'll see. We will see. 4 to 5 p.m. sounds reasonable. Okay? Good night for now. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out. Sleepy gamers, roll out! But uh, enjoy your time with the Danion. He's a good dude. Give him a follow if you haven't already. Check it out. Bye, guys, and good night.